So anyway, here's what I'm thinking. That there's some really crazy people here. That's my freaking uncle. Um, really naughty people that just, I don't know, like, I can really, like, maybe they're sitting at home watching YouTube and they say to themselves, eh, you know, hi, Mr. Mr. Wood. I think I'll, uh, make an account and dedicate it to harassing complete strangers. And then they like it. It's really weird to me. Um, I'll tell you what else is, to, is also kind of weird. When I was saying earlier about how it seems like, um, oh, thank you, Mr. Word. It seems like, uh, this is becoming an allowed platform. Um, you know, no, no, no. A platform to allow, uh, people like sexual deviants to go unchecked. Hi, Winnie. You know, I really feel like they are, you know, made up the whole DSS thing or whatever, APS, whatever it is, um, thing just to continue justifying the constant two-year behavior of who the fuck would be proud of their husband and even say, at least I got a husband to people when their husband is in chat rooms saying that a respectable lady is taking showers with her kid, with her son. What woman? would use that slug predator, in my opinion, to throw in people's faces, at least I got a husband. Who would say that? Who would be proud of that? Who would be proud of that?
Hi, random. I know, I know. Uh, what to say about TH's husband? Hubby? I never said anything about TH's hubby. What are you talking about? What the fuck did I just hear you say about TH's hubby in chats? No, Bobbles hubby. Bobbles husband. Bobbles husband. I don't know how TH sounds like Bobbles, but Bobbles husband. <sighs> I said, Mr. Bobbles. Oh, that's good. Random. Yeah, I didn't say TH's husband. I don't know why somebody would think I said TH's husband. I have no dealings with the man. Bobbles' husband says Annette takes showers with her son and made a post. Uh, sexual about that. But here's the thing. If I would have shared Tiffany H's own video called Free Zacky on my community page, the same picture of her kid that was inadvertently uploaded would have been on my community page. See what I'm saying? Anybody could share the video she made with that thumbnail of him. And it would be the same exact picture that they want to try to report me for. The same fucking picture, really? Really? So, you know, Tiffany, that other than that, which I felt so sorry for until I realized that's off your fucking own video. I could have shared your video and my community page and it would have been the same fucking picture that you're justifying leaving a troll using my daughter's name saying they made a quick live cam doing the two finger spread. Fingering themselves. My daughter's name. Hear me? You think that shit's okay? And that's for you, Barbaries. Or Inkster. Whatever you want to call yourself this month. How fucking dare you think you're going to play the part of live streams where I'm going off because some stupid two-toothed bitch is letting someone say they were masturbating in my child's name. And you think you're going to put up a fucking video and say, I'm unraveling? You think I'm unraveling? Is that what you think? You are so fucking off. You come out with your nasty fucking mouth sitting there thinking you're gonna fucking insult me let's hear this bitch shall we I gotta tell you now tell me that that isn't this cause it is in my opinion it is this bitch is this person and I'm in the Bronx right now yes I am in the bathroom at Department of Social Services, and everything is automated, guys. Of course, you're in the bathroom at D DSS. Of course, yeah. Of course, yeah. 
course you are. Of course you are. You guys are not too bright. You're really not bright. Look, I never said I was from the Bronx. That never. It is her. That's her. I don't care what anybody says, and I don't care what this fucking bitch says. Okay? So, ugh. This is her. I don't care. I really do like it. If God gives you this, I think that is horrific. You know, ask God to Lord, please, you know, send my spirit, send my love, send my care, send my vibe, send, you know. Shut the fuck up, you fucking weirdo. Ugh, God, that's gross. Please don't even say that shit. Please. Oh, my God, that's gross. <laughs> Wicked gross. So she thinks she's achieved something. Uh, with uh, trying to enrage a mother while being their sexual predator ways, I guess. I guess if you think it's cool to act like a sexual predator in a live stream with other sexual predators, uh, in my opinion, then I guess if that's what's cool to you, lady, um, do you really want a mother to become unhinged? Is that what you really want? You might want to ask yourself that, bitch. You really might want to ask yourself that before you get all fucking cocky at me. Real quick. SG, why don't you do yourself a favor, honey? It'll be okay. But I think you need to step away from the computer. Listen, now this bitch is talking to me. That's why I went live. <laughs> She's pathetic. You're fucking hysterical to me. Oh, what did you start looking up your words so you could spell them right? Good for you. Good for you. That's good. That's good, honey. That's good. Uh, put your phone away. Go take your medication. Make yourself a drink. Go take my medication. Would that be the cancer medication that I take daily? Because that's all I take. But are you, t are you suggesting people on medication should drink? Wow, that explains a lot about you. You're suggesting that I take medication and drink? Something. Uh, really, an intervention needs to take place at this point. An intervention? Something. Tell us where you live. We'll do it for you. Go take your medication. Make yourself a drink. Yeah, she's. I guess she's suggesting that people who are on medication should drink. Huh. Wow. Alrighty then. Do your doctors know that you do that? Something. It really, an intervention needs to take place at this point. Because the internet's not a good place for you. Tell you what an intervention needs to take place is get you out of them fucking spandex pants you're fucking dancing around and you look like a fucking bulldozer in spandex. You get yourself you're a fucking hot water. tank. You're a tank in spandex with lipstick on. Real hot water. Very quickly. No, 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 no. Hot water came over here. I didn't get into it, bitch. Hot water came over here and thought it was going to pour itself over me and burn me or something. Once you fucking pour it out, it's gone, bitch. Go ahead. Train yourself. Keep it up with your fucking lame ass, been there, done that fucking videos. What, you think you're the first fucking clip channel to make videos about me? And say the same shit? By doing it, by acting like a sexual predator and harassing a mother and her child? She, yeah, no, big nose. Big hair on her upper lip, yeah. And uh, some nasty ass pink granny lipstick. And it uh, looks like she's got her bags packed under her eyes for vacation. Hey, Lycan, how's it going? It's funny how this bitch thinks she's, uh, like, I'm getting myself into hot water. 
Inkster stinkster. Did you really? I did take out a billboard for it. Step away from the computer. Get off the internet. Go take your little pills, your medication. Jump in front of the subway behind you. Or your whatever you sort of your nose, whatever you do. Uh, Step away. I like says the ex hooker. Whatever you do, I snore air up my nose. Is that illegal now? Snorting air up my nose illegal? Am I allowed to do that? She's always scraping something. I smoke a lot of weed and I actually break it up and scrape it together and then I put it on the card and then I put it into my bowl and is that a problem for you it's fucking legal illegal legal yeah did you rent the space is that where you saw it i didn't know that uh she's renting it out she said she was renting it out i saw it on her live stream she put merry christmas across her forehead and said she was going to rent out the space during her live streams which actually could be a good idea <laughs> I mean, that actually wouldn't be a bad idea to see if you could get sponsors, like to where, you know, like even local sponsors, I guess. Even if you had local places to, if they sponsored you, I, I don't know, shout out their name or something. Who knows? She went so advertising space. Who the fuck did I see though that had a bigger forehead than her? I can't remember. There's someone with a real big forehead, but I forgot who it was. I didn't like talk bad about me. I don't know what she's talking about here. Who gives a fuck about you? Why is everything about you? Nobody cares about you, bitch. You're just a fucking dredge on society. Yeah. Well, you know, when you got fucking uh, troll in there under my daughter's name saying she's touching yourself, uh, I'm not going to be real happy. How do you think about that, Legion? Lichen. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Might just call you LL. What do you think about that? What did you think about Mr. Bobble's post and on his community page saying he wonders if I or my daughter give better head? You're a guy. What do you think about that? Don't you think like as somebody, if somebody was married to somebody like that, you'd kind of think it odd? Well, whether it's Bobbles or somebody else, a married couple and the husband is always in places making weird references like Annette is showering with her son. Um, he wonders who gives a better blow job, me or my daughter. I feel like those that's a sexual predator, especially when the wife has put herself, said herself, that he was a predator. Now, she can say now that, oh, I was just making that up, that I was mad at him. But the thing is, do you think that's out of line? I think that's out of line. Considering I don't even know Mr. and Mrs. Bobbles in reality. I mean, honest opinion. I'm really asking honest. Honest opinion. I don't know. I didn't see it. Tiffany H. I don't know. I'm more concerned with somebody who has been stated to be a sexual predator by their wife making comments. I 
I think like a lot of people on that side of the community seem to think my daughter doesn't matter. But and my deceased relatives don't matter and shit. And they just totally overlook what these motherfuckers are doing. Bobas has a fucking live stream and has it filled with trolls of deceased relatives and people's children. I think that is predatory behavior. Tiffany who? What is going on? What do you mean? Where? Oh. Tiffany who? H.M. I don't know who's live right now. What? There's another one live talking about me? Are you kidding me? All fucking day they've been talking about me? Oh my god. Videos, live streams all day about me. And they think I'm going after them. Every mother fucking day. Since October 8, 2020. Every mother. Now, is she on there saying, my daughter doesn't matter? And accusing me of calling CPS because I didn't call CPS. Okay. But I'll tell you what. Tomorrow I am. And I don't give a fuck. I've never done that shit in my life. But I'm doing it for my own safety. Because I don't feel safe. And I don't like the um, sexual talk about my kid. I don't like it about anybody. I don't like her telling her children that I am a C-U-N-T and inciting anger in her son that he said he wanted to hurt me. I'm telling them that this woman either needs to know that it wasn't me who called. They don't have to tell her who the fuck it was. Or... She need if nobody called, and that's the that way. I don't care, but I am calling tomorrow. Oh yeah, because they need to fucking recognize by the proof and what's going on that she is inciting threats towards me because I didn't call, and she's inciting threats towards me, both her and her son said they wanted to hurt me. I didn't call them. So they either need to tell her that it was not fucking me or realize that this woman has some kind of fucking anger issues and her telling her kids that and doing that to them is every fucking day not only stressful to me, just she prefers to allow a pornographic troll in her live stream and give a stage for disgustingness, saying my kid is doing nasty things rather than take care of her kids or just be fucking normal. Now, like I said, Lycan, even if I wouldn't have just shared her fucking own video, Free Saki, then the same fucking picture that I very apologetically, inadvertently uploaded with a screenshot, I must have pressed it, you know, like in the back of you know, two, you know, like not in the back, in gallery. Yeah. Exactly. 
I fucking had enough of this bullshit. Who the fuck says, I wonder who gives a better blow job, me or my kid? Who fucking says that shit? And just a couple of other week, a couple of weeks ago in a bunch of people's uh, live streams saying that Annette takes showers with her kid. This has been going on for too fucking long and it's gross. If I shared Tiffany's own fucking video on my community page, the same fucking picture that she's claiming is justifying her providing a place for them to sexually harass me and my kid. And she's showing it to her kids. She's telling them lies. She's inciting hatred. And she called me and Sharon C-U-N-T's. I didn't fucking call and neither did Sharon. And it's just not continuing. So you're telling me that Tiffany M is making a live stream talking shit about me too? Are they fucking sexually assaulting my daughter in there too? How about Annette and her son, huh? Are they? I'll have to take a look so I can see what I'll need to do. Because I've had enough. If these people don't fucking know right from wrong just how to fucking respect people. If you don't like somebody, fine. Just fucking, you got your friends, they got their friends, move along, man. This bitch be explaining it. You're putting yourself in hot water. Hey, bitch, I didn't put myself in anything. Fucking, I don't even know this inkster stinkster. You know? My mom won't stop drinking. Her mental illness is getting worse. That's Sorry. what they were saying in her fucking, in Tiffany H's live stream. I've fucking had enough. Because if I would have shared Tiffany H's own video from two weeks ago, saying what she said was, free Zacky. You know, I didn't say the ad space. That was Tiffany's own joke, okay? Are they trying to pin her joke on me, too? Holy shit, man. It was a good one, but I didn't make it up. Actually, I think it was Boohoo. He drew out his plans for his vacation on her forehead. That was pretty funny. Hi, Miranda. Now, aren't you a mod on her channel? So why are you there as... One thing, and here's another. I don't mind you, like, like, and I think you're very talented. And I always think people who are talented, like, including Tiffany as well, Tiffany M as well, um, are just missing their calling half the time. You know? Like, because I just think they're missing their calling half the time. I think that's ha half the reason why they're fucking so unhappy. Like, these people, they don't let people move on. That's good, then. That's cool. Oh, that's cool. I'm glad that you're here. That's nice. Um, I think, and this is like even my own self, too, you know? When people... He, they won't let people just move on in life and move away from their own things. And if they fought with somebody before and those two people made up, that's them. It doesn't mean that that means, you know, it's anybody else. But it also doesn't mean that people should sit there pointing out what you previously argued about and resolve just to try to stir issues again. It doesn't mean people should you know, try to make some, this woman's like over here at Inks saying, she's in full rage mode. Well, bitch, what do you think I would be in uh, when people are sexually harassing my kid? And do you really want me to be in that type of rage? Because uh, I can't even begin to tell you. 
it seems fucking silly. And it's such a waste of time. They're all miserable. Fucking miserable. I mean, they may not know they are, but I guarantee you, you'll get a fucking weight lifted off your shoulders when you just try to see happiness around you and encourage people as opposed to, I mean, having no boundaries, talking about a mother and their daughter and, and the married man too. Like the wife doesn't care. She'll give him, cut him a pass to sexually harass a mother and her daughter. Actually, you're, I'm not unhappy, but I bet you're getting the most legit vibe. I don't, uh, you know, I do believe we teach best what we most need to learn. I'm not perfect. I never claim to be. I'm just me. I'm just talking out loud here. No, we're not. I'm just curious. Now, when you guys are all on your, your super secret discords or whatever, do you go, like, do you guys plan out schedules? Like, are you like, uh, all right, so you do the live this, and then in between Mr. Bobbles will say his predator stuff, and then this, 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 and that, and our end game is it uh, eventually, we think that, especially we got this uh, Bible from the Bronx who thinks she dictates to me. Um, yeah, I hope your kid feels better too. Yeah, you said he's uh, broke his uh, temperature, right? Yeah. Like we are miserable. And if you think I don't see that my own friends in the room are suffering too. Like, it's like, what the fuck? We really just would prefer to, I don't know, like, not even to sound mean, but it wouldn't bother me if I never heard from not, I'm not saying you like it. I'm not trying to be me, but from the people who've been harassing. If they don't like us, move along. There's no need to talk about somebody's kids sexually and to make up lies that somebody else spoke about your kid sexually. I, I've had about enough of it. 
And to be quite honest with you, I just, I can't even understand that they spent their whole time. Are they literally thinking I'm going to like give up the will to live or something? Is that what their end game is? Like, do they really think that one day uh, I'll just drop dead from cancer or I'll give up the will to live? Or I'll say, I'm not allowed the right to use a social media platform like millions of people in the world. You know, because at the end of it all, they're going to find that they wasted. I mean, if they're willing to go as long as it takes, I'm willing to go as long as it takes to pretty much prove that that's not the way it's going. <laughs> so they're just really wasting their time. And I really don't want to tell them to take, you know, get a weaker target because that's pretty mean. Uh, I just think they should kind of be happy. <laughs> I don't understand what's so fucking hard to understand about that for these people. They're like lecturing me that I am not happy enough for my second chance at life. And all they do is fucking harass. And then if this angster stinkster thinks... Like, she sounds like she thinks she's proud. Uh, she's raging now. You know? It's kind of weird. I think, but at the end of it all, they're going to have missed... They've already missed two years of their life. While I was getting stronger and learning a lesson in life, they're just picking the wrong battles. So that if they ever end up in a battle like that, I don't know if they'll have the energy or even the will. You know? They've spent so long being so angry. It's like none of their laughter even seems real or legit. It's really weird. I just can't imagine a wife giving their husband a pass to write something sexual about a mother and her daughter. Who does that? Who fucking does that? Like, yo, sure. Sure, I'll disrespect myself in our marriage and let you talk about having a blowjob from SG and her daughter. Anything to sexually harass somebody's kid. I mean, that seems... Uh, uh, counterproductive. What that thing is in my community post. That was on his channel. And he tagged me in it. And then went around bragging about it and nobody batted an eye. Not nobody on my side. I don't mean my side, but I mean like over here. But there, they didn't bat a fucking eye when the troll of my kid was in the room saying they were doing sexual things. An angster stinkster comes in there going, is Rachel in here? Because I know somebody needs a date tonight. Everybody's not a hooker like you, okay? Okay, Bronxy. I mean, seriously, I don't even know this bitch. She comes out for three weeks and is talking to me like she's fucking going to wreck me. Maybe because you're built like a fucking tank. But. Seriously. Don't you have a youngin? Don't you want to act like a fucking decent parent for a change? <clears throat> fucking weird shit, man. I know, isn't that crazy? Under the fucking proof. She says, show me the proof. 
it's like it's, we're dealing with people they let out of the asylum. Isn't it? Like when they closed the asylums down and they had nowhere to go. It's like they came to YouTube, some of them. In my opinion. The bitch literally said, show me the proof. On the proof. I said it right there. It said it right there. Like, wow, well, there's the proof. And there's the proof that you're fucking stupid. Wow, kill two birds with one stone, right? Bat shit crazy. Yeah, Marley. Bat shit crazy. Bat shit fucking crazy. Just like when Vic came in here and was trying to say it was a fucking clone and he wasn't in here. And then he was up on the panel and he said, I did, was here and I did say all that stuff. And then he's fucking in Tiffany's room. It was a clone. It was a clone. Like, uh, what the fuck is wrong with these people? Oh, my God. Wow. That, I can't even. I can't even. I'm like, I, I don't even know what to think. She saw it. They, they, they're, there's not, she saw it. They don't care. <laughs> like, she'll probably go to her grave going, show me the proof. Facts matter. It's fucking stupid bitch, man. Do you know how dumb you look? That's the thing, though. That's how fucking dumb they look. Now, if I was to just, if we, were to just ignore that and walk away from it and say, ah, oh, forget it. Uh, then maybe somebody who's not as strong as us might be her next victim or her next target, because we're not victims here, but her next target. Some Somebody who has, you know, we've all turned our, our heads and walked away and uh, listen to fucking Inkster Stinkster saying, get off Google. And then, uh, next thing, they really are driving somebody into desperation and duress. And they really are getting what they think they're going to get here. So, you know, I don't know about you, but I'm willing to fucking die on my feet rather than live on my knees with a bunch of fucking suicide trolls going around. Sexual predators, in my opinion. I'm sorry, that's what they, they are. That is what they act like. That is what they are. In my opinion. So, from now on... That's the way it fucking is going to be treated. You know, when you have people in your live stream, Tiffany H., that are talking about anything sexual pertaining to my kid, I'm reporting you for sexual content because I, and I'm taking, I'm also reporting you for sexual harassment anyway, to, you know, everywhere, including Mr. Baba's is getting, I mean, Seriously, I don't know if these motherfuckers think I'm kidding. I'm not. I'm not watching some fucking, uh, um, you know, self-admitted, plus his wife said, pervert, talk about me and my kid like that. That's just not happening. I'm taking her, the screenshots of her own fucking Facebook, her own words, and I'm saying, this guy... Is going around harassing people and their kids, talking sexually. I want something fucking done about it, and that's it. And I'm not going to be a dick or anything, but I don't know how they wouldn't think that. How, like, what did they think was going to happen with that? Hi, currently. Like, they have no end game. Their end game is that they are suicide trolls, in my opinion. That's their end game.
Who oh, random? What happened? Somebody threatened to post kids' pictures. Somebody said that. Oh, here. Oh, Amy. I know. What's wrong with you, Amy? You disgusting slut. Why would you come stomping in here threatening people's kids? Like you couldn't just fucking discuss that with an adult? You weren't blocked, so you were getting the opportunity to speak. But the first thing out of your mouth was to threaten random kids? That's so crazy. Apparently, did you see where uh, on the proof of that, Amy writes, show me the proof. It's like, that is the proof. It's right there. I'm like, what? Is this where you get hit in the head with a boomerang? Too many Foster's loggers? I'm not trying to be mean. These people make it so easy. I can't even. Right? Show me the pro. Like, did she even look at what she was... Maybe she didn't even look at what she was writing on. But... I was saying it to kill two birds with one stone. It, it proved what we were trying to prove. And it proved that she's stupid. No, sir. She said it today. Show her the proof. She did not. She fucking did not. Did she really? Oh, she might be back on something. Some kind of blindness pill or something. I don't know. That's crazy. No, she didn't. Did she really say it again? Oh, my God. Facts matter. I'm fucking crazy. This coffee tastes good. Yum, yum. Dollar store, bitch. Dollar store, bitches. So prudently begged me to play Kalimba. No, sir, just kidding. Oh, I, I only saw one. I really didn't even look at the comments. I just saw it said, where's the proof? And I just didn't even bother. I said, what? That was, that's fucking stupid. And, but she did remove all of her comments on her page. Well, not, no, not all of her comments. All of the thread, I should say. That thread she removed. Um, here's the thing, though. She, her, one of her comments says, funny how I've been gone so long and these bitches are talking about me. Okay, but here's the thing. Her community post page, it starts with back in October, I guess. That's when she came back, hopping her way in. Cancer, breast cancer awareness month. She puts up. And then the next three comments are about me. The next three community posts are about me. So, gee, Amy, you didn't come here to start stomping back into my room again. It's your fucking community page is dedicated to me. I'm not saying I'm the only woman who ever had breast cancer, but I just find that, like, come on now. Pretty obvious. I'm back. I brought my pygmy boyfriend. Who's going a good night? Who's going a good night? <laughs> good night, Marley. I'm really just... A whole fucking day from morning to night of people making videos. Fucking live streams. That's so crazy. Isn't it? I'm sorry. I just think it is. <sighs> it's awful. 
It's awful. Fucking awful. I still want to get merch. Like shirts that say I hate SG. Stuff like that. Uh, smart enough. Uh, there's a couple other ones we could do. Kinda. We were fine when she left, and then boom. But Kanye keeps doing that all the time, and then she does that a lot. Huh. And then I find it so hard to believe that the whiny butterfly queen <laughs> is back around. When all this shit's going down and she makes a video all got giggling. Like, come on, man. What the fuck? All I simply said to her was, Jules, you haven't been around for a while, so why are you in my room? Like, you know, why are you in the live stream right now? I had nothing to say, you know? But this fucking bitch here. There's something wrong with her. This stinky bitch. Look at this. Listen, okay. This is some bad shit right here. You know, I this got is a bitch this coming question. out of nowhere. I, I just can't get over the fact that you got Miss BK over there, you know, Miss uh, BK. You have Miss BK. BK, she's gone. Now, all of this is what on behalf of Tiffany H. Now, you know they don't normally give a crap about Tiffany, in my opinion, okay? You know normally they do not. But they're making this whole big thing. I saw them, they were like, like they were being really fucked up. They were telling her that if something happened to her kids, we would act like we cared, but we wouldn't care. That's what Strawberry told her. We would act like we cared, but we wouldn't care. Isn't that sad? What's wrong with you, Strawberry? And they kept telling you, Tiffany, they don't care about your kids. They just hate you. They hate you. They hate you. They hate you. I thought, wow, that's fucked. So now they're back to Colin, Sharon, BK. But they're making it like they've got Tiffany H's name on the same page as it. So making it appear this bitch been fucking getting some spelling lessons, I see. Um, they're making it. What is it like subliminally? They're relating the BK now to Tiffany H. Very bad. They're trying to make fucking Sharon and get pissed and see that BK. Wow. They want you to get jumped on Tiffany. They do. They do. I watched a video from, uh, remember remember that video? I mean, that uh, channel called. Yeah, I know, right? Who would say something like that? Um. Well, you saw what Mr. Bobble said in my community post, right? Fucking gross bastard. All of it's gross. Um, oh, fuck. I just totally lost track of that. Totally lost track of that right there. I'll have to come back to him. Oh, my God. It was something. I know, like, it seems like, yeah, they, they've got this little fucking Discord shit going down, you know? 
Luna's like, I'm not removing any trolls of SG's family or her kids because she never does it for anybody else. It doesn't matter how many fucking people will tell her. Yes, she does. And they know I do. They know. And fucking they will not acknowledge. Just like Amy won't acknowledge that proof. Isn't it weird? They won't acknowledge Shit. Oh, I know what it was. Remember pink emoji? Remember? It was up for just a little while and then disappeared. Really weird thing. Had like a thousand, you know, subscribers already and shit. So, <clears throat> I'm looking at it and it's got the video. Of where, yep, exactly, and they all know it, yep, they know it, they don't care. Just like I was saying, if I was to share the picture of her kid, Well, anyway, on the pink emoji thing, I saw that there was a video up from me from the night when Maddie got, well, when Jules got Maddie kicked out, basically. What do you mean add a timestamp to your comment now? What does that mean? No, and they don't even acknowledge the awful stuff the others say. Oh, I thought I thought she was live. I thought that's what you were saying, that she was live. What the fuck, really? For a kind fucking statement? That's so weird. Why does she look like that? She looks so weird. She looks like a Jewish lady. What's up with... I think she's... I really do think she's Jewish. She might not want to be, but I do think she is.
if this chick hears Joy in SG, I want whatever the hell she's smoking because that's just... What the fuck's wrong with this person? Why would you even put that there? Like, oh, I know why. Because you're trying to make me not have Joy. That's why you'd put that. That's why. That's why. Because according to you, uh, oh, Kimberly said, there was a point in time that you were friends with SG. She's not always an a-hole. Just because you don't like her or understand her doesn't mean I have to be smoking something to see the good in her. Not always an asshole. But they definitely want me to be. So they... Good night, Winnie. Thank you, Winnie. I appreciate that. She does. With the pinpoint pupils? Yeah, I know. I noticed that too. But I wouldn't make accusations like that. I mean, it's a compliment to look Jewish, but... Not like that, though. She kind of looks like Barbara Streisand, but, like, not normal barber shape. She looks like she's had too much plastic surgery, as a matter of fact. Thank you, Kimberly. But I'm not even trying to be mean. Tiffany, why are you doing that to yourself? Your nose doesn't even look the same. Your lips are huge. Like, are you going to the same person that a Barbarese goes to? That's my God. And I'm not saying, like, that she's not a pretty person. She is, but... That young and doing those things already is strange to me. Barbarese could be, what, like, 64 or something? <laughs> I mean, maybe it was Byron as an Inkster. He was 64, I think. But there was something I was watching, right? This is where, like, I think all the creepiness is kind of like, uh, you know, uh, Who, TM? They talk about they talk about TM. Oh, that. Oh, I see the other person. I get it. Yeah, the other person. Yeah, man. I mean, unless I mean, I don't. I find it hard to believe somebody could naturally look like a big mouth bass. I'm not talking about TM though, so you know. Uh, yeah, the other person. Wow. But they're built like a fucking brick shit house. Like the bitch has been fucking lifting. <laughs> it's kind of funny. Some crazy shit, too. <laughs> so, that will, you know. I took a look at this fucking guy's shit because we all kind of spawn from this motherfucker in in a sense, you know, in a sense. Not that we wanted to. Uh, don't you think that's who that person is, though? Inkster Stinkster. I feel like that's what it is.
It didn't snow anywhere for you guys. It snowed here. Where did Prunely go to check out the community post or something? Also. So, you think so? Using what a voice changer? Because that ain't her. You don't think she sounds like Barbara Reese? Seriously? So I feel bad if I. Yeah, but that person also said they have a five-year-old, Barbara Reese. Barbarese does. Barbarese has a little five-year-old, I believe. She's a brick. She has. No, what here? What is that? Oh, no. oh, I don't think. Why would she worry about? Why is she like? Nah. I don't know why they would even have to fucking scope the fucking live stream. It's so. What the fuck? You know? Same. Silliness. <laughs> All right, so. I was thinking it's possible that a lot of the perviness probably came from a okay in this community, in my opinion. Not that we don't get a little, you know, sometimes pervy and talk about silly shit, but I'm just saying that. Oh, shit. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I think this fucking weirdo has a lot to do with it, in my opinion. Oh, um, I actually just broke up with my boyfriend this morning. Oh, this is just a man. No. Uh, nothing that's going on there. Really. Oh, spontaneous menopause at 45. Listen, this shit. This, I don't know why this fucking Drain guy. No dogs attacking them. No trail cams getting a decent, clear picture of them. Yeah, I think it is too. Oh, he's talking about Bigfoot. Yeah, big Ooh, you like that for him. Yeah. No, that's what I think, yeah. But they allow this, right? And that crazy sharing, same shit. Stalking people, paying people See? to go follow. Ain't that shit fucking up? He's still fucking... Yeah, right. So he was thinking that he was just going to twist. Well, so this is like a little bit... Uh... This was August 30th, 2022. Disclaimer, I do not own all of the content. Audio played within this content, but I am using it within the Fair Use Act guidelines. It has been altered in speed. Yes, absolutely. The nuts off. Put the donut tire on. Get the hell out of there. So anyway, I held the Eagle Books and I hadn't done much today. And he said, you want to go look at it? I said, yeah.
Is that a paper towel? Or? I don't know. Yeah, Mario's a really good guy. Sweet. So, Tweety, how you doing? How's things working out for you? That was Tasha Harris. Is fucking my lovely sister, Tweety. Yeah, super thin one. <laughs> you shut up. He's so mean. He's so fucking mean. Did you hear how he just said that to Daisy? He's so fucking mean. Oh, really, dude? Yeah, man, I was freaking out. Dave, hey, have you ever heard anything like that? Bigfoot. No, the dipstick looks good. I mean... Oh, he's saying Crystal Love is in the chat room, and he just said the dipstick looks good. He's talking about Crystal Love. He's that. You got his attention, Crystal. Called your dipstick. He's got a nice little nickname for you, too. Little pet name. It's just, uh, I don't think it hurt anything, but. That's the first thing I thought, because the guy that I lent my van to, he only drove. like maybe 16, 32 miles. And I thought, holy shit, man. I didn't check the oil after I got an oil change. And I just told this guy to take it, not checking the oil. And I bet all, all that oil came out in that 32 miles that he drove. Oh, my God. What happened? Did he fucking sell the Astro van? <clears throat> and it fucking broke down like 32 miles after he sold it? Get the fuck out of town. Really? I never really thought there was a real person called Tweety that fucking Tasha Harris loved. I didn't think she was real. I never saw her before. But there she is. My lovely sister Tweety. She probably wondered why the fuck I was like, even mentioning her in a video. But I didn't even think she really existed. I thought she was like a fucking hallucination to Tasha Harris. I think so, too. I bet you he physically does, too, in my opinion. Yeah, thank you, Swirly. I mean, I eventually saw it. I don't think my eyes changed. You know, I was so damn pissed off freaking out. Hey, Eternal Norman, how you doing? Oh, my God. Big time. Wait till you hear this, video, this fucking live stream. Because his, I definitely have to go through and make sure, like, okay, as long as there's something in it, you know? <clears throat> well, interesting, Dave. Huh? Yeah, that's true, Cynthia. That's true. I'm getting dizzy with Marty. She cries to get in, cries to get out. Shut up. She's fucking, leave her alone. Why don't you just fucking let her go inside, then, douche? Yeah, Daisy woke him up. How are you when you fucking yelled at her out there on the phone? Oh, what are you living with your father? What are you with your daddy? You got rules? You got a fucking curfew? All yeah, right, you know, shut. Probably booted her after my fucking love triangle video. I was probably like, you been fucking Roscoe? That kook's dog? You fucking pregnant bitch? <laughs> Oh, he's all clogged up on one side. I think I gotta wonder if these people are real. Like, <clears throat> we know we got Crystal Love, the freak in there, right? Somebody is modded with some kind of Russian Sanskrit fucking name. Who knows? And then this tweet, he says, we're doing well living in Montana at the moment. Remember when we bet about my next cruise? I thought it would be May 2020. Well, I'm booked for October 22nd. With laughing emojis. 
Like, what the fuck is that? Like, ooh, yay. Crystal Love says, congrats. Nice. Sure, she would say that. Because she'd be impressed with the fucking cruise. <laughs> no, she does not. Wow, you're dirty, prudent. <laughs> He's jealous that they're having babies. They took an EDPD early dog pregnancy test. Sure. So Tweety looks like fucking Phoebe Look Friday's me. fucking avatar, to be quite frank with you. They all look the same. Tiny. That cruise ship thing must be getting killed now with this monkeypox crap. Monkeypox. Yeah, he does. You know, you know she's gonna understand back in the hand if she keeps up. <sighs> oh my god, the dog's not even doing anything, you fucking douchebag! Did you hear him? What's wrong with people like that? But you know what? He says it because. He's saying it for shock value, right? If I said it for shock value, I mean, I don't even have to say anything. My dog can bark because he hears people coming downstairs, and apparently I've got him fucking, <clears throat> you know, chained up for 25 hours. You know? I see that Oh, okay, dude. I'm just... Oh, come on. Fucking, I'm telling you right now. I I can't... I'm t I feel like Chris, this so Tweety is fucking Crystal Love. I feel like they got... I'm just waiting for all my cruise stocks to go bankrupt. Who the fuck would talk like that and say something like that? Maybe Rachel Reed. But definitely the registered nerd. I'm just waiting for all my cruise stocks to go bankrupt. Now, Rachel Reed isn't in here right now. Uh, she's got another name. But we got Tweety in now. We're, and we're going to see if... Oh, that's right. According to Angsta Stinksta, I want to be a cop. No, I don't, lady. I just want to be. <laughs> I just want the handcuffs. I'm so just kidding. Right. Hopefully they can also play on people. I mean, it's not just cruises, it's theaters, and, you know, all concert venues, you name it. Yeah. Not as okay. not as damn. I knew problem. Crystal Love was going to re respond to Tweety. Do you know why she makes those accounts of her, of those like why she'll have two accounts in the same room? So she doesn't talk to herself. I don't know. She just reinvented herself. I mean, once in a while, she's back around in a different name, but she's in Tom Reed's name under a different name. So, but I knew Crystal Love was going to be the one to respond <clears throat> to fucking Tweety. So fucking, I'm telling you, man. Did you uh, get back in the good graces of YouTube again? Have, have, have you, uh, have you known, have you noticed any differences with YouTube, like for better or for worse, other than them jacking you on the monetization below? Yeah, no, you're still here. So shorts, I don't like doing. <laughs> the original Christmas story is a movie. He's got an Adam here, yeah. and it's a mythic coming of age story. You get to see. They've converted some of those. They say I'm not eligible for shorts. Can you believe that bullshit? And then what they do is they don't let me talking about a Prozac. But yet they'll allow thousands of stalking channels where the entire format is ruining people's lives and not think anything of it. Yeah, you think? You think, buddy? Yeah. 
as don't tell anybody. Mystique. Mystique. I don't want to do those shows. I don't really like it. The only reason they're short is because I got a crappy internet connection and none of my camera equipment down here. So I'm just kind of half assing everything. You know, hey, it Frank, be- look at you. You're standing in the fucking dark, fucking screaming at your dogs, and you're going to backhand it because mommy and daddy are asleep. It's up to me if I make it short or not. Not to them. They're converting short videos that I have into shorts, and I don't want to happen. Yeah. Ah, so they're taking your, are they taking him out of his list? Because that's, in my opinion, how he kind of like convolutes his electronic footprint. So that if anybody ever wanted to say, oh, look, boy, you were here on this date, you're making a video. He inserts six seconds of fucking you know, a hundred videos in between so that it's like you're scrolling back, scrolling back, scrolling back, scrolling back, you know? So if you ever wanted to check his electronic footprint, not saying for any particular fucking reason, but I'm just saying, you know, where was he on the night of blah, 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 right? He's, you know, he's convoluted it. With a bunch of shit. If I make a short video, I still want it on my regular video list. Yeah, I bet you do. Bet you fucking do. It's to convolute. I don't know why I'm not eligible for it. Who knows? I don't even look anymore. I'm so sick of their stupid, ambiguous, vague, preferential rules. They can cancel me if they don't like it. Yeah, I'm not kissing you. It's not worth it to me. You know what? Never once said share, subscribe, like, none of that bullshit. Oh, they can fuck the fuck off. Huh. I'm not doing it. Yeah, thank you. I'm not doing it. I don't want to do shorts. I think, in another thing, I don't really care about that either, but I guess they started. But he's doing shorts. His six second videos are shorts. It wasn't that he didn't want to do shorts. It's that he doesn't want them combined into his shorts section and not spacing out his longer videos. Huh. Been unhiding everybody's subscribers. Where's the uh, October? I know. Tweety said, I'm seeing porno shorts and I have no option of saying that interested. I know. Isn't that disgusting? Fucking disgusting. Over Cruise book too. Porno shorts? Are you kidding me? On YouTube? Yeah, I, was gonna be there a couple of- I know, right? You'll know why a little further into this video. Bible thumpers down where I get my van work done. And she was telling me today, you know, they were asking because you were filling out something for a Google listing on your business, how many transgender bathrooms you have. Well... It's the biggest boss of the summer. Hey, 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 hey. If you come and then come down, play, play. If you see two shy, then watch for me. Watch, watch for me. That's so they don't have to go into the men's room or the girls' room. They can go into the transgender bathroom. So it's better that way, to be honest. In my opinion, that way there's no 
financial accusations of anything happening, you know what I mean? The CEO of Oxfam America. I'm speaking with you from Ethiopia, which has. Oh, cool. Good luck. Oh, look, a commercial of the Ethiopian kids that Tiffany H. thinks we should call CPS on because they're living in pots. Do you miss Washington at all? Or uh, Austin? Oh, gotcha, Tweety. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, they got a lot of pretty buildings down here. I like the southern architecture. Yeah, I left her behind, yeah. Yeah, well, he was in a jam. I've had it happen. He was really screwed, man. Okay. He had to sleep in his car. Okay. I don't see who he's talking about. Yeah, they got a lot of pretty buildings down here. I like the southern architecture. <laughs> hey, Jeff, how you doing? No, I'm in Georgia. Down in Georgia. Oh, there, there's, okay, so there's uh, Mystique there now. I wonder if Crystal loves, yeah. Oh, Florida, oh, cool. No, those are a buddy of mine's trucks. A friend of mine's. That's what I'm living with down here. We're having trouble with both of them starting some glitch with nobody really knows what. Yeah, I cooled off here. He probably fucking... He probably fucking cut the wires or something because he doesn't want them to start because he doesn't want to fucking have to start doing some work. In my opinion, I'm just saying it's a possibility. Nobody knows. Could happen. That rain like hell for a while. You guys saw part of that. Not Astro Man needs a lifter. I, I got this Toyota uh, Sienna van. I'm going to get rid of it. I don't really like it. I miss the Astro Van. <laughs> What do you do with the Astro Man? Strip it and set it on fire? Random. Did you just come up with that out of nowhere? <laughs> but I didn't call on her, but that bitch is fucking pissing me off. And she's acting state she's acting stupid this thing. Yeah, she's saying. Else, maybe, to, to her kids and everything. I feel bad for that guy last night. He was probably my age, but out of shape. And he was having a hard time, that's why I helped him. Oh really? You're so kind, would you get mug him? Button that you can't even see. Could have been Daisy partying, yeah. Hey Daisy's doing well. She really gets along with Marty. I mean, you're not backhanding. They're not talking about drugs. They're just talking about recovery with not mentioning drugs these people are on or what they specifically do with specific drugs. It's just generic. Recover, come here, we'll treat you like family, get in shit. They, they're not mentioning the word drugs. I'm really starting to hate YouTube. They're so full of shit. You can't. <laughs> can't get any help out of them. They're artificial. Yeah, you did. Sucks. They'll fuck you over in a range of different ways. They'll quit recommending you, even though they promoted you before. See, the old rule used to be what I did, as long as you didn't glorify or promote drugs. So I never did that. You know. I mean, it sounds like he's wicked happy there with all those hospitable Southerners. I don't know. She told them we were CUNGs today. The little boys. The little boys. She and the older Michael, and she got him uh, incited that, like she see she accused us of sharing a picture that she uses for her fucking thumbnail anyway of a uh, hashtag free Zachy. What parent would put that up? That was weeks ago she put that up to herself.
She posted the fucking picture up. She's terrible. So now they don't, you know, people get unsubscribed. I get emails all the time. People get unsubscribed. You contact them. They'll send you a generic uh, chain letter that says sometimes people's taste different. It's like, no, you stupid fuckers. These are people that are emailing me that are getting unsubscribed that they didn't do themselves, you idiots. No, we'll check in. It's just so super frustrating dealing with these morons why they're allowing stalking channels to flourish that are monetized. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. That's why the kid is fucking uh She told him that we posted pictures making fun of his teeth and said we were C-U-N-T's. And she said, she'll say, oh, they weren't there. The little kids weren't there. Yes, they were. They were just being fucking silent listening. And to Michael, she got Michael all mad saying, you know, like uh, he felt like hurting us. And, uh, but really, it's her picture from her own video. It's a thumbnail. If I fucking shared her video, it would be the same picture on there. And it wasn't like I put it up there. I put it up there by accident. Absolutely by a inadvertently. It uploaded with the post about Bobbo's fucking uh, um, live stream she was having. But in the meantime, none of them have had any fucking problem with their friend having a live stream. Featuring people's dead relatives and shit. Like Luna's like acting like it's something new. Her saying she's not gonna unblock. I mean, so she's not gonna block any trolls of my daughter or my deceased family members. You kidding me? That's been her thing since she came out the gate. She never would. And and, and Tiffany H just keeps lying and saying that we keep fucking trolls of her and her kids in here. That's a fucking lie. Yeah, she said we were C-U-N-T's, but she said the word. Oh, my God. They He watches Bobbles. The other one, he was all like, I love Bobbles. Is anybody doing something to Bobbles? And she's letting him see the fucking chat while the clone of my daughter is saying she just did a quick live cam, a two-finger spreader. She was letting Raheem fucking read that, and our Bob was fucking post. Isn't that disgusting? And then called the C-U-N-T's. It's gross. No, they All the dog is doing is snoring. And this motherfucker was bitching about it. Disgusting. And shove that plaque up their ass. Any other company where you would be uh, eligible for a reward or, uh, you know, a fucking pen. Not those fuckers. It's a bunch of paperwork, a bunch of filling out bullshit. Yeah. I don't care about any of that. Yeah, I'm not like so. I'm just going to do what I always did. This video is interesting. And uh, David Walsack says, Crystal Love RN registered nerd. Fill us in on what your content is on your channel. <laughs> Jesus. They can go to hell. They can cancel my channel if they don't like it. They're so full of shit. Oh, I don't doubt that. Yeah. And you look at, like, if you look at, like, uh, the channels where people stalking Maddie and there's some other people that are going around taking photos and videos of them while they're working with their children, YouTube doesn't do a goddamn thing about it. Yeah, they don't do a damn thing about a guy fucking that coincidentally everybody was dying that you were interviewing in my opinion allegedly total horseshit Crystal Web right. says 
What do you recommend for a beginner? Murder. Apparently, that's what got him viral. <laughs> Not saying he did it. I'm just saying that. That's what I want. It's me for any advice on YouTube. <laughs> I, I hope uh, I, I'm not really into it. It's so tweety. Oh, I believe that, Jay. Yeah. Hey, Mary. Yeah, I just, I'm not on a YouTube bandwagon at all. I think they're a bunch of phony bullshitters. God, he's so fucking nice, isn't he? He's so kind. Yeah, so phony. It's ridiculous. So are you. Sorry to interrupt, but this is really important. I know you've seen the headlines. Around the world, 100 million people are AI. <laughs> I mean, there's no way they can't know that's Rachel Reed. There's just no way they can't know. Yeah, they do. They go around, take pictures of them. Not just Maddie, other people. That Tiffany in Detroit taking pictures of her husband at work. What the fuck? Following her around to a coffee shop? Listen, if anybody got a picture of her husband at work, then I'd like it because that needs to go to the fucking food stamp and cash fucking transitional assistance fucking place. Seriously, I'm not even kidding. Had enough of this bitch. You know, right from wrong. Leaving a fucking name up there and you know it. Saying it's fucking touching it. You need you st you need to stop. Because I fucking there's a fucking picture up of the same one that you fucking used. Ooh, gee, somebody can't send me the fucking shit. It was by accident. I didn't even know it was there. The The post was not even relevant to your son. It was about Baba's live stream. There was no reason that it should have been there. And I apologized profusely. There's no fucking reason that you should be saying the things that are being said about my kid in there. Particularly the ones on Maddie. Making fun of her looks. I mean, it's just nuts. Who gives a fuck? You make fun of a person with cancer. Yeah. So I'm just going to, don't, I don't really care one way or the other, to be honest with you. I'm not doing anything they suggest. I delete everything they send me. I haven't got any uh, uh, surveys to fill out lately because I tell them them exactly. what I told you. Yeah. No, that's what I said. Yeah. But they allow this rap. Isn't that crazy Sharon? Same shit. Stalking people, paying people to go follow people. Oh yeah. I'm sure Sharon's paying people. Sure she is. Give it a rest, buddy. What the fuck, man? And they're worried about me discussing how Trin Trillex may have helped me with depression. It's just a fucked up group of people. Well, it sounds like it helped you. You definitely sound happier. You definitely sound happier. No, they're fucking douchebags. Oh my god, he's been watching me. He's been watching me. Obviously. He's picking up my lingo. Picking up when I'm laying down. The problem is, it's just like the same shit we're going through with these junk John Deere tractors. You know, the way everything's so fucked up now with parts and service and everything else. John Deere's making a bunch of junk now, too, that breaks down all the time. Supposedly, like, the best quality stuff out there. And John Deere knows that they're the best junk on the market. So it's not like you're going to say, well, you know what, if I, this keeps happening. Jesus, he's so fucking happy. I'm going to buy my tractor somewhere else. So say, go ahead. It's worse than the junk we're selling, which is accurate. Tom with a tractor. Fucking bullshit. Yeah, it's John Deere stuff. This bought a brand new tractor, man. It's been nothing but trouble. You can't even get a hold of John Deere at the factory now. It's, it's subcontracted out to some third vendor. That's crazy. You have to sync software before the tractor will run. Wow. That's fucked up. That is fucked up. You know, back in the old day, a big company like that, you could get a hold of, hey, this tractor sucks, doesn't work with the shit. Not Neither anymore. does your push hog. Fuck, Not forget anymore. it. And the dealerships that handle down here, they're just as fucked up. They're fucked up. They can't keep help. Most of the people aren't qualified. They don't have any experience. And if you go in there, it's like, hey, I'd like to get this tractor working. Yeah, we're six weeks behind. 
It's like six weeks behind, man. I can't wait that long. So if you don't like it, go somewhere else. Wow. It's unbelievable. Unbelievable. You can wait in line now and kiss the ass of an incompetent dealer because the people one notch down on the rung are even worse. Than He's kissing Nitty's ass. I thought they don't like each other. And they are. It's crazy. Oh, big time, Jeff. No, that's exactly That's exactly what it is, Chris. Yep. Oh, God. Totally true. Yeah, if you look up those Kubotas, though, they don't really do too well on customer ratings. It sounds like John Deere doesn't either. <clears throat> Anymore. Stars tonight, I can see Jupiter. Mars will be popping up pretty soon. Yeah, as soon as I get these lights turned off. I, I haven't been keeping up with my astronomy that much. You know, we got a lot of calls to see those things. You can go on NASA and a host of other things out there. Observe it. million boats out there. What is farming? Yeah! <laughs> We've got your back, Road Warriors. You're hitting the road, and we're helping you get there with confidence. They're sailing through it right now. It could be a chosen one. Well, I just signed, well, yeah, I just signed, like, people are real, airplanes are real, planets are real. Oceans, rivers, lakes, wildlife. It is January 4th. That's Capricorn. Their way, like, look at all the rules and regulations. They want 7500 to rent an RV for a week. I, I mean, I could do, have so much more fun doing other stuff. Go, go and look on Burning Man's... Uh, Burning Man. Stupid Burning Man. Like yeah, stuff like that. I mean, I could come down here. I'll put on a damn Burning Man. We'll have filet mignon, lobsters, every nice vegetable for me. Yeah. Get it out. Burning Man. But look at the website. All these fees and bullshit. $7,500 okay. a week for an RV. Who the fuck wants to go to Burning Man? It's corny. I think it's also cheating. You know, this wasn't any uh, discipline in any way. But they warn you about that with Trentrellix. It's like your sexual desire. Even it did. Even though mine was only Jack. <laughs> he didn't have sexual desire anyway. I can off. It still left me. It didn't discriminate in any way. Now he doesn't even jack off, he's saying. TMI, Tom. TMI. <clears throat> yeah, if you, you know, that's the whole advantage of these newer uh, psychotropic drugs is less side effects. Yeah, that wouldn't matter. I mean, you could be the most gorgeous woman in the world and it wouldn't matter, to tell you the truth to you. Because you can't get it up. In my opinion. Allegedly, I mean, that's what I seem to be. The conclusion, I think, I'm seeing here, is erectile dysfunction, in my opinion, allegedly. Seriously, I can get an idea. This is what what would probably should have happened already by this age. He had to crease libido. Yeah, I'm fine with it. To say the truth. <laughs> I don't care if it's decreased or not. Plus, I replaced it with like better things. That's a possibility. That's a possibility. Now you get some of those other what better things? I wonder. <clears throat> side effects and some of that stuff. Hi, Kimberly. I'm actually not disappointed. Well, what's the better thing? So he's not jacking off something better than sex, but not sex. Standing in the dark? I don't know. You'd be able to do it, Jeff Turner. Yeah, you know, I don't know if you know. I know, I know you're not married yet, huh? Tweety, but there's an old joke among men that you jack off more when you're married than when you were single, and there's definitely an element of truth in it. I'm sure you're good. Well, huh. Oh, good night, Kimberly. I'll learn this later on in life. 
Yeah, well, people say that I'm a different person than this. Like, I didn't freak out tonight like I normally would about the oil thing. And I know that sometimes, like, I, my temper isn't as bad. I'm not as obsessed with, like, mm-hmm. buying books as I was, and collecting things. I'm getting a lot more done. Yeah. Hey, you have to my trip. Yeah, I'm getting a lot more done, I'll tell you that. And my, uh, I'm reading it. You know, I do my laundry. I uh, I get things done. I wasn't getting anything done. I mean, flossing my teeth was a major issue. This is the biggest boss of the summer. Hey, 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 hey. If you come in, then come down. Yes, I'm, well, there's an art, particularly with young people, and I don't know if this is relevant to the newest drugs, but some of the oldest drugs, you know, if you're really down in the doldrums, depressed, and it seems to the fact that you walk up to the cage, it's just like snakes. They can strike faster than you can ever pull back. But those lions, they'll be sitting there snoring with their ass facing you. You'll go up there and grab its tail, that son of a bitch. Why would you do that? Read it. Yeah, you should be in the wild. Same with elephants. They're supposed to, like, walk around 60 miles a day, and here you got him on a roll his room and bit him right on his pecker. Hey, hey, Tiffany, how you doing? How are you doing? Hmm. So, I mean, you, you know, you're thinking what you need insurance for in a house. It's different what you need it for in a, in a condo. You can fuck other people's units up. Oh, you, baby. Beth, we hope we can include you in the uh, Burning Woman. It's going to be a good time. Burning Woman. Good, Tiffany. Burning Woman. What? Yeah, I didn't know it either. Look up Burning Man. There's a lot of interesting stuff on that site. Hi, Mandy. Yeah, I didn't know that. We did, too. A lot of snow in England, did you? <clears throat> wow. wife when I was like 40 and I had younger girlfriends when I was look up Burning Man there's a lot of interesting stuff on that site on that website yeah I didn't know that I mean it's really it's it's worth going on the Burning Man website and just reading I took about an hour and read up on it which is why I don't want to go there anymore Yeah, I want to now, 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 we did talk about this last week for a little bit, but here's, here's what I'm a little confused about. Now, the, the way that it worked out with me, I'm not bragging either. And I'm not saying it was He's that great. not bragging. Now, let me just say, he fucking said to himself, he did, he felt that the G spot is a myth. And he said, well, if it's not, then I never had it. That's what he said. Not me, him. Okay. Okay. So, now he's talking some shit, I think. But I never really had sex with older women because I left my wife when I was like 40 and I had younger girlfriends when I was uh, dating, which was not much. And then, you know, before you know it, 20 years get behind you. I had a date and I had a girlfriend for a little Rental insurance is good. Yeah, you can get you can get screwed on that, too. It's good. And it's actually held in what's considered a national park. So randomly, they fuck with people bringing in marijuana. Oh, you, Betty. Beth, we hope we can include you in the uh, Burning Woman. It's going to be a good time. Good, Tiffany. Look up Burning Man. There's a lot of interesting stuff on that site. Interesting. Oh, I feel. I'll make you feel. Yeah. Menopause. Hey, speaking of menopause, this probably seems kind of strange, even. But would you, woman. Listen, he's so weird. I have uh, made it through menopause. Would you mind if I asked a couple questions? God. So terrible. Yeah, and you got to take the dirty water with you. And they even say on the website that you're going to be hot and sweaty and dusty as hell five minutes after the shower. Fuck that. No, oh, I want to ask. Some, I want to ask a couple questions about menop- post menopause. Hey, weebies.
So I'm thinking that he uh, he's found that he can't meet any, you know, or fool around with any women who are premenopausal without, you know, in my opinion. I'm just saying in my opinion. I'm just guessing. I'm guessing. I'm not saying it's this way. I'm completely guessing, okay? He, without paying for it, cannot have, you know, like premenopausal. So he's thinking he might have to go out with somebody maybe his age or older or younger, even though they'd still be maybe possibly postmenopausal. So he's like, okay, so if I dated somebody postmenopausal, could I get away with not having much sex with her? <laughs> I think he like didn't want to date somebody younger in case they wanted a lot of sex. This is all speculation. Pure speculation and opinion only as to why he's wondering about this. Yeah, I want to know. Now, now we did talk about this last week for a little bit, but here's here's what I'm a little confused about. Now, the the way that it worked out with me, I'm not bragging either, and I'm not saying it was that great either. But I never really had sex with older women because I left my wife. That's because that's why it was never really that great because you never had sex with older women. <laughs> when I was like 40, and I had younger girlfriends when I was. Uh, dating, which was not much. And then, you know, before you know it, 20 years get behind you. I had a date and I had a girlfriend for a little while in 98. I couldn't wait to get rid of it. And I dated a little bit about eight years ago. I couldn't wait to get rid get of it. Get rid of how? Is she still on? Like breathing? It's asking. You guys know me, man. I'm upfront about everything. I'm not the, I am not. wouldn't be too good of a boyfriend. You know, I think I'm a good friend, but I'd be a shitty boyfriend. But anyway, I never really had sex. Oh, wow, really? He never really had sex. Crazy. With anybody, I don't think over like 35 or something like that. And, um, and I read these stories and I, I see these advertisements on TV and stuff like that. And I read about menopause and the transference and the testosterone, estrogen ratios, and, you know, producing estrogen and hormone. Listen, <clears throat> Tom, just because you can't get it up anymore after you had menopause doesn't mean that. Other men can't, and women have passion. And I mean, like what you're saying coming up is pretty terrible. I mean, you're just replacement therapy and all this stuff. And it's, I do know more because of the conversation we had last week than I do now that once women like go through menopause, do they still like get like horny like they did? Before they went through menopause. You're never going to know. Because. Nobody was ever really. Horny for you. <laughs> so. Somebody could be. Horny. For you. Three times a month. And that would probably be more. Than. Anybody ever has been before. But you. In my opinion. Allegedly. are impotent because of your age. Now, like, you're going to say something about KY Jelly, but what can you do to help you? Yeah, unblock her. Unblock her, Christy. Ladies must have gotten a little angry and mad at each other and a cat fight all the time. I know there are examples where they like turn into like total nymphomaniacs, but it's kind of rare. But is the sex postmenopausal anywhere near? I think it's like 75 or something. So I don't know how old he is. In his 60s, I would say. I don't know, mid 60s. 
like 67 or something. I don't know. Hear what it was like when you were young. Yeah, well, I'm just kind of curious about it because I, I read about hormone therapy and I, I talk to older women that don't want sex anymore. And I just don't, of all the stuff that They're comes my way through reading or comments and talk They're shows. They're telling you that. They're just telling you that. Internet and that kind of thing. It doesn't seem like the postmenopausal women have anywhere near the sex drive they did when they're younger. They want to avoid sex. I'll do it, Christine. How would you know? You said you never dated anybody over 35. Yeah, he is nice for each other. Oh, she did. Yeah, I'm generalizing. I'm talking about in general. If you took a thousand women, just for the sake of conversation, out of those thousand, what would be a safe percentage that just lost their interest in sex post-menopausal? Uh, if it was sex with you, a hundred, I'd say. Because, you know, it really depends on the person and who it is. And here's the thing, Tom. I bet you've also heard younger girls, pre-menopausal, say they're on their period. Or the pill makes them lose their sex drive. Uh, I don't know. Probably a lot of excuses. It's you're the reason you have such a your thoughts are the way they are about sex is because <laughs> you're not a romantic passionate complimentary in my opinion man you're not like a manly man you're not a man that would treat his woman like a woman and you're just not there's nothing to get turned on about with you you wouldn't know how to turn on a fucking light bulb buddy in my opinion No, see, Sam, I'd like to believe that's true, that I realize how important and significant hormones are. I think it's hormones, too. But you heard a lot of hormones. None. Let's get it out, buddy. Yeah, I don't think about sex, sex at uh, about every six seconds. I don't think I do. That's I mean, how long you last. Uh, now let's take kidding, her, now, in my opinion, allegedly. I'm well, Mary, do you think it'd be possible, like, like, let's take for an example, just hypothetically, like, you're post-menopausal. Okay, so this person says it might be they've lost interest in their partner more than the sex. They're nice. Nice. You ever considered that, Tom, huh? You ever considered that? Asking you if you are or you're not. Hey, boyfriend. Or whoever you're with uh, doesn't feel you're interested enough. Is there something you could take post menopausal to bring back the horniness of your 20s? Oh, God. Me neither. And his personality doesn't even make up for his fucking unattractiveness, in my opinion. <laughs> I think the thing you should worry about, Tom, is aren't, yeah. I mean, your impetus, I, you said yourself, you can only get off to lactating ladies. You said that. You said that. You like infantilism. You said that. You said that. Come on, buddy. Sick. You like to be, be a baby and be diapered. It's weird. At least doing that is normal and decent. Yeah. Yeah, what I would say, I would say that if women are unattractive to men, they don't stand a chance. But, you know, there's an old adage out there that it's not what you look like, it's what you whisper in their ear. I think an unattractive male stands a way better chance. What if it was Tiffany? Tiffany A. Now, I'm not picking on her, I'm just asking. I'm just asking. That's a serious fucking question right there. I don't appreciate the laughter. Seriously. So having sex with a female? Than an unattractive female would with a man. I really do. I hate to say that. Mostly desire. 
See, Cynthia thinks it's age. I think it's hormones. I think the whole thing. I think it's passion. It's driven by hormones. No, he doesn't, Mandy. Not at all. Mm -mm. Oh, thank you, Christine. Poor TH is being treated like she fucking is postmenopausal. <laughs> Yeah. Because here's the thing. Let's take an example for the sake of conversation. You're a 75 year old woman. I think they can derive pleasure differently than a lot of men. Yeah. Here's the thing, though. I don't even know if he has any postmenopausal women in there other than one, but I won't I won't say who. But well no, Crystal Love, right? Uh so because he kicked them all out because he knew I don't know, like they were like not impressed with him or he was Trying to fucking be, a, I don't know why he seems to think that he's uh, God's gift to younger women and older women want him really bad too, but they can't have him. You want Tom, but you can't have him. Says, okay, so Crystal Love, registered nerd, says, oh, look okay. oh. Mystique says, Never waned with me. Now you know Tom. Now, I'm not. I'm not saying, but I'm just saying that Mystique is a pretty hot ticket, and that's no lie. That's no lie. Lives in the same state as you, where you happened to move to. You just happen to move to the same state as her. It could be fucking fate. Could be fate. Have you ever thought about... Because I'm telling you right now... That wouldn't be that bad. I know you think you can't stand her. You think you can't stand her, but... You can you really can. And it could be destiny. It could be destiny that you're in your worship. Yeah. Yeah, different for everybody, but I'm but I'm generalizing. I'm saying if there were a thousand women out there, what percentage post menopausal would have looked their desire for for sex? If it was with you, I'm going to say 0% would have a desire for sex with you. You're fucking insulting. The first thing you probably would tell them is how lucky they are to be with you because you never dated anybody older than 35. That would probably be the first thing you would fucking say to them. Then you'd probably make them sit in the back so Daisy could sit in the front. Uh, I don't know, you know? Who fucking knows? You just don't seem nice. But maybe Miss Sweet... Like erectile dysfunction, do you think that old dick would have got hard at a good titty bar? What? What did he say? He's so nasty. He is nasty. See, Cynthia thinks it's age. I think it's hormones. I think it's I think you. Anything at all, like a good drilling in her 50s or 60s. Oh, my God. He's disgusting. Where does he fucking get off? See, this is what I'm this? saying. Now, here's another question, too. You don't need to answer this. Do you think a good dick and now, at 55 or whatever you are? My God. This anywhere... fucking guy. See, Cynthia thinks it's age. I Nobody's it's... getting a good dick in from you, buddy. Be like a fucking Charles Dickens novel. Can I have some more, please? Uh, 
performant. I think the whole thing is driven by hormones. Oh, thank you, Christine. Okay. Yeah. You're my best friend. Boo, you're my best friend. Oh, you make me live. Because here's the thing. Let's take an example for the sake of conversation. You're a 75-year-old woman. I think they can derive pleasure differently than a lot of men. You know? If it doesn't include you. Yeah, different for everybody, but I'm... I'm generalizing. I'm saying if there are a thousand women. Like I saw, there is zero percent. Right there. What percentage post menopausal would have their desire for for sex? Zero if it was you. But say, do you think erectile dysfunction? Do you think that old dick would have got hard at a good titty bar? And you think that old dick would have gotten hard at a good titty bar? As opposed with his wife. So what you're trying to say is that it's not anything to do with hormones or anything, estrogen or anything physically for a man when they get older, that they can't get it up anymore. You're saying that it's their wife and if they went to a good titty bar, that would solve their problem. But you want to talk about women as if their pussy dries up like the fucking Sahara after they reach a certain age. When in actuality, I'm sure you made quite a few women's dry up. No matter what age, at the fucking thought of you, in my opinion. It helps, yeah. I think with sex, I think when you're young, some was better than others, but it was all good. I mean, people are attractive when they're uh -huh. young. It got better when it got older. I'm sorry, it just did. You're more fucking secure about yourself. You know, like you know what you know what people. Yeah, it gets better when you're older, dude. That's how fucking pathetic you are. You thought that if you were going out with somebody younger, they were going to have the confidence enough to rock you. Anybody's fucking world. They don't. If they're confident and they're young, they're usually acting like a hoe. Okay? But confident in older women is sexy. It's a big difference than being confident as a hoe fucking everybody at 20 or being sexy and confident older. And knowing what you're doing. Even if exactly. Not looking, people in the world. And that is the key, Mandy. That's the key. You make your woman feel sexy and you will have good sex. That's the fucking key right there, Mandy. You hit it right on the head. As long as you make your woman feel beautiful, sexy, and don't make her feel insecure like you probably would, buddy. In my opinion, you probably be picking on everything, you know? They'd just be like, oh, this fucking guy makes me want to put a fucking gown on to have to say, you know, like over my head, everything. That's how you'd probably be, buddy. You still have like young, tight, good looking bodies and stuff. Oh, you're sick. Something weird about you. There's something fucking weird about you. Oh, pissing you off, yeah, you're right. That's true. Yeah, smoke does speak the truth. How about this? Now, here's another question, too. You don't need to answer this. Ugh, I think he's getting off on this. I think that's why he has these fucking sex talks in his room. Fucking perv. Do you think a good dick and now, oh. like 55 or whatever you are, was anywhere near the effervescent pleasure? Oh, God, listen to him. The effervescent pleasure. So it was like glowing or something? 
It was effervescent. Your sex was effervescent. Does that even make sense? Well, there's ways to please women. This motherfucker doesn't seem like you know. <laughs> Have a good dick in your gut when you were 19 or 20. Do you oh, think it's fair? He's sick. It's fucking sick. No, it was not as good when I was 19 or 20. Absolutely not. I wasn't fucking confident enough. Guys that young, they're fucking going around throwing it at everyone. I mean, come on, man. Kidding me? T? Well, then I don't know who you've been going with. Even compare? Yeah, it's fucking way better. I'm telling you. It's the person, anyway. <laughs> Yeah. This guy don't even know because he's never had sex with anybody over thirty five and now that he's impotent he won't be having sex with anybody, so I know that's an honest answer, Christine, I believe it. I don't know, in the in my thirties is when fucking I thought it was but but it's always I mean I don't know, I'm not even talking anymore about myself. Yeah, I think with a woman that is postmenopausal now, when she got a good drilling in her 20s, was it anything at all like a good drilling in her 50s or 60s? Yeah. No, because, you want to know why? Because I wasn't able, I don't know, I think, have they been here before? Maybe once or twice, I don't know. I wasn't able. First of all, when you say good drilling, do you mean a good drilling by some fucking stranger in a bar? I'm going to bet that's never fucking good. I mean, people might want to, oh, oh no, that's good. Oh, we like being used for one night stands. No, uh uh. So, drillings, <laughs> I would only want from the person I was dating. So, I don't think I was secure enough, confident enough then to enjoy it as a good drilling. You know? It just seems like coming from a guy who said he didn't even believe that the G-spot was real. He thought it was a myth. Yeah, he thought the G, he thinks the G spot is a myth because he's never hit it. So, Tom, you're fucked. Unless you start becoming a better person and start treating some lady like you really like her and seeing her for beauty and thinking about telling her how sexy she is so that she's confident in front of you to rock your world, you're fucked. Isn't that DIY? What does that mean, DIY? I got it, Sam. I got it. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay.
to change. Crystal, how old are you if you don't mind me asking? This person says, remember, goes in tight, comes out loose. Well, yeah, because the guy blows his load, and if you're the type that can't, like, maintain an erection without, you know, until the woman gets hers first, and then, well, then you're fucking blowing your load and fucking... Shriveling right up, so it's not the the vagina that's loose; it's your penis gets smaller. Did you know that? <laughs> Did you know that, buddy? Are you really saying? Wow. Well, oh, you like it just as much. Yeah, but you're not. God, he is fucking. Curvy. It's not a puzzle either, but you're on the other side of the curve. Hey, Drew, you're in. Yeah, it does depend on the attraction, yeah. Oh, do it yourself. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah. Oh, you're past it. Oh, good for you then. You're a shining example. Yeah, there's a lot of shining examples. It's you that's not the shining example, buddy. When are you going to understand that? The G-spot does exist. You said yourself. You've never hit it. It's you that's not the shining example. So here's another question now. I, I'm curious, too. So you're postmenopausal. What do you, what do you, what do, you do? Just uh, carry around four ounces of KY jelly in your purse and say to the guy, hey, look out there. There's a bird singing. Scored a couple. Well, they got foreplay. Yeah. Maybe a little saliva might work. Now they just fucking wait till the guy fucking turns his head and slap on some KY. You're a fucking idiot. A couple ounces on that. I mean, that couple is a couple ounces people. on that. Shut the fuck up, dude. Worry about your own fucking erectile dysfunction, in my opinion. I'm with it. <clears throat> I guess wrong about this. You're wrong. It's you that dried up uh, women of any age. Oh, well, spontaneous menopause at 45. Oh, gotcha. Okay. So, if you say most, not all. That's motherfucking idiot, man. So, I'm assuming that's, that some of these postmenopausal women just, you know, they just can't get turned on enough to, like, they got to have some add-on lubricant, don't they? This fucking guy doesn't even consider oral sex. Wouldn't even cross his mind. He'd be like, instead of being the fucking punk that is like, I don't have, we don't have a condom, we can't do it. He'd be the fucking idiot going, I don't have any lube, we can't do it. What a fucking idiot, man. This fucking guy is fucking clueless. Here's, that's so fucking sad for your time. You're probably gonna like, like, die and never know good sex never all those books you read you can read fucking hundreds of books about good sex but you just couldn't do it for anybody that's sad even, yeah, just, even your like hand it. isn't even getting the action that it used to see that's fucked up so what do you do excuse yourself and Say, I gotta go to the ladies' room and squirt out about five ounces of KYJ. Still in the new hand by a screwdriver in your pain. Yeah, I know what do it yourself means jerking off. <clears throat> really? Okay. Now, do you think a guy a guy could spot the KY jelly or he's just gonna be suspicious or you let it get warmed up? Oh, God. 
He's just fucking jerking after this. I swear to God, he is. What a fucking idiot. He doesn't even fucking. It doesn't occur to him. How pathetic he sounds. This is like a 65 year old man. Acting like he has no idea. So he basically hasn't had sex in what? 25 years. 25 years. He hasn't had sex in, in the least 25 years. Well then, well then to save you the problem of <clears throat> being a weirdo, <clears throat> wouldn't want you to be thought of as a weirdo today since you couldn't resist listening. So and just to save you that, that uh, stigma. You wouldn't want to be stereotyped as a weirdo, would you, bitch? Yeah, but he doesn't even have any. <laughs> he don't even know. His whole fucking sex life has just been jerking off. Huh? To lactating and diapering. That's his, that, I mean, that's a thing. Infantilism. He said he's into, that is, I'm not even lying to you. I'm not lying to you. He's not going to tell the difference anyway. Huh. No, I didn't know. I never heard of that. No. Nope. Of course you're not going to be able to tell the difference because you won't be able to get it up anyway, buddy. Oh, he's gross. Okay, Christine. That's all right, Beth. Gross. So you really got to use that kind of stuff. I just don't see how you... Is it like it's just discretion? Is it like... I'm trying to figure this fucking out. Fucking weirdo, man. 65 years old talking like he's never had fucking sex before because he's a perv in my opinion. What a fucking weirdo dirtbag. A fucking weirdo. In my opinion. Yeah, me either, Beth. Yeah, I get the feeling. Hey, that's real glad. Good for you. What? Oh I'm listening. Yeah, I never heard of that. No, we're getting your comments, Crystal. Now, I don't know if she was even trying to be snotty when they said people that watch Tom's live streams are weirdos, too. So I don't know if they were trying to be fucking snotty because of the fact that we were watching it. But you sound like it to me, right? <clears throat> I mean... Well, to me, but what do you guys think? Mm, too late now, I already blocked him. Oh, yeah, you're probably right about that. Oh, we get your, we're getting your comments, Russell. This is the biggest boss of the summer. Hey, 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 hey. If you're coming in, come down, play, play. If you're too shy, then watch for me. Watch, watch for me. It's me, your skin. Some cleansers get us clean, but take my moisture. CeraVe cleansers help me make... What's that YouTube figuring out? You're, you vote Republican. <laughs> Does he vote Republican? Cricket, cricket, cricket. So at least they're not too loud, though, his crickets. His crickets. They're his crickets. Did you know that? He's running a cricket farm. Not really, Omar. No, not really. Probably not. Yeah, there's a lot of stuff you can mix in, right? Yeah. Maybe. This guy Probably acts like matter. you don't even know. Hot Cat says, and it's true, some women's bean gets larger. Oh, my God. Julie, I got a question for you. Mm. 
my god. Oh my god. What the fuck? Says Tom, uh, Faye says, Tom, just wait till all us gals sitting around campfire with you next summer. We'll tell you all our secrets. And then Christine, 1970, says, but hopefully, good night, Tom, hopefully, I want to get my butt smacked by my husband, LOL, my husband will pick. Oh, yeah, I appreciate it. Good night, Christine. This is such a weird yeah, I that's a No, your husband's 75. Julie says, Cat Cat, what's a bean? Is his, is his desire still there? She told you it was. That was the point of her telling him he was 75. She told you it was. Oh, it is. No, no. Does that is that different for you? I mean, did you know if you were taking notes and publish, publishing a thesis, would is it better, worse, the same? I mean, is anything? Are there subtleties? No, she told you. They still have a very active love life, and maybe um, this the chat wasn't applying to her because. They still have passion. See, most people, smart people anyway, don't marry somebody that they don't have fucking earth-shattering sex with. Smart people don't. Apart from me. Oh, apart from me. Oh, I know, right? But there's 32 people here, but... I don't know, their fingers must be tired. Um, yeah, that's... So an older guy that, that women wouldn't experience with a guy, let's say, in his 40s or so? Well, they've never What's... experienced that with you in your 40s. And let me just tell you something, Tom. If you think that people have never seen people in their 20s with tiny dicks... Which does nobody any good. Nobody good. Nobody any good. Don't matter how fucking young or old they are. Or how hard it even gets. Some fucking little tiny inchworm ain't doing shit. So, basically, Tom, for you, I don't know what your measurements are. Okay, buddy? But it's a good possibility that you're not being quite... Somebody in the room should ask him, go measure yourself, buddy. And when he comes back and says three inches, maybe two and three quarters, let him know it's because of him. There's nothing there to be pleasing with. And if he thinks, uh, uh, you got you to gotta use KY jelly to get somebody wet, this motherfucker doesn't know shit. Fucking idiot. Yeah, I know, Mandy. I know, what I, mean. or, uh, I know exactly what you mean. Yeah. God, this fucking guy's gross. Oh, he's so gross. So fucking pervy, in my opinion. Oh, oh, God. Probably like that time. I'm doing great. Oh, God. Yeah. Oh, God. Probably God. not. Oh, God. This shouldn't even be allowed. I mean, YouTube no, really should isn't. not become a platform for these people and their fucking deviant sexual nastiness. Harassing people's kids. Harassing older women. I mean, just sick. Oh, okay. Desire. That's the, that sounded like a key. Yeah, you think? 
desire. So nobody's desired you, in my opinion. Yeah, I got you. Dude, I didn't know. Oh, really, Soka? Oh, desire matters? There wasn't I just see, you know, used to remember seeing these, like, interviews over to have any... What the fuck does that mean? This person named ACB that's modded in there says, my education came from getting spray paint sprayed on me when I was 10 years old. Great. The fuck does that mean? The fuck? Oh my God. These people are weird. These people are like 70. They look like they're fucking dead. And they're claiming they've had the best sex of their life. <laughs> okay. I, just don't even know. I can only assume that they, they just didn't have much sex. Like they got married early. And, oh, yeah. He's not getting none. You know, their fucking husband or wife lived 50 fucking years before they died. After they were married. And then they went out and got some new sex. And that's how they described it. Because they hadn't had that much. You're an idiot, buddy. You don't get it. Your fucking two intro isn't pleasing anybody, buddy. And now it's impotent. Frickin' get it. Plus, you said you don't get hard unless it's fucking lactating and diaper involved. You said that. Infantilism. In my opinion, allegedly, all of those things. You said it. You said it on Bobbles. So, of course, you weren't enjoying it because you have some freaky fetishes and I don't know if there's a lot of people into that. Maybe. I just don't know. It sounds so strange. People are so weird, man. Oh, you think it is something? Yeah, I think it is. It's creepy. You know, it's just, you know, you just wonder how much of this bullshit to believe. Oh, my God. Three hours, you poor thing. And what do you think of this? Do you think, would it be possible for anybody on here to have a sexless marriage? Would it be? Tiffany. Hey. <laughs> Are you in there? I think he's asking you question possible for anybody do you think that would be something you consider oh you mean consider it like you want to marry somebody and have a sex I thought you meant it just turn that way something right fucking need something yeah me either something. what are you doing over there crystal oh my god Crystal Love is a nut. I'm saying, I lost audio. I lost this. I lost that. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, that's all right. No. This is all right. You go ahead and let us have it, man. We want the truth here. We're yeah. truth seekers. Yeah. All right. All right, yeah. He's a pervert. Pervert. Yeah, I don't like doing it either, so I don't like cuddling either. Yeah, I like cuddling either. Well, there you go. There's another good point of you. I did when I was younger, but back then it was a means to an end. You know, he just had to do it. This motherfucker was having sex, trying to get it over with quick. He went into this shit with, oh, I'm going to run it up in her. 
don't have to worry about getting her, you know, preggles because I won't blow a load, apparently, right? Is that what you're thinking? And uh, I'll give her a hug and say bye and it means to an end. He's thinking, he's thought all his life that, see, that's why he's so bitter. In my opinion, I'm just like, I'm just diagnosing him now. He thinks that he dumped the women that didn't want anything to do with him. Even though he knows that he didn't. He knows that he was so embarrassed and they were so disappointed, in my opinion, that that's why he wanted to get the hell out of there. But he cuddled them at least for a couple of minutes, uh, you know, to basically be like, you know, I'm sorry I put you through that. Um, I know it was disappointing. I know I pre-ejaculated. <laughs> I mean, so here's a hug. And bye bye. <laughs> This is fucking weird. This ACV says, uh, yep, it bit it burnt like hair. Probably shouldn't have said that, but F it. You know, that basically their first experience was sprayed with spray. I don't even get it. Uh, my big tough cousins used to whoop on me. That doesn't even fucking make sense. What does that mean? Yeah, I, don't think I, could do I think I'd have to be high or drunk or something. I heard drunk for what? No, I never liked it that much. Never liked what that much? <laughs> I'm that way too, simple. Yeah, now here's Mystique. Okay. Your buddy, Mystique, that lives in the same, same town as you. Okay. She lives in the same, not town. I said town. State, not town. I said, I can tell already you've never had a one direction full body massage either than missing out well there you go Tom get it yeah I've had, I've had a lot of body massage I got the happy ending too at the end okay. another 50 bucks oh god oh my god he's fucking pathetic Oh my god. Did you hear what he said? Yeah, I had it. Got to have the ending for 50 bucks, too. Oh god. What a fucking idiot. In my opinion. Yeah, I mean, that's what, that's what you go there for. She goes, not talking about that kind of massage, Tom. Yeah, I, I mean, really, man, if I, if I went and got a full body massage and I didn't get stroked off at the end or blown it, I'd feel ripped off. Oh. Oh, my God. And you wonder. I, I can't even. So basically what you're saying to Mystique, who mentioned a uh, massage, which most men, if they had game or at least an inkling 
uh, it might have flirted back a little bit. But you more or less acted like you'd rather have a hooker. If you were dating someone and they went to give you a massage, you would be like, well, bitch, uh, even though we haven't slept together yet, you better suck my dick at, at, at the end of this or this is just stupid. I mean, I, I'm just, I can't even. Now I can kind of see how we ended up with fucking freaks that are so such like predatory like oh my god I, I can't even um, explain how gross some of them are it explains it because this fucking weirdo is their master or something yeah I can give you an impression too of the massage girl if you like See if it's better or worse than my uh, Siegfried. He goes again. Yeah, good luck, Kristen. Hang in there. Yeah, that doesn't... But you got to admit, Julie, that bullshit doesn't last long in the real world. Oh, bullshit. She has... I, I like to sleep separate, however, if I'm with a man I love, I don't mind cuddling. And he says, that bullshit doesn't last in the real world. Bye, darling. No holla. It takes too long, Julie. It takes too long. What? Two prompt jump. Uh, Hello, I'm Patrick Stewart. Did you know that right now over seven... She said, you're not a police officer, are you? Oh my God. Just can't. Talking about massage partners. Yeah. <laughs> uh. mm -hmm. A neck What the fuck? Yeah, that's two of us with it. Exactly. Yeah, it's because they think they're a cop. Here's how it works with massage parlors. I got to know the owners of some of the ones that uh, I went to. So, I don't know. He's going to start schooling us. I mean, gee, finally something you know about massage parlors. Okay, go right ahead. You go in there, you know, you got some cute Asian girl, and she comes in there and gives you a shower. When she's in there rubbing your cock with a bar of Dove soap. My <laughs> fucking God. What are we living in a pornography? I, I, I'm in a porn. I, I can't even. I can't even. What is going on where people are? Owners in there with a master key in your locker looking through your fucking wallet looking for a police ID or a badge. So if you pass that test, you're probably going to get blown or stroked off on the table. But if they find a badge in there or anything related to law enforcement, you're going to get a fucking legit shitty massage. And when you ask for the happy ending, or you point down towards that doily they got. Yeah, I bet a doily could cover that motherfucking thing. 
Ah, God. God. Over your cock. It's going to be a big fat uh, fucking... Well, that made me want to puke. Ugh, God. Oh, my God. I can't imagine how grotesque. Ugh. No. Yeah, ACB. Bingo, man. <laughs> Bingo. Obviously, they've been to the massage parlor as well, I guess. Fucking ain't right. <laughs> yeah. Feeling all yeah. good about yourself that you know about pairs of shoes all lined up at a massage parlor? Uh, damn right, man. Fuck yeah. Yeah, you got it, man. 10 4. No, you're not, Black Crystal. Uh, fucking A right. <laughs> you summed it up perfectly. Oh, that is so cool. That's so cool, buddy. We can relate. We both went to Besides Carlos. We both had to pay to get off. But yeah, that's so cool. Isn't it easier when you just pay the girl to, you know, some stranger to get you off and you don't have to worry about hitting some fucking mythical G spot? Thank God I got extra 50 bucks for a happy ending instead of searching for that fucking mythical G spot. It's always eluded me. More like an I don't Well, it's it. suspicious right out of the bank because women can get fucked anytime they want. They, they can't, can. you fucking dirtbag. Not everybody's a fucking hooker. Okay, you fucking skank. Men can get fucked anytime they want. Evidently. Just have to pay for it, like yourself. Women that would go into a fucking massage thing and be talking about getting laid or eating out. It's fucking like your radar be on so fucking big. Yeah, like they'd be a, a whore. So you do know about oral, but you just that doesn't cross your mind at all. You'd rather they use KY. You're a fucking <laughs> epic fail and everything. Yeah, had to wash him. Yeah, exactly, right? Ugh. Ugh. He's so good. Oh my god. She was probably like, you know Manscape? You know Manscape? Why are you so hairy? <laughs> oh, right. Oh, dear. Oh, fucking, he's just a nasty case of it. Hey, Sam, I got a question for you. Oh, my God. See that Jew question? Is it something to do with Jews? Oh my god, I turned the 175. He's too fucking far. He's just touching himself or something in between. There's something wrong. With this Let's guy. say, for example, this is just for the sake of argument. If you found out and you found a receipt in Hubby's wallet, and Ugh. you found out he got stroked off in a massage bar or someplace when he, when he was away from home, would that, would that cause damage to a relationship? Yeah. Yeah, it's suspicious as hell, Julie. My God. Ah. Uh. <laughs> wow. Oh, wow. Fucking Crystal Rod is a weirdo. <sighs> oh, my God. Oh my god. First of all, TH said. However, my husband would have to give me a separate amount of money for my toys. LOL. Then said Damn shit. I couldn't imagine not getting that release. I'm fine doing it for myself, but damn, I got to have something. You're married, though. But I have something. 
There's not a woman in this world who can't get laid, but if she wants to. So the notion that she go to a place to pay for it, just it's not believable. Oh, sorry, Crystal. I don't know what's. You're so weird, dude. What's going on there. Oh, okay, there, girl. Hey, Julie. How about with you? If you if you, if you find a receipt in hubby's wallet that he got, and you, you confirm later on he got jacked off a Japanese massage parlor, would that affect your relationship? Yeah, because. If he wanted a massage from an Asian woman, we can fucking role play it. Okay? I'll role play the shit. I'll role play the shit. I mean, maybe not be Asian, but it could be pretty, uh, pretty convincing, I'm sure. That I was there for his pleasure only. I'm sure I could be that convincing. But you know what? I'd be so good at convincing that I was there for his pleasure only. That he'd feel it necessary to pleasure me. And that would be, Tom, when you give someone a good dicking. Stupid fuck. You don't know shit. You probably never even heard of a good dickin' song. You probably don't even have any that you would like. Fucking weird out. On any given Tuesday night, there are thousands of vans in New York City, but this van yeah, is special. Van. <laughs> Yes. Yeah, would that bother you? Plus, that was a dumbass. Stupid question. Is that what you did to your wife? I read you. That's a good answer. Oh, really? That's cool. That's cool. Yeah, I got you. Yeah, that's, that's, that's interesting, isn't it? These people are, I mean, step, step away from me. Who's laughing? Oh, Beth, come on. That would, that would bother you? That would bother you, Tiffany? For me, yes. But if he told me, no. Well, if he told you after he did it, you really don't really have a choice to... It really doesn't matter if you found out or not or if you told you or not. I mean, it wasn't like it was your, you know, that you had any input into whether or not it bothered you or not. <laughs> Did it anyway. And you don't know if you fucking caught something or what else he's been doing or how long that had been going on. Fucking role play, bitches. Oh, see now you. This is this is the same way that gays find out if guys are gay. I've done it myself before. You know, you go out, you you meet somebody, you like them, and it's like you've done it yourself before. You put out feelers, right? And it's like, hey, Sally, you know, I was, I was watching some porn the other night, and they were having some threesomes, and she'd say, oh, fucking threesome, man. If you ever even brought that up, I would never date you again. You know, you're lucky I don't call 911. Well, you know that, you know, if you're really into that shit, well, you're not going to fuck us anymore. You're not interested. I mean, you uh, Well, you know that if you're really into that shit, you don't bring it up on the first fucking date and expect her to be like, yeah, okay, I'll have a threesome with you, and expect yourself to have any kind of respect for her in reality. Because if you don't get the instant gratification of threesome within a fucking week by the, then, you know, like, uh, this bitch is a fuck you, threesomes. Sure, sure, why, you got a fr uh, male friend you want to bring along? No, I meant two women. Of course you fucking did. Of course you fucking did. These people are fucking... There's a seven. You put out feelers. Gays are 
perfect at it. It's like, hey, you got a wife? Nah, I had when I divorced her. You got a girl? Uh, you know all about that, don't you? <laughs> I see. I I don't think I know any friends, male or female, that know how to fish for information at a gay bar unless it's something they were doing. So you're going to talk to us about something you know about again? Ah, fuck no. What do I need one of those for? It's like, oh, you ever go to topless bars? No, I don't want to see that. Wow, this motherfucker knows every question, huh? Wow. You're getting somewhere. This is the feelers. That getting I somewhere. What a weird way to put it. Oh. But, you know, you, you had all those questions, and they were all nice, positive answers in the gay sense there, and you're getting somewhere. But for the woman, you ask something that you know on a first date, some woman's going to be like, what? And you know you're going to have an excuse. to, I, I don't like her. You can ask the most outrageous thing. Now, have you ever thought about being honest with yourself and coming out of the closet, in my opinion? I mean, because it's obvious to me that you in my opinion, that you've crossed that line. In my opinion. Not that there's a line, but you're just, just go there, Tom. That's what you, I mean, come on, man. You know when you're getting somewhere with a guy. Oh, really, Mary? Why don't you give JC there a call? He did make, make a good couple, actually, but I think he's too classy for you. You're right, Mr. Ken. But maybe not, because he does laugh and yuck it up with nasty ass motherfuckers, so maybe I'll right there. Now, now maybe Bobbles will put in a good word for you. Maybe Bobbles will put in a good word with you. That was a good movie because it's thought provoking. That is called Hall Pass. If you guys ever watch that movie? Hall pass where they've been married a while, they've got kids, and these women finally kind of get fed up and they tell their husbands, fuck it. You know, you've got a week to just go out and do whatever you fucking want. You talk stupid, dude. You talk fucking stupid. And the yeah. first, first thing you do is what? Get a leather vest on? Because we're tired of, you know, being held to this fictitious standard. Hall pass. It's thought provoking. I thought it was a good movie. Hall pass. Uh, sound good to me. This is this Are you single? Maybe you're divorced or new in town. It's time to meet your match with events and adventures. Whether you're low key or. Think I'd really date a guy that dresses like Randy Macho Man Savage. Oh, that's great, Beth. I just. Like, here's an example. Like, and I'm not, I'm not saying one's better than the other. You take Beth, and she seems open-minded on this stuff. But in the real world, those are far and few between. And you take Simka, who said when she was younger, she'd probably take a hat. <sighs> to this guy. But now that she's older, and, you know, maybe the hormones have had itself. It just, you know, it's a mixed bag on whether this kind of maybe activity. Maybe her hormones have had itself. <clears throat> wow, you just find anything. To fuck in, insult women. Enhances a marriage or it hurts it. Would you ever give your husband a hall pass, Julie? No. I shouldn't have to. I should be everything he needs. If I'm not, there's a problem. Yeah, but I mean, that's kind of, yeah, I get that in a way, Mary, but, you know, most sexually transmitted diseases are, are, are through guys fucking their secretaries and their neighbors. I mean, it's, it's not unfair to put all that on sex workers. What a stupid thing. What a fucking dumb thing you just said. What a fucking stupid thing you just said. You just justified 
fucking a hooker by saying you won't get an STD from them because they're not the secretary or the neighbor who probably isn't a sex worker. So you mean it could be your married neighbor that's been with the same guy since she ever started having sex but you think you'd be more apt to get an STD from her? You're a fucking idiot. You like prostitutes more than decent women because you know you need instant gratification because you cannot satisfy people in any way, shape, or form, in my opinion. Well, I can tell you this, Beth. I got to believe in one form or another, both your ex-husbands miss you dearly. It wouldn't enhance your marriage. That's interesting. See, there's two kinds of relationships. Like, I honestly, I don't think I was ever... You don't know anything about relationships. ...capable of, like, being, like, in love, like, um, how you describe as a healthy way. Really, I fucked up that way. I, I told women for a long time, there's nothing I can offer you, you know? They knew. They knew. You're wasting your fucking time. I don't mean being friends with you, but, you know, I know you think I'm a nice guy, but I'm just laying it out in the line. Now, I was always kind of looking for... He's very creepy, so... ...someone that, you know, it's like, hey, honey... I'm bringing home my coworker Sally. I'm going to give her blowjob lessons with you tonight. Now that's what I'm looking for. And believe it or not, I've had that a few times. Because you do nothing for them, which you just said. You just said that. You got nothing to offer them, so you want them to come and give you blowjob lessons because they know you're going to need those lessons in the future. So they're going to come over and give you some blowjob lessons, are they? Make sure you know how to do it. I know what you said, but you know what you meant. But the other part didn't jive with that. You know what I mean? It just It's not reality. But I think that was my porn influence. Would you really, Tiffany? Well, there's, a, there's an argument for that, Jeff. Yeah. Would she give him a hall pass? Doesn't he have other wives? <clears throat> I'm not trying to talk. Is that like a is that like a fable that he's got other wives? Is that a lie that I heard? He doesn't have other wives. Yeah, there's nothing wrong with that, Cynthia. I think that's where I would be in a relationship, you know. It does seem nice. You're right about that. I would agree with that, Chris. Yeah. I'll tell you I was out the other day and I was talking to this girl and she's in the government here in, in uh, Crawfordville. She's a black lady. I'm not into black girls. I mean, I, I'm not saying that like as a racist. I mean, I don't like green beans. I just, you know, there's certain features. Why do you say green beans? You're attracted to, to certain features you're not. And she's a really super person. Great sense of humor. Love talking to her. I just don't think. I oh, my God. Her. That lady, Julie, said to Tiffany, I may be wrong, but doesn't your husband have other wives? Or is it or is that just a YouTube rumor? for a million dollars and she's attractive kind of got a big ass and i think she's interested because of the way she's talked she wants to get together wants me to come over and make me dinner but i have a i mean you could say we could just be friends yeah it could be but i don't really get that vibe i like everything about her but i don't think i want to have sex with her i mean this is how bad it is i don't even think i'd let her blow me what would make you think she wants to blow you you get me now you feel me but I'd like to be friends with her. I just, I think she'd be fun to like go to museums with and concerts. I just don't think I could ever give her a dickin'. Oh, God. You can't give anybody a dickin'. <clears throat> I don't know, Tiffany. Tiffany said it's just a rumor that he doesn't have other wives. I find that hard to believe. Just because it's been such a rumor. <laughs> I mean, I, I, I guess maybe not. I don't know. Yeah, it sounds terrible. I mean, I ain't any fucking prize myself. I, I realize that. But You're not even a consolation prize. In my opinion. I, 
I think they want a relationship with the guy. I mean, that's the vibe I get. And I, I just, I just can't uh, do it. Well, yeah, because you know, you know, go that way. Why don't you just fucking be honest with yourself, Tom? Or not just with Oz. I mean, no, listen. It's fine. You do whatever you want. <clears throat> Nobody will fault you. If you ask I just, here's the thing. Well. You got the committed, loving relationship where, you know, there's four hours of foreplay, nine orgasms. Four hours of foreplay? It's a little fucking exhausting, isn't it? This guy doesn't know shit. Later, you hold hands, you give a fuck how their day went, you rub your fingers through their hair and don't have sex. There's those kind of relationships. And then there's the other kind. You like them, you're attracted to them, but you just can't do that part of it. I mean, you're in. Dude, you've never had any, you've one of those. Well, yeah, uh, okay. You come facials. Double oh, this fucking guy is too much. He shouldn't be on fucking YouTube. He shouldn't. I'm sorry. He should not. Is this video like marked for 18 over only? It really should be. Because this is some sick motherfucking shit. This guy is fucking... These people are perverted motherfuckers. Right in the shit they say. And saying the shit they say. They're all gross, man. It's not everybody, but... I mean, what the heck? You wake up with a raging boner and think, what the fuck do I do with this? It's like a stupid comedy. You fucking jerk off, you fucking weirdo. What do you think you fucking do with it, weirdo? Jerk off or go take a cold shower if you got to go to work and don't have the time. I don't know what you fucking do with it if you don't have somebody. Why are you asking Tom? Like he fucking ever had a raging boner? I know, right? Yeah. Uh, and there's no in between. It's one or the other. Ugh. Oh, look, Tiffany's there. No, that was a rumor. Sharon spread. Whatever. Yeah, it's okay. I am done, Cynthia. Yeah, stupid comedy, you're right, Chris. Yeah. Miss Speak says, you know what they say? Never close the door. What does that mean? What's that? Uh, On a raging boner? No, there's no in between. It's either like, like you get this idea of what most women, they want intimacy. That, that's been my experience. I, I just wasn't really too good at giving it. I mean, I did for about the first. Well, intimacy can be a good dickin' as long as it's with the same person. It's intimate to know that you have animal sex together. Not animal. You know what I mean, though, right? That's an intimacy. That's something you two share. You know. Oh. But. You know, like holding out, you know, little electricity when you touch. I mean, you're just a fucking idiot. You know nothing. You failed. Ten years. But it was a means to it. I didn't know anything. It was just a young guy. You know, I, you know, you gave him intimacy but you know then porn came out and parlors and titty bars and shit and i found that honestly i've talked about this before i mean i'm i'm, I'm getting about ready to retire so let me get this straight you were a young guy you were just fucking them and cuddling because it was a means to the end then pornos and massage parlors came out and you found out that you didn't have to spend time with people that you couldn't get off anyway. And uh, then, so you started doing the pornos and the and the and the happy endings, and so you never had any kind of where you were like, you know, uh, like you know, the song "I Wanna Feel You" from the inside. 
you never had it. Like you probably never bottomed out. Huh? That's fucked up. This fucking guy, man. This fucking guy. This guy is fucked. So you basically, yeah, you never, ever, 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 ever in your whole life had good sex, is what you're saying. Am I right? Never, because you went from not pleasing people because you were too young, even though you claim that people who are not pleasing people because they're too young and, you know, blah, 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 um, I mean, whatever, um, that must have been the best time for us women because God knows why would we like it when the guy got older and knew what he was doing and was more confident and cocksure. Nah. We like those doing it when we were 20 and 19 with the bumbling 20 and 19 year olds through that just our booth. Right? Is that what you're saying, buddy? So, over 35, which actually, in the 30s, that's the best time in some women. Any time, really. But you're so stupid that you sit there and go, I didn't date any women over 35. Um, Now, why? Because you think they're old and they're dry? Let me ask you a question. There's somebody, you know, say that it depend your life depended on it. Your life depended on it, okay? Your life depended on it. Me, Bobbles, and TH. Now I know I know Tom would say. Any one of those two, right? But you know damn fucking well. You know damn well. You'd be chasing me around there, and I'd be saying, look, buddy, I don't give a fuck if you die. I am not saving your life by having sex with that. So you can fucking continue on being atrocious. Uh, but bye buddy. It's Bobbles or TH. Because, uh, sorry, I'm not on the market for you. And then you'd cry. And you'd be stuck with them. And then you'd think that it had something to do with... She's older anyway. She probably didn't have any KY. <laughs> and I would say, oh, gee, like if I didn't have any KY, you don't have any spit? KY. Fucking weirdo. What person thinks women should be prepared for him not being able to make them wet? Hmm? Look, I know I'm not going to make you uh, wet and whatever like that. So uh, I suggest you bring your own KY to the date. This is a bring your own KY date. Guy's a fucking weirdo. Can you imagine, like, dying and being like, I don't know what the whole big to do about sex and passion and love was. I think it was all overrated. I never enjoyed it. Can you imagine dying like that? Can you? Some people think they're rich, right? And that's the story of their life, though. That they'll die never knowing, like, good sex or passion or being in love or anything like that. They won't. 
And they'll think that because they had more money than maybe people who have been in love and have had passion and and things like that, that they're richer than them because of paper money. But when you die, I guarantee you, you'll be sitting there going, but wait, wait, I want to know what love is. Come on, I promise I'll spoon somebody. Please just give me a little chance to show somebody that I care about them. No, too bad. And I just don't even know, like, these people are fucking ridiculous. These women saying, yeah, I'd give my man a hall pass. Yeah, if he came home, I, well, as long as he told me, I mean, give it a rest. <sighs> this little lifestyle that I'd rather have, like, a great relationship with a woman. Like she liked the arts and the concerts and looking for rocks and birds and bees. Okay. Tom, please get a boyfriend. Get a boyfriend. In my opinion, I guarantee you, you can go looking for rock to art museums. I mean, maybe you guys won't even have to have sex. Maybe they're just looking for a partner, but you're not going to have any conversation with any woman in a respectful way. Because you think that women don't like to go to museums and understand what's going on. <laughs> God, he's sick. Coming he out is. here and reading books. And then I'd like somebody else to just give me blowjobs. Ugh. <laughs> 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 Fucking idiot. Oh, God. It's fucked up, I'm being honest. I can't do it. Yeah, it's either one or the other. It's to be a shitty husband. Tiffany says, because we are Muslims, and I spoke on my chat once about how I would let him get a second wife, but he was like, heck no, LOL, and they went and found his nephew's Facebook and posted all these models as wives. Laughing my effing ass off. I laughed. It was funny to me. Really? That's fucking weird that you would laugh if it was funny to you, but then complain about being the victim of a bullying campaign. It's hard to believe that you feel like you're a victim of a bullying campaign if you're laughing your fucking ass off. Yeah, but I just, honestly, I don't think, I mean, we're talking, you know, on a website and stuff like that. I mean, on a chat board and like you guys are honest and you're talking what you like and what you don't like. But I mean, my wife used to tell me, why don't you just go out and find somebody like that then? Find some woman that likes girls or wants to give two blowjobs. Like, believe me, I fucking tried. Oh my yeah. God. I, I can't even, I can't even imagine. And where they're at, I don't know. I mean, porn's not real. And that, I think that's Dude, just a... it's you. It's not that they're not around. It's you suck as a lover, evidently. Mentally a way of looking at things, maybe. I mean, I'm that way, and I, at the same time, am gifted enough to realize that it's fucked up, which is, here I am. Now, you could say, well, Tom, you're just an old pervert beating off to porn, and you, you left your wife, and now I'll look at you. You see what I'm saying? You're gifted enough to know that you're 
lacking as a sexual sexual partner. I don't think that's gifted at all. If you were gifted enough, you could try and be a better one. You're sitting on a fucking farm in Georgia cutting grass, beating off, fucking taking Told videos. Yeah. Of Told you that's what he was fucking doing there. Churches, that's exactly true. But I'll be completely honest with you, though. Honestly, I knew this was coming. I knew it was going to be this way. It's easier for you to say, well, I finally caught up with you. Look at you. You know, what do you got now? You know, I knew it was going to be this way. I, I was. Going to be what way? Are you sitting in the dark like like Sharon sometimes when she's in the dark making videos? How come none of these people are making fun of him for being in the dark making his live streams? For sitting in the fucking dark. But they want to talk shit about Sharon when she's in the dark. It's planning on it. And honestly, I'm not lying to you. I like it. I like how it worked out. I knew it was going to be like by myself and like. Let's say this person says, because when you have intimacy in a relationship, the sex is the best. You probably haven't met anyone you like enough to be intimate with. You get me? Let's see if he does, because you're exactly right, Top Cat, and this motherfucker probably doesn't get you. Jacking off the porn hub and no girlfriend, but I accepted it, and I was like, cool with it. But, you know, there's 5% of me in the back where I think sometimes I'd like, I'd like somebody to do things with. But they, if they're normal, and that's a stretch, they're going to want things that I can't provide. Say. Oh, my God. You mean like a little fucking respect and treating them like a human being? That's a stretch? You're fucking sick, man. You are sick. They're going to want like a normal relationship, and I just can't do it. Yeah, you're probably right. It's not reality. That's not reality. Yeah, that's what my dad used to tell me all the time as a kid. Well, I didn't go to that fucker's funeral either. He used to tell me if I was normal. You didn't go to his funeral? Normal. He was glad he wasn't. I can just tell you this. In all these years of living in relationships and checking shit. He would tell you if you were normal, he was glad he wasn't. Well, that's because you probably kept saying shit to him. You know, if I met a woman that I described... And she was cool with this. My radar would be on. I would think it's something that's really wrong. What does that mean? If he met a woman that he described, oh, that he would distrust her anyway? Oh, insecure, just like you said. I think I got a fucked up, skewed way of expecting happiness. I really do. I think it's it's proven itself. So, you know, I'm not yeah, an you're a sadomasochist. You derive pleasure from going cancer she's the only person i know who would be happy you know who who would be mad if her cancer was cured she's gonna get a trance stamp that says i have cancer she's gonna get a hot air balloon that says i have cancer she's a kook yeah that's where your pleasure comes from being a dick lying piece of crap to people. In this theory. My wife used to tell me all the time, too. She said, you know what? Oh, I'd like to just watch you suck this guy's dick. I said, oh. what the fuck you sure she did. Sure she did, buddy. Don't fucking try to justify that you did that and it was your wife's idea. Shut the fuck up. It's probably what broke you guys up. She's probably like... Are you fucking kidding right now? What are you talking about? She said, well, you're always bringing up. I'm not doing that. She said, we're always bringing that stuff up. How's my girlfriend's body look? Bring my girlfriend home. She said, what's the difference? Ah, oh, I see. So she threw it back at you. She threw it back at you. Or we'd be out shopping. She'd say, look at the bulge in that guy's pants. Oh, my God. No wonder why you guys are divorced. How fucking terrible of a torturous fucking relationship was that? You're both trying to torture each other. Oh, my God. Right, Sal? You're fucking trying to torture each other. I said, what in the fuck are you talking about? She said, well, that's the kind of shit you're always telling me. Oh, yeah. I said, I get tired of this stuff. See, she wanted what would be considered a normal, loving, intimate relationship. Oh, that's so hard. 
or a freak like yourself, buddy. I don't think I do. I don't think I do. I think I do with like kind of like, and I'm putting this in a polite way, I think. I think I do if it was separate. But I don't blame women for wanting like intimacy and like hugging and cuddling and all that fucking bullshit. I don't, I can't, I don't think I could do it. I think I could just like, you know, I, I think I'm a, honestly, this is just my own subjective and biased opinion of myself. I think I'm a good guy. I do. I know what I do and I. I good for I what? To say fucking goodbye to? And, uh, I, I know, think I'm kind of like animals and like help people out and stuff like that. But when it comes to like, kind of like animal, personal relationships, that's where it changes majorly. Because I can't, if you took a normal woman, you can say, yeah, what's normal? I know what you I mean. Well, they want something out of it. You know, they want like, and I don't think I can do that. And I've been this way my whole damn life. You know, I'm not really disappointed. Mystique says, I tend to gravitate towards somebody who could be my best friend first. So then you have that connection of liking the same things. Not me. I would tend to gravitate towards somebody that I have to fucking like maintain composure because I know I'm not going to jump their bones, but I want to jump their bones. I can get along with a lot of fucking people, but I don't want to fuck everybody. Like I said, I knew this was... If I want to fuck you, you're lucky. It's going to be... Now, in this case, it just happened to be in Georgia. But I don't like get lonely or I don't like worry about getting sick and being alone or any of that fucking bullshit. So I, I if guess I put my hair in a ponytail, you're even luckier. Worked out. I mean, I really haven't realized any consequence. But in the back of my mind, I think sometimes if I could get like the perfect relationships, that's what it would be. Just saying. I know, right, Sal? Yeah, too much work to do to level the balance. Yeah, I would agree with you. Yeah, I think that's true. Yeah, I believe that, Beth. But here's the thing. But Yeah, but love isn't supposed to be such hard work. Like, you know, I remember watching uh, Jerry Maguire, and they, she had said, um, no sad stories. You know, let's not tell our sad stories about, you know, because you know, they were out on the date. And a lot of people will talk about their exes and this and that, you know. And she said, no sad stories. I think, you know, that is good. Because if you're trying to start something new and fresh and wonderful, like I say a lot, you know, one of the things that I, you know, try to compare it to an example or something is if you have you know a half full jar you know canister of milk whatever container of milk carton of milk you don't go out and buy a new fresh thing of milk and pour it into the sour one to make it full again once it's sour it's sour don't you know don't bother you got fresh milk there a whole new day you know throw the sour away it's you can't you can't make it a full carton with fresh milk it's still going to be sour fresh and sour they don't mix and sour always ends up overpowering the fresh it doesn't you know the fresh doesn't make the sour fresh the sour makes the fresh sour so, when it's sour, throw it out. Leave it behind. Here's the $50,000 question. If you could say, well, if that's the way you are, and I'm believing what you told me, would you say you're happy? And I would say, not really. I mean, I get by. But I wouldn't say that I'm happy. So if it was everything that I claimed it was, then I should be. What's he talking about? be happier and I'm not but at the same token I know that the only way I can 
that you could never be happy now because basically it wasn't bad enough that you had uh, two and three quarters and were a two pump chump, or as I like to say, commercial break sex. Uh, now you're in impotent too. So that's sad. And articulate what I think a plan B would be, would be what I just verbalized to you that I'm not interested. In. So either way, I've painted myself. It's okay, but it's not great. Well, as he calls before, you even gave up masturbation because apparently you said you found something better. I'm not sure. You don't think you could do it, Swirly? Her quality of life decreased from the moment Wonder she Bob was volunteered there. <laughs> but I have definitely been around, you know, I mean, I've had my problems with, like, mental illness. God knows, you know. You don't what's say. What's what with that? You don't say. You gotta be kidding. You gotta be lying. This guy's gotta be lying. He had problems with mental illness. Come on, man. You gotta be kidding. You did not. You did not. Nothing crazy about you at all. That's what I'm saying, Sam. His fucking subscribers never go up or down. I'm telling you. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, but you You know, think, another thing, too, is you evolve as a person. You're probably not the same person now as you were when you got married. Yeah, his fucking subscriber count hasn't moved in months. Yeah, I'm kind of that way too. Yeah. Yeah. I think that's true, man. This guy's making like relationships too hard at work. He's fucking thinking about everything and having his own fucking preconceived notions about shit. He fucking self sabotages himself probably all the time. Sal, you're a guy, right? That's not show up for Sally or anything. You still here, Sal? Secret Society, right? You guys are guys, right? You still here, are you? I'm just wondering. I have a question.
Hold on one second. All right, sorry. Um, I don't know why. I don't know. He just got sick of it, I guess. Man, I don't know. But let's say that there's a 32-year-old woman, right? She's got six kids. Not married, right? Okay. Say so you're say you're a forty two year old guy. You're a forty two year old guy. And you meet two different women. One is thirty two. She got six kids. And she breastfed all of them. And on the other other uh, opposite end of the spectrum, there's a 52 year old woman who has an adult, you know, grown kid. Because of course they're gonna be because you got 32, six kids, you know they're gonna be, you know, young. Didn't breastfeed. Basically, can you know is you know got her own established. You know what I mean? Isn't looking for you know I need how I get six kids. Blah, blah, blah. Okay. Logically, it seems like Tom is putting things like on paper. Oh, that looks good on paper. He's, 20, he's got a tight body, blah, blah, blah. But he puts all women over 50 as dried up KY toting 
truth. But in actuality, that 52-year-old woman is probably going to be a better partner for somebody. Yeah, I could be wrong. But that person can pick up and go and, you know, go do things, have fun. Oh, maybe they can't have, you know, a kid with you, but people can adopt, I guess. I don't know. Who knows? Would you really at that age when you're, like, able to go into... I mean, maybe if you never had any kids before, but if you already had kids and you're done paying child support and shit, why would you even want to burden yourself down with some bitch you can get fucking knocked up? Do you know, like, when you stop having your period that you can have some fucking fun then? You don't got to worry about birth control. Maybe it making you feel like not having sex, because that's what it did to me when I was fucking younger in birth control. Ortho Novum 777. And you feel like fucking having sex and it made me depressed. After that's all done now, boom. You know, Tom, I'm willing to bet from women from their 20s to any age you've managed to dry them up for that time your personality is pathetic pathetic you know why because you hate women because I think you are homosexual in my opinion I really do. I find your statements very odd. Like how you question men in gay bars to find out if they're gay. And you put it as, to, I, I mean, you knew all the questions you was going to say. And then you said, now we're getting somewhere. Getting where? Back to your place? I mean, I'm not saying there's anything wrong with it. What I'm saying is... In that sense, Tom, you might still have some time. Like, why don't you just be who you are? Be who you are. Women don't like you anyway. It's not going to be a big loss to the fucking women kind of society. Trust and believe. I'm quite certain everybody will be happier because you'll be happy. You don't know exactly what you're going to say to men to find out if they're gay or not. If you haven't done that yourself. I don't know any man who has ever been prepared for that particular subject. So, I really think, J.C. Bear, you should ask Bobbles to set you up and then maybe you should just like exchange phone numbers at first and start talking to him and then privately you can tell him how you feel and then he can help you on your path to a new life a new happiness Exactly, Mandy. Because every woman's been dry around here. They're drier than fucking dryer sheets. This fucking guy buys women lifetime supplies of KY jelly and they're like, why are you getting me this? It was you, buddy. You and that nasty little fucking... Ugh. Limp Z. 
I mean, I'm not trying to mean to him or anything. I really just wish he would be honest with himself. Then nobody would have to deal with angry Tom telling everybody, oh, women hate sex. Well, yeah, because he knows he can't please a woman, so he just gets it over, you know. But in actuality, I think he could be quite happy with J.C. Bear or someone like him. And I'm not being mean. I mean, it might sound like I'm being mean to J.C. Bear by even suggesting that because... But he did seem to give you a little bit of respect, more respect than he gives others, J.C. Just talk to him. Yeah, I thought, like, Mystique would be the one for you, but when you told her you'd rather see a hooker for a massage and a happy ending than have somebody you're dating give you a massage and a happy ending. Uh... I'm hoping Mystique has better things in store than you. Ah, according to Tom, he doesn't even have a relationship with his hand anymore. That was according to him. I didn't, I didn't. Oh, Sal, are you still here? Because my question was, do you think, like, as a man, this guy is just looking at things, like, on paper? He's not even, he's not even, like, thinking that the heart wants what the heart wants. Sometimes it doesn't matter how old they are or how many kids they have or how many kids they don't have or if they can have kids or not have kids or whatever. Or if they're black or if they're white, the heart wants. Like, if the heart wanted that woman that he was saying, uh, asked him to dinner, whether she was black or white, your heart would just go, you know, makes your heart go bumpity thump. Right? It wouldn't matter. It wouldn't matter what color she was. You can't control that kind of shit. You don't want him. You don't want him. You don't want to. Like being in, like, in a relationship, like make you feel young again and frolicking. Who doesn't like to frolic? You know, like lay on the grass together and just fucking. Watch the wind blow by. All I want to do is me. That fucking, who sings that now? Uh, what's the guy's name? Is it Pam McGrath? Yeah. I'm trying to think about songs and just be sappy. No, I really like is it's a big, it's a big deal to me. Like, if I like their scent, not necessarily like their cologne, but right there where the neck and the shoulder, that like curve right there. I don't mean like the bit. I mean like, I like a nice, I don't know. Anyhow. And it happens, people, definitely. Um, find people again. Love makes you feel young. You don't have to be any, to be any age.
No, I don't think there's one. Dover Stakers and Dover's, yeah. No, yeah, I believe that's something. He goes, yeah, there is takers and doers. He forgets to read the givers. <laughs> it said, and what it says is, well, there's givers, takers, and doers. And he goes, yeah, there is takers and doers. Yeah, that'd be fucking, I don't know. The thing about it is, is you can really like a lot of, a lot about a person to not want to sleep with them. <laughs> yeah. Then that's your friend. That's your friend. Then it's not your boyfriend or your girlfriend. That's your friend. Do you know that? You don't have to force yourself to sleep with somebody that you don't want to sleep with, just to be with somebody. It's ridiculous. No, no, no. His father told him, "If you're what's normal, then I don't want to be normal." His father told him that, and he said, I didn't even go to his fucking funeral. That's what he said. Because his father, because <laughs> this motherfucker must have been thinking he was normal, but being fucking whacked. And his father said, well, if you're what's normal, I don't want to be normal. Maybe he was always, like, berating his father, saying, why can't you be normal? Fucking idiot. He's an idiot. The mean one. I remember a guy telling me once when I was younger, it's like, a, he says, Your wife ever offered to get like a Fredericks of Hollywood? It's like, Yeah, I didn't give a fuck. I don't want. Because you're homosexual. So, in my opinion, when you already have an entire conversation played out, now you may say it's from your mind. I'm going to say it's from reality. That That's why you hate everybody so much. Because you're like so certain people are going to judge you because you've judged homosexuals before. You showed yourself as being homophobic, racist, fucking chauvinist pig. Misogynist, just an all, uh, all in all dick. But it's because you know what makes you happy and you blame everybody for why you can't just act on it. But it's apparent to me that when you have a whole conversation of how you find out if men are gay or not. And then say, now we're getting somewhere. When they answer everything correctly. That's very telling. That's very telling. I want to see my wife in Fredericks of Hollywood. And I want to see my neighbor in it. And I had another old guy, this airline pilot. He was really. You're such an idiot. No wonder. She probably fucking hated you. Provided a lot of words of wisdom. He said, Tom, if you ever get tired of fucking your wife, I'll find you a neighbor that will. Now, why is that? I don't think. Because everybody wants what somebody else has. So to your neighbors, they probably see how you fucking treat her. And they're thinking in their head, she might be everything they ever dreamed of. They're just waiting for you to fuck up and sweep her off your fucking feet. Everybody wants when somebody when somebody has somebody, they're more in demand. Trust me. If somebody's single, they they don't get as much attention as when they're dating somebody. It's like an ego thing or something. Sometimes. Take like a strange center. All right, good seeing you, Ted. You're 99. Yeah. Isn't that weird, Beth? It's like that. Isn't that crazy? No, what's crazy about it? 
that other men might lust after your wife? How crazy is it? Why, why is that crazy? Because she's not going to a fucking massage parlor to get a happy ending behind your back to fucking get a happy ending? She might actually find somebody that actually wants to treat her right and fall in love. Is that so hard for you to believe? I think it's because he's sleeping on a couch on a fucking patio in his fucking buddy's house. Because he's trying to pretend he doesn't have that much money during the divorce because he doesn't want to fucking split his assets. In my opinion, I could be wrong. In my guess, allegedly. Is that crazy, Doc? No, it's not crazy. You think it's like so hard to believe that somebody else might have appreciated your wife in fucking Frederick's of Hollywood? What is that? Why is that crazy to you, buddy? Idiot. Hey, by the way, was the guy who said that to you your neighbor? The guy who said, uh, if you ever get tired of fucking your wife, let me know and I'll find you a neighbor that will. Was he a neighbor? You know, because he, he might have been giving you a little hint there. You ever think of that? Curiosity, did he end up with your wife? <laughs> Little did he know, you never fucking were not tired of fucking her. You didn't even like her. You you didn't fuck her enough to get tired. In my opinion. I mean, Beth, you, you know you, you know what the deal is. I mean, you've been down in the old aisle a couple of times. Just think how smarter you are now than you are. That's another thing I think that bites you in the ass sometimes, too. You think of the knowledge you have now than before you were married twice. Well, what's your excuse? I think you didn't get any. Not enough to go around, buddy. I can get married twice. You know what I mean? Though? And I think part of the problem is, is you're so much smarter now than you were then. You've let it run a full course two times. You're welcome, Tiffany. What the heavy air? Maybe she's just not hell bent bitter. Like, yeah. Dingleberry. Party on, Tucker. Party on. Because you're such a fucking party animal. He's such a dick. I'm sorry. He's just such a dick. He really is. And I, and I can't understand myself. So why? YouTube still lets this fucking freak. I mean, for all we know, he's sitting there in the dark fucking ugh, doing God knows what. After all these fucking nasty conversations he has. We've covered so much ground today. Freak. And solved nothing. Because you won't admit what you really want in life. No, probably not. But they were biased and jaded. You want a good dickin'. And you just fucking admit it. You don't care about some woman getting a good dickin'. You know you can't. Can I have some more, please? Is that what you want? Sick of, in my opinion. Not that it's sick to want that. Just that it's sick that he has to torture everybody with his anger and not just come out and be happy. You know you have met a couple of men that would go to the fucking museum with you, collect rocks, Frolic along the beach with you. Have some culture. You could read to each other. What's the freck? Oh, sorry about that, Freckle? Now, here, here's another answer to it. Yeah, he probably is freckly. Uh, freckly and pink and pasty and ugh. Ugh. Ugh, he's probably one of those people who doesn't believe in fucking deodorant or fucking nice cologne or something. Ugh, God. Can't imagine. He's probably got fucking talons. Oh, freak. Okay. Yes, freak. 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 Freak.
Creek. Uh, and not in a good way. So, long story short, my sister had a house clean. I doubt it. You make a fucking short story long. Uh, cleaning lady, divorced, and a ten-year-old. Uh, did you want to? Cl- oh, wait a minute. That's Sarah a little more. Oh, she was beautiful. I thought she was okay, and I liked her, but not in that kind of way. And if my buddies would come up, it's like, oh, you fucking your sisters. I was clean. It's like, ah, we're just good friends. And we were good friends. And uh, I eventually kind of just got kind of sick of her. Part of it was always her thinking she was so goddamn beautiful. Anyway, she ends up getting canned by some. He really, he really should. He really should. Because he's there's something wrong with this guy. He's got a, like a false sense of grandiosity or something like fucking guy but had already bought a couple of tickets to one was a black comedian and one was to the fucking jerry springer hollywood squares or whatever the fuck it was it was that casino down in mount pleasant so you know we're getting along we talk about blow jobs and all you know, sorts of fucking shit i wasn't interested in that way you know why I'm is that why i don't understand why are you talking about this don't you have fucking friends on the bowling team you could talk to about this don't you fucking have any male friends you can talk to about this YouTube is not your personal fucking playground of sexual deviance. How do you run from two inches? Can't run from his reality. Ain't no place that far. Interested in that way with me. But we fucked around. We had fun. Got drunk. I think I grabbed her tits one time. Something like that. Is that having fun to you? She needed What'd you do? Grab her tits like udders? You fucking lactating freak. Let me milk you. Same moo. Someone to go to these events to casinos with her. So we go to the casino, and I just wasn't like into this. I heard that much, you know what I mean? It's like 40 and I'm like 60 or some shit like that. You think I had anything I do? But anyway, we're at the bar, and we're fucking around. And- Guy's such a fucking dink. She probably would have rocked your world if she was 40. She probably would have rocked your nasty world. But see, here's the thing if you don't have the tools to make it happen, sorry. Done. Done deal. Bye-bye. Oh, I'm sorry. I forgot. I gotta go. She's getting a lot of male attention, and I'm getting fucking pissed. Like, I'm getting jealous, and I'm not even interested in her that way, and I just... That's because she was with somebody. It's known fact. Whether it's a guy or a girl, when somebody... Goes into a bar with somebody, whether it's their friend, even if it's just your friend, chances of you meeting somebody are higher because people think, oh, well, they're with somebody, so they must be. And if it turns out to be just your friend, bonus. That's even bonus because then you're like, oh, cool. Yeah. It made me think like of the male ego and like, what is pissing you off about this shit, man? You're not even interested in her. But I thought it was interesting that I had that kind of reaction. Because you knew all those guys could give her a better time than you could. And you were pissed because there was a couple of them that you were attracted to, but they were talking to her, in my opinion. No, I don't think it killed 33 people. It's just weird. Like, you'd think this way when, you know, you didn't even give a shit. What do you mean you don't think it killed 33 people? It was the bridge collapsing that killed people. Not mop, man. You fucking weirdo. Yeah, but I just, it, it, I, I was surprised I was getting like pissed. These guys were hitting on her shit. Yeah, what? You don't know that mop man killed 33 people and then they made cocoon. 
part that was part two of it. No, I never figured out why. No. As a matter of fact, I eventually quit talking to her because it was just such a fucking pain in the ass, man. She always texted me and she ended up getting married to some guy I haven't talked to about. You didn't stop talking to her, buddy. I just got tired of hearing from her, to be honest with you. No, you didn't. Shut the fuck up. She was trying to... She probably thought you guys were just friends, and that's all she wanted. And you were like, why doesn't this bitch want me? Is it my freckle dick? And she was like, oh my god, that's a dick? I thought it was a freckle. My bad. I'm so sorry. You mean you're not a girl? I'm sorry. I thought I thought they were calling you Tammy, not Tommy. I just thought you were burly. No, isn't that weird? No, weird. Freckle dicks are weird. Isn't that weird, something? Oh, do you know? What is weird about it? That she didn't want your freckle dick? I find that very easy to believe. Your personality, you could have the best thing ever. Your personality is grotesque. That's why they don't allow you on sets of pornos. That's why you got fired from your job as a fluffer. You were more like a buffer, like you put a buffer on the whole fucking scene. You were more like the damper, fucking the cock blocker, and and like ugh, just ugh. Uh, speak, buddy. Speak. Stop forever holding your peace. Yeah, no, that's right. She wasn't bri- She wasn't egging him on either. She wasn't. No, I thought she was really cool about it. Egging them on about what? What, do you live in a shed, buddy? Do you live in a shed? My God, you do. You live in a shed? Oh, that's sad. Is this a bando? Do you even live with anybody? Are you living in a bando? Is that an abandoned farm in Georgia or something? Is that why there's no lights? Only one? Bare bulb? It's a fucking bare bulb light. Get the fuck out of here. Where'd all your fucking stuff go? You hit it so you could... Exactly, you don't have any assets. You're fucked. My wife attained her. Oh my God, I was never really that into her either, but I met her through a roommate in college. And you can be really good friends with people you're texting and you want to know how they're doing. You want to Ugh. pass the running guy information through you. And then you get drunk one night and fuck. Ugh. Friendship goes south. Oh, God. What do they call that? Alcohol dick, I don't know, beer goggles. What do they call it? Why? Why does that change things? Because you sucked. If you didn't suck, it would have changed things for the better. You sucked in bed. She didn't because you married her. But you sucked in bed. That's what it is. I mean, I'm not saying that to be mean. Yeah. Yeah. And it changed your friendship because either, well, yeah, it's obvious. You sucked in bed. Yeah, you're right, Ben. Not at all, Julie. Mm-hmm. 
No, you don't, huh? Isn't that the truth, Will? It's not an age-old question. One of them sucked in bed. Or one of them, maybe they both were good in bed, but one of them was a dick the next day and wanted to play fucking games, usually the guy. Usually the guy. If, if, if they're good, if the girl's good, then they're like, oh, this is too good. I'm afraid. I got to I gotta play games three days, but I'm not caught. I mean... That's self-sabotage. The best thing is, if it's fallen into place, then don't make it hard work. Just fucking go with the flow. That's it. Take it minute by minute. The heart wants what the heart wants. And fucking have fun, man. But if one of them sucks in bed, yeah, that's exactly what it is, Andy. You know, that's exactly what it is. And it's just like, ugh, that ruins Ugh. Like, how the fuck am I going to be friends with you still and be like, oh, but I don't want to do that again. Ooh. Ugh, that was awful. Ugh. Ugh. Right? How are they going to do that? It's like embarrassing, man. You're like, oh, my God, if I only knew you had a fucking two-inch dick, I never would have done. You know what I mean? You know what I'm saying? You got to ask that shot. So just kidding. Just kidding, guys. He likes that. He wore a diaper while they did it. And had a bottle. With milk in it. Flew in. From lactating ladies farms. In my opinion, allegedly. So I heard. No, there's a difference with Zika. No, did you say that? Yeah, but it's emotional, so you know it isn't. It isn't like you're going to discipline yourself away from it. Where you shouldn't have to have it if the person doesn't, you know. I don't know. Like, sometimes jealousy is caused because the person is a cheat, so they see everybody else as a cheat. Or because the person is making them fucking insecure and then playing fucking games, and it's not really jealousy. It's like, <laughs> You're not trustworthy. It's not really so much jealousy as you're just not trustworthy sometimes. Not all the time. Sometimes. Julie, if you think uh, uh, hubby went out and knocked off a piece of ass and chalked on three hours someplace at a hotel, would your marriage survive that? You already asked her. About the fucking massage parlor shit. Uh, I hope she says no. He doesn't talk to Mystique at all, does he? He doesn't talk to her at all. Good night, Mary. Sweet dreams. I haven't heard her talk to say anything to her. Good night, Chris. Yeah, it's uh -huh. called infil infantilism. It's not even, I'm not even lying. He said it on Bobbles. It was when he was supposed to answer everything truthfully. Does your husband know how lucky he is, Julie? No, it's, a, it's an evil notion. I'm a jealous guy. No, 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 no. That's a lie. That's a lie. Your husband goes to a fucking motel with somebody for three hours and then comes home to you. 
maybe okay if you knew already. Would it be okay if it became a regular thing and he fell in love with her and left you? Because that's always a possibility. Because maybe he might think, why doesn't she care that I'm doing this? Maybe she doesn't love me enough. And the other girl is like, I'm so happy to have you. I don't want to share you with anybody. And wants him to leave you because she doesn't want to share with anybody. And you're all fine with sharing him. And he's kind of like, that's kind of fucked up, man. What's she doing that she's okay with this? And then you fucked yourself. Unless that's what you wanted. And this is all just my opinion. Yeah, it's around. It's just, it's not common. It's around. It's around now. And then this, uh, good question. Good question. This person said, would you be angry with the woman your husband slept with, Julie? That's a good question. True, Mandy. Yeah, would you be angry with the woman your husband sleeps with you? I don't think she would be. You don't know. No, because he's into traditional commitment. How could he be into traditional commitment? What does that mean? What does that mean? How could he be into traditional traditional commitment? How could he be if he just spent three hours in a motel room with another woman? Traditional commitment. And that doesn't make sense. That doesn't make sense. I'm sorry. No, go ahead, Chris. Let it go. Oh, gotcha. Yeah, but that's not what she asked. She asked you if it did happen. Would you be mad at the woman? <laughs> yeah. Ah, so basically, she's just trying to tell you that, look, he's not going to do it. He's into traditional commitment, and it isn't going to happen. So... I can tell you, no, it wouldn't bother me because no, it isn't going to happen. And then when asked, would you be mad at the woman? This woman's thinking, these fuckers are pushing it, man. In my opinion, these fuckers are pushing it, trying to get me to picture some shit in my head. So she said, no, because he's into traditional commitment. Like he wouldn't do it. Then once again, he's got to go, I mean, no, but then we did it. And she said, squarely, no. Like, basically, if that makes him uh, as squares or just squarely cut and dry, I don't know. Squarely, guess this many. Oh, she's talking to squarely. That's what it is. That's what it is. So it's not squarely. It's supposed to be squirrely, but it came out squarely. <laughs> so I try to like think, I don't know how she's using that word, but I, I like it, but it's squirrely. She said, no. Like, come on, man. Shut the fuck up. <laughs> squarely. Oh, your husband's got a fucking maid, Julie. Yeah. Jealous much, buddy? See, you're the jealous one. Julie's not. Wait a minute. She goes, wouldn't even ask names or questions. Now, that don't make sense. Hold on a minute. Hold on, hold on. Is he into traditional commitment? Hi, baby girl. I know. I got a lot to say. I think she's more mad that their fucking nastiness is pretty, uh, pretty apparent. That, you know, her husband fucking, she gives her husband a hall pass to think about me and my daughter giving him oral sex, which is disgusting. Or to think about Annette and her son in the shower. I think that's gross.
Yeah, no, that's yeah, and you know what? That usually is what breaks up. Breaks up. Uh, do you know what I'm saying? Man, can you imagine? Like, if somebody <clears throat> thought, all right, well, they thought they loved this person, right? And they thought, it would, you know, it would make things good and keep things good if they, even though they didn't want to do it, they were like, okay. And then you go somewhere and the guy that you guys are switched with and he says, this was my wife's idea. And you're like, this was my husband's. And they're like, I would never want to share. This is just like, I can't even get it through my head. I thought we were just one on one. And then suddenly she's suggesting this. And then they fall in love. And they're like, okay, fuck you guys. We weren't enough. Now we're with each other. I love you. I hope you feel better about it. I mean, this son of a bitch ought to be giving you a, a new five carat diamond once a month. Uh, why? Because she, she would let him fuck other women? That ain't true. Unless she don't mind other women herself. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know. I don't know anything about that. Oh, see? Exactly. Yeah, exactly. Right, Mandy? Yeah. You go asking your fucking partner, hey, you want to go have sex with some other people? It's really that I just want to fuck his wife, but I don't have any respect for you, so I'll let his husband fuck you. I'm like, shut the fuck up. Okay, is he hot? Uh, and he's going to want to leave her because maybe if he's hot and he wants to leave her. <laughs> oh, my God, that's crazy. Holy shit. Yeah, yeah. Wouldn't even ask names or questions. Holy shit. Getting all turned on. He's going to want to swoop you away. Huh. Yeah. Probably would, yeah. Yeah, it's true. Yeah, it's definitely true. Yeah. Now, if he doesn't say something to Mystique in between the. Because Mystique put two comments right there. And if he skips to somebody, like, just ignores her. No, that sounds like it does. No, you got that right. Oh, yeah. He did. Well, with Joe Beth and Squirrely, they're definitely going to get a first chair at the... Uh... Wow. Totally ignoring you in there, Mystique. <sighs> Hi, Chosen One Community. Tom, are you talking pervy? Did you look at my community page and see what fucking Mr. Bottle said about me and my kid? It's fucking gross. Put on the fuck. They're, just, they're sick. Um, Rachel, why do you want to be in there? <laughs> I'm not even trying to be a dick. Sharon Smith is the lady who fucking killed her kids when she had the car go into the water. I don't know why you would want to go in there, Rachel. He's mean. Burning Women Party. You guys are speaking my language. You too, Julie. Where the hell were you when I was dating? She ain't interested in your freckle dick. You sleep with one eye open. It's like this is too good to be true. Except she'd be fucking probably looking to leave. 
that's why you'd be seeing you know, when I open, make sure she didn't fucking break the restraints, get out of her fucking cell. Exactly. I'm <laughs> shit. <laughs> <laughs> he thinks all these women are coming to visit him and I don't know how big of a property is that you have to fucking dig a lot of holes buddy and make I mean I don't know like just in my opinion I'm not sure that's what's going to happen if you have like a pig farm or something because I definitely wouldn't go Fucking guys, crazy. No, I told you to do that, yeah. You know, another thing. You guys have to worry about doing that is being, I was always accused of being a control freak, which is fucking bullshit. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, I, I always feel controlled by guys wearing diapers and wanting to lactate or nurse with their babas. That's always a, a big turn on. Like, you know, shows a real sense of you're in control. and Not your bowels, though, because you gotta wear diapers, but <laughs> yeah, you're a real control freak, buddy. Can't even control your fucking bowels, or you just don't want to. You just literally want to sit there and shit in a diaper and goo ga goo goo ga ga. Well, what? You're sick. And just because you got a baby dick doesn't mean you have to act like a fucking baby when you're grown. Not a control freak. Well, we know. Oh, he is a sick person. They were pissing out the window they wanted to do last yeah. time. Because that's cool. Well, one thing I, okay, I learned through a couple of investigations I did over the years. You mean stockings? A couple of your stockings? Mystique, Rachel. I don't know why you sit in there. Not one of those people talk to you in the room. Not one of them. And he doesn't acknowledge you at all. He knows who you are, Rachel. And he's just, he's playing with you. If you're a decent, attractive, intelligent woman that wants intimacy, when you get in your 50s, the only thing... They get there and it's a fucking Tupperware party. Just as disappointed as they are with as many be. As many dick. Black is fucking married men. I'm not saying it's an okay thing to do. It just makes, it makes a lot of sense to me. Did he say to fuck married men? Well, yeah, from a baby swing. He's a baby swinger, not fucking swinging like that. He sits in a baby swing in his dirty diaper. Yeah, that's how I am back here. I, I'm a dirty boy, Beth. I'm a dirty, dirty boy. That's why I like your name, Beth the Mess. I got a mess in my diaper. <laughs> that is what he said. God's honest truth on Bobbles in his Q&A. All answers were supposed to be honest. I know he's such an honest guy. And he did say he does like lactating and not that he lactates, but I don't know where he's getting them. Um, now I'm wondering if he was breastfed to a late age and that's why he resents women because his mother told him he had to stop. Could it be?
and kind of like any addiction, he's still like chasing the dragon for it. For that one last gulp. Like that. Fucking weirdo, isn't he? Sick fuck. Fucking weirdo. He needs to be fucking. I don't know. Analyze. Diagnose. Oh my god, spit it out, douche. Can't you think of anything to say in between fucking comments, buddy? Seriously, is that how dull your fucking life is now? <laughs> yeah, but Sophie, I think you I think you have a unique way of articulating things that you may name the Guy's living in a fucking shed in the woods of Georgia. Claiming he's living with some friend. With one Bare light bulb. Fucking shed. Grass for a carpet. In my opinion. In control, but it's the same effect. You saw what when it was posted? What? What is, I'll tell you what's good about YouTube. It's like, you know, it was, or any social media platform. Let's take an example. Like, if it wasn't for some shit like this, the likelihood of us meeting each other, like, in the normal world. Oh, and all of them. Of course they are. They're all fucking gross motherfuckers. They really are. Bobbles and Mr. Bobbles. What the gross fuckers. They all are. They all look like, to me, sexual predators. They're talking about Annette in the shower with her son, focusing on Sharon's vagina, talking the way they are. Uh, people are allowing the most sexual, fucking disgusting things in their chats. And I seriously, it has just people disgusting. What do you mean, Debs? Why did Deb do a video? Oh, there she is. I didn't see her. Well, at first he was asking about, I don't know, vaginas. He was wondering why none of them were ever wet for him. <laughs> so it's because he's a fucking human sponge. You dry up a fucking water park. Fucking nasty bastard. With his fucking freckle dick. Nasty. Who has pink back hair? Huh? Huh? This guy. You know what else he went through? The whole conversation that he quote unquote would have, would have, with men to find out if they were gay. Yeah. The whole, everything he'd ask them, and if they answered the right way, his words right here, now we're getting somewhere. What's that tell you? Bitter. <laughs> what women? Him? What do you mean? What women? What women? <laughs> Me? I won't do anything for money. <laughs> Not like some people that say, even if they got to take care of themselves, they're going to get theirs, even though they're married with a husband. Ew, who could sleep with Tom after watching his channel? Oh, do you think I did because he has pink back hair? No, 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 I heard that somewhere. He did it, that he dyed it that way. He likes it. It's his back crowning glory. 
He thinks it's like a like one of those king's cape. If I were a king of the forest, like that shit. Loss of life is damn near zero. No, Joe, not at all. Nope. The cooking sucks. It's probably because you don't like doing it. No, you think? I just wonder if this is possible. If like people could come up with a list on things that they want and just agree That's on. That's what I'm saying. You go by what you think looks good on paper. Now, I hard pressed to think that on paper you write down freckle dick. Nobody puts that in their fucking lists of wants and need. Impotent freckle dick with B.O. Nobody does. It's fucking reaching. Really? Who? Pepsi. I never saw that. I just, heard, you know, heard him accusing of that, but I never, I never saw anybody go crazy. Well, maybe to, uh, no, not, not to, Cray Cray. She might have, yeah. Okay. Ollie. Cray Cray and Ollie, yeah. He didn't reject me. What he did was initiate a fucking hate campaign. And he was very much involved. And there was no rejection. There was just a quick jab of a knife and then throw me in the ocean with the sharks. Get her! So he can go fuck himself. Who's circling now, motherfucker? I ate all your baby fucking minion sharks. <laughs> Maisie. My shark. <laughs> My shark. <laughs> oh, the shark has something to. And he shows them pearly white. Dun dun. Dun dun. <laughs> My buddy. Yeah, it's true, you know, they you, right? I cannot believe, you know, Mystique is Rachel Reed, okay? No, I'm not, I'm not trying to throw you under the bus, Rachel. And you know I love you. But I cannot believe you are still hanging on in there. But he will not say anything to you. I know. Deb, he had a whole conversation that he claims was imaginary. Of how he questions men to find out if they're gay. Whole conversation. <laughs> Beth, do you, uh, Beth, do you, uh, find it slip? Ugh. I, I can't even believe these guys are sitting here talking to him nasty. I'm picking down there. In the big D. Oh, it'll get better, John. Oh, the big D Detroit. Ha <laughs> Should have known better when it comes to him. Big D. Ain't no big D there. 
Oh, it's a big dingleberry. I think you should save your uh, money up and get a mail order bride from uh, Asia. Not a blow up one like you got. She popped herself. First, uh, first unaliving ever of a blow up doll. Self unaliving, self unaliving of a blow up doll. Literally threw herself into a nail. Fucked up, right? Yes. Yeah. Yeah, no, you're right, Beth. Ew, a banana of her cup. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a schlort. It's crazy. Oh, God. Oh, my God. This guy. I don't want to TV dinner, too, that I got to go in there and peel back fucking half the top and put it in for another two minutes. Fuck that. A fucking TV dinner is too much for you to fucking cook. You guys just hear what this dumb fuck just said? He doesn't want to admit that he's living in a fucking bando. They only, well, it's not even a bando. It's actually the shed, the garden shed out back. I mean, this is what I'm seeing. I mean, when it's not pitch black. It's a shed. It's a garden shed with one bare boat. He doesn't have any electricity to cook in his microwave. Dummy. I'm gonna put that motherfucker in there and hit that button and when that fucking bell rings, it's done. Ooh! So you can fuck up a TV dinner like no one. That's what you're saying. Oh, you want instant gratification, like your sex. Like, it's not done, but it's done for you and <laughs> uh, take care of yourself, lady. Right? I cannot believe he doesn't even talk to prudently. He doesn't even talk to Rachel. I don't know why she fucking sits in there. You know dang well Julie Putnam and Beth the Mess are going to be modded before you, Mystique. And you're going to be sitting there in a room where nobody is talking to you. I'm not trying to be mean. He's being mean to you. Yeah, whenever his wife is around, fucking Tom has to stand very close to the fucking wall and hope she doesn't see him. He's not supposed to be there. It's their secret love nest. Marty has Tom's hearty. A lowercase b. Yeah. So, God, we'll, we'll have a good time to go. I come up there and I go gambling. Yeah. Ew. Just have a fun time, man. Oh, God. I promise you. Ew. Stay away from him, Simka. He's going to make you pay for everything because he's going to say, You're Jewish. You have a lot of money. <laughs> you know how he is. He's always throwing that in our face. <laughs> I like Sunka. She's nice. Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, fuck Steve. You like frozen pieces? I get those uh, jacks. The thin crust are good as hell. Mm -hmm. God, I feel sorry for Rachel because nobody is fucking even speaking to her. It's sad. Oh, did you, John? 
But she's determined, determined. Prudently, are you using black hands again? Or are they Muslim hands? What is that? Tan? Mandy looks paler next to you. <laughs> What's going on? <clears throat> I forgot I was doing commentary and I muted myself. <laughs> Uh, no, don't go to casinos. <clears throat> no, she's not go to casinos with you. Yeah, good luck, okay. Oh my god, this fucking guy. It's like he can't come up with anything to say in between fucking statements. Bye, Dad. He never acknowledges her. It's sad. Yeah, that's cool. I don't know what I want. Yeah, the mood is right. Well, even 70s, huh? You're a little young for that. Yeah, fuck this stuff. Yeah, fuck this return again. You just like, it's the perfect temperature. It's gotta be, if you have a cheap temper, see, I don't want to be that warm. Because then you'd need to shut the window. Ugh. I figured this out. Ugh, he's figured it out. Hand. I just didn't seem to be able to do it. What? Yeah, this leaves hard again. I, I thought I got this leaves up in Michigan today. Yeah, that's another start. That's another nice thing down here. We get rainstorms like great. Just great. And I'm have to wash it away. I'm in with rock hunting, cutting what? grass, eating fried chicken from the local gas station, jacking off again, and then getting on YouTube. Ugh, don't use this computer. Oh my God, that's so gross. What's wrong with him? What's he doing? Eating chicken and jacking off? Oh God. Good retirement. fucking newborn baby so whoever did that study you need to be fired oh, yeah it's fun out there those really because you go out there and fuck around and even if you fuck up you know you're not going to kill yourself Ugh. you know what I mean no it's not like being up in Alaska alright fellas have a good day Yeah, well, uh, well, if you read studies and you read like clinical studies, they say even the slightest of it alcohol affects your sleep. It, it affected mine. You know, you're half fucked up and you're depressed and you've got a lot of anxiety and you know, you're thinking of blowing your fucking house. It tends to affect your sleep. But when you like shoot your wad. Shoot your wad? And everything's good. You don't do shit. You have no goals, no aspirations. Like a wad of bubble gum? Just jacking off and sleeping. I found that's just for last. Oh my god. It's my mind. I interrupt Pornhub with rock hunting, cutting grass, eating fried chicken from the local. With a rock hunting? What's that? I'm oh, sorry, rock hunting. Gas station. <laughs> jacking off again and then getting on YouTube. Oh god. Goes to the fucking yeah. gas station and jacks off in the bathroom? I, I really, uh, Came off with a perfect concoction. Concoction. He said concoction. <laughs> I think when you're like in the ship of it, you're like in a non ideal situation. You got bills and fucking 
a relationship and all that fucking shit. Is Bill who you're having the relationship with? When you're young. Here's the thing for you young fuckers like you, Chris. When you're young and still not hung, you might feel stung. <laughs> this, this is where, where shit really goes south and you gotta come up with plan B. And that's human growth hormone. Huh? That's the fucking magic bullet. What? Yeah, it improves your life, it sure does. Yeah, it definitely does right people. I could even count. He's getting human uh, growth hormone from where? I mean, I was always kind of a loner guy. Did he say he met a guy finally? Oh, yeah, here we are, like four months here, man. Get along great. Fucking kindred spirit. Oh my god, he's in love. I'm never gonna dance again. Marty's feet have got no rhythm. Yeah, it's, it's working. It's working. Oh my god, they're in a relationship, I think. Maybe, possibly. Can I admit to all my indiscretions? <sighs> oh my god. I don't know what, what what I'd be doing. I think I had a lot of that suicide ideation. You know, just like you're depressed, you don't give a fuck, you're sick of little life, but you don't have enough balls. Blow your head off. I knew that. Oh. Enough balls. I mean, that's fucking pretty obvious. Freckle dick. That was me. And you'd think after like a couple of incidents that you would up the ante and that you'd grow bigger balls and that you would do it. But my experience and what I've read, it doesn't work that way. I think he's living under a bridge somewhere. What is that? A fucking barrel with a fire in it? Are those hobos standing there? What the fuck? It's like being a minor league baseball player. He just never gets to the majors. Huh. He's just describing so perfect. Now, weren't you the ball boy, though? Going around grabbing people's balls? Yeah, Marty's a good guy. That's right. I got lucky with that. Yeah, I bet. He got lucky. I yeah, know. I mean, I was getting, like, you know, new, like I'd moved. I had, like, good shit. Every hobby, airplanes, nice houses. And I was just, like, good going shit, out there to help my sister. I haven't even talked to her. Uh, uh, how's your sister doing? Is she still around? What happened? Eight years. She just got put into a convalescent center. Oh, there you go. Knew it. Fucking knew it. Did I just fucking call that? Now, I don't watch. I didn't watch. Can you fucking believe it? This motherfucker. You're going. No, I'm only 50. You're going. Give me mom's rings. After a while, I just got there and was like, fuck, man. I'm like getting old now. I don't feel like working. I was fucked up there. Then I meet this guy. Like, when I was younger, it was like easy to like just do Fucked where? Where was he? Where'd he go? And did you ask him all the questions? Is that where you got the correct concoction of Questions to find out if somebody that you're interested in is gay. And then you say, now we're getting somewhere. That's where your words, honey. My own thing. Move to Chicago, move to Florida, move to Atlanta. As I got older, I just wanted to, but I just didn't have, like, I just didn't seem to be able to do it. Um, now that's kind of funny. Um, <laughs> this is kind of funny. Like, no offense, like that. Yeah. But Rachel, mystique, okay, was, um, sorry if I'm blowing something for you, but <laughs> sorry, uh, was in there. She was behind in the audio. So she was back where they were talking about hand jobs. <laughs> so she's randomly talking about hand jobs. While they're all talking about this, his, his, his sister going to a convalescence home and shit. And she's fucking, she goes, simulating conversation. Stimulating conversation. Fucking, she's fucking talking about fucking hand jobs. That shit's fucking yeah, funny. I was like, honestly, I just couldn't do it. I tried. 
there's a big difference, man. Like, I, really, it's analogous to minor leagues and major leagues. Like, right now, I'm glad I didn't do it. Do what? What was it he was doing? Do what? He said, LOL, this is the first time somebody speaks to her in the room because it was pretty funny. Here she goes, oh, damn, I was behind in the chat. You were still talking about hand jobs, LOL. And this person, I don't know, symbols, some kind of symbols. Says, LOL, Missy, get with the program. The hand jobs came and went. <laughs> the hand jobs came and went. That's fine. Had I not had this distraction and like lucky break at just doing something fucking crazy, I drove down. I had to get my mail. I got four fucking months worth of mail in my house. You still, still have your house? That you still have your house? That doesn't even make sense. Does anybody know what that means? Why? Why? Oh, fucking took off. Why? Drove up all night. Fucking goddamn panic attack the whole way. Why? Here I am. Why? What was going on, buddy? Buddy, come on. You can tell us. Come on. You know we're there for you. Come on, what happened, buddy? Oh, tell us. She ended up losing those McDonald's because of a kid she had that blew all the money. He's broken out too, divorced. Who? The fucking mess. They're all in welfare. Who? Who? But like I tell people all the time. Ah. Uh, okay. It says, oh, wow. What happened to your sister and Ronald McDonald? Huh. Some, somehow. She ended up losing everything. I, I don't give a fuck because if that bullshit would have happened to me younger, it would have been a big deal. It would have fucked up my income. It would have messed me up in business. But luckily I was able to like head it off at the past so it didn't matter anymore. What? You know, I wasn't running for office. Didn't give a fuck what people thought and wasn't planning on starting a new business. What's he fucking talking about? Does anybody know? It is bizarre. So, other than that, it didn't really matter much. You know, that's a fucking what is this? What is he? That has a bare light bulb. And that's it. It's like he's in a band dog. Like I don't know. People that just don't have the balls to tell them I'm not coming back. One family in particular, like Anthony and his parents. I'll go up there and visit him from time to time. But I think my Michigan days are over. Not because there's anything wrong with it. So you're going to abandon your house with four months worth of mail? What happened to that kid that was living there? The one that seemed a little bit, you know, different. What happened to that guy? Does anybody know? Is he like rotting under the floorboards or something? I mean, I'm not trying to sound funny or anything, but that doesn't make any fucking sense. Uh, as I said before, if the winters would have stayed like they were when I was younger, the, fuck, the winters suck up there now. I live 200 miles north of Detroit. Fucking February for the lakes freeze, six inches of snow. You know, like nothing. Oh, it's like a big deal. Doesn't even get that cold. Like the winters are bullshit. No blizzards, no ice storms, just flurries. Fucking flurries. Oh, thank you, man. The Anthony's a really good guy. I really like that. I still call him quite a bit. I talk to him a lot. Oh, he lives with his parents now? Okay. Well, that's what he says, right? Has anybody really seen him, though? Just curious. <laughs> and it was a good place to live for 10 years. But now I'm in another chapter. So you just pick so up and laugh? That doesn't even make sense. I'm not about this, okay? I'm not, like, downing him or anything. Mark Kropka <laughs> says, but you have no winter where you are now. That is true. Yes, he is a Donald Downer, huh? Bitching about Steve, winter, he doesn't have any. Steve, the guy that opened the new mechanic shop, is the nicest guy I've ever met. His wife is a sweet. You love these guys, but you hate these women. Be hard to. Their kids are great. And uh, they're big, huge Bible lovers. Oh, okay. So they did see Anthony there. So he's, 
he's alive and well, everybody. Not that I didn't think he was. Not that I didn't think he was. She asked me if I was Christian. I told her I was not. And then we talked about it for about an hour. And I first started busting her balls about the inaccuracies of the Bible. Of course you started harassing the fucking woman. Of course you did. You hated her because you liked Steve. But he belonged to somebody else, in my opinion. But then I back off because she was so <laughs> nice. Yeah, they have to still, yeah. Yeah, they need to go. Or is it because you didn't want to blow the chance of them asking you to go home? Maybe they might be swingers. Is that why? Admit it. Yeah, I like it. It took two years before Anthony would even say hello to me. No wonder. No, I mean, no. I mean they're, they're great people. I mean, parents I, probably told you to fucking stay away from them. I say all the time, if you had, like, people that walk or walk, good Christians as neighbors, you would love them. And, and these people are like that. They really are. They're good people. What's wrong with any other religion? No other religion can live there? Dick. <laughs> yeah, it's fucking crazy. I mean, I don't, I don't have a problem with people that do it. I just, you know, I'm all for intelligent design. And, um, well, you, know, I, I'm just, you I, missed I the know. boat on that one, evidently. In my opinion. But I'm just, I don't, I'm not atheist. I'm kind of more like agnostic. I mean, the whole thing's fantastic. Planning, yeah, but. that's since I told you that you were. Because you fucking kept saying that you were atheist. And I said, shut the fuck up. You're agnostic. And then you learned. From SG. You know, the birds. Even the just want to admit it. Get one eating seed, one eating another bird. Not that I want yeah, you to, because I can't stand you anywhere. I can just admit it. I don't give a fuck what you say. Freckle thing. Sorry, you guys. Huh. Just can't. It's so discriminatory. I mean, he's <laughs> almost done, thank God. I don't know that there's a biological basis for homosexuality. <sighs> and the way they fuck with the gays and don't let them take communion. That's one thing. The Muslim's supposed to go to hell, so is the Jew. And I just can't embrace it. I'm not saying that's not true. I just burn in hell. It isn't fucking true, you fucking dingleberry fuck. What a dumb fuck this guy is. Oh my god. Oh my god. He's just a gross motherfucker. All of this it is. And I'm a gambler. No, no, I think I'm a good guy. I don't want to do any of this shit. Uh, I don't want to be like flying. I don't want to be involved in any, like, I don't cheat on the income tax. I wasn't always this way. I don't want to do any wow. lie to people. There. <clears throat> it's too late. It's too late. It's too late. You're done. None of that. God heard. God heard. <laughs> you can't hide you from will. God. You will. Might have been able to ha hide from raid. That's what big cockroach that you are. But you can't hide from God. One thing I think being in a couple of mental hospitals got me, and I remember being there. I had a lot of time. To think. A couple of mental hospitals got you. I would say fucking. More violent? More delusional? More hateful? I'm not sure. Thank you. You never think you're going to be there. And I never come to the conclusion. Let's see, what he is, is he's the Tiffany H. Of Georgia. And Marty is TH's husband. His wife is the upstairs people. And this guy is Tiffany H. Threatening his dog and shit, walking around his yard. Which was five years ago. It was June, by the way. I spent the whole month of June in a couple different psych hospitals. And I thought to myself, This past June? Well, this is what came out of us. We're not doing any more fucked up shit. You know, no, I'm not lying. I'm not like uh, cheating on taxes. I'm not uh, being gossipy. 
So even if I get sick, cancer. Oh my God. At least I'll have the solace of knowing there wasn't anything that I did that created that. I got a clear conscience. Mm -mm. No, you don't. <sighs> what you just said? Shows that you don't. Why do you think you went right to cancer? Why do you think? Huh? Why do you think, buddy? Come on, come on, you know. You fucking know why you would say, even if I do get cancer. Why do you think? Come on, bud, you know. You know why. You know why you said that. Because you know what you fucking did. You know what you did. I don't know if fucking you didn't ask uh, Rachel Reed to come in the room that night and start some shit. And I'm not trying to be mean. And fucking, maybe she, you know, kind of knew a bit about what was going on and put me between a rock and a hard place. Like, should I delete her? I know she's been here for a while. I mean, because I was a mod and you were, but, but the timing, well, that was what you could use. But then you went, technical difficulties. And Mari had already said something to me about it. Like, she had said to you, like, are you sh you're gonna do that today? Do are you like what the fuck? Uh, yeah, and nobody ever heard another thing. It was like you killed me that day. Not that you killed me inside, but in your mind, you felt like you just totally eliminated me. Nobody could speak about me. Nothing. Nobody could ask. What happened? Have you seen me? Have you heard from her? They couldn't ask. You'd scream at them and say, I was a kook. And you received emails from my neighbors saying some bullshit, which you knew you didn't. You've never shown. And that is why your first thought in your mind went to, even if I do get cancer, My slate is clean and blah, blah, blah. And I don't, you know, it, it doesn't matter how many times you say it, Tom. You need to fucking confess to what you fucking did. You don't have any emails, okay? You don't have any fucking emails, dude. Otherwise, you'd have fucking shown them already. No, I could. There is hell in all that. I mean, I'll probably go there. It's not just any fucking shit. I got a totally clear conscience for like five years. Oh, yeah, you got a totally clear conscience, but that's that's the problem. See, <laughs> I mean, even the crazy shit I talk about with like porn and blowjobs and escorts and massage bars and shit like that. I mean, I tell you about it. How about if somebody came in your room right now? And asked you about Survivor Girl. How would you respond? You know, I don't like portray some fake shit. Yeah, you do. Like fuck. Yeah, you do. Fucking up with this oil thing. Dickhead, what'd you do, buddy? Fuck it up. Yeah, with I, oil. I had a third conscious. That's why I told that like, he was a sweetheart. It's a very attractive woman, really pretty, great conversationalist, a great mother. I mean, the husband's nice. They're really nice people. And I ain't gonna, I'm not gonna bullshit him. So I told her, we, we talked about the Bible for about an hour. I can tell you this. When I have uh, had discussions with these hardcore right-wing Christians, the smart ones, no, this is biased and subjective. They Do you know, Tom, that every time you open your fucking mouth, you're, you're just... 
they have told me that I've made them better Christians because I brought up things. Because you're fucking disgusting. And you made them want to be better people because you're so fucking disgusting. It was probably like having a conversation in my mind with the fucking devil. They could probably smell sulfur. I hadn't thought about it. And they just decided to go with it, and I just decided not to. Well, the yeah, devil would look pretty ridiculous, huh? Trying to pretend to be righteous and shit. Yeah. You can't be evil. I believe in karma. I really do. I've just seen too many examples of that. Yeah. So that's why I told everybody who's a sweetheart. It's very attractive mm-hmm. woman, really pretty, great conversationalist, great mother. Mm-hmm. I mean, the husband's mm-hmm. nice. They're really nice people. And I, you know, I'm not going to force you. So I told her, we, we talked yeah. about the Bible for about an hour. I can tell you this. When I have uh, had discussions with these hardcore right wing Christians, the smart ones, no, this is biased and subjective. They have. He's such a fucking dick. They told me that I've made them better Christians because I brought up things that they hadn't thought about. And they just decided to go with it, and I just decided not to. Yeah, dick cancer. Dick cancer, he said? You can't be evil. I believe in karma. I really do. I've just seen too many examples of that. So, I mean, you can say... Like, no, you haven't. No, you haven't. Fuck, it's crazy. That's probably true. But there's no faux philosophy. It's all, like, laid the fuck out. Yeah, I believe in karma. Hundred percent. Like I like animals and stuff. I mean, here's another thing too. <clears throat> like let that guy use my van. You know, take him rescue dogs. I'm a big tipper too. Everywhere. Big fucking whoop. Because I like workers. I just try to do the right thing. I don't have any skeletons in my closet. I'll go for this one. I just think when it's tits up, I hope they feed me. You have tits. The vultures. The vultures wouldn't eat you. There you go. It's all this poor shit, like, you know, you think that, uh, you know, like marriage and relationships and all this beautiful shit, but I don't think I'm too good at it. And if I think I ran with a female that, uh, not the way that I did, I'd probably think about a fucking kook. Of course you would. Because you're a fucking kook. So that's the Pandora box. <clears throat> yeah, good energy. I do have a big fucking Yeah. Yeah. And I do think, I do one little caddy on that thing. Sometimes Mm-mm-mm. Sometimes I do think. See, it, it depends on what you compare it to. You know what I mean? I do think that I could have fucked myself on this porn bullshit. On this porn bullshit. But there wasn't any stop in that. Once I, that's the only time in my life I ever used fake ID. You know how people thought about being... So he had a porn addiction way before you said you did in this same video. You said <clears throat> your porn addiction came on in your like mid-20s, late 20s. But now, according to you, you actually had to steal an ID. What kind of porn was it? Do you mind? What kind of porn was it? Born again, all this shit. Now, this just seems like some young, crazy motherfucker telling a story. But I'll tell you this. I used fake ID one time, and it was to get into the male theater, which was a porn. The male theater? I, I don't think this is some wild, crazy kid, dude. You're a prevert. Unless. You're just in the closet and you want to come out. 
and you should, but if you're just a guy going to, not even a guy, not even of age, you're just fucking like some young kid sitting there touching yourself in the fucking dark. You're nasty. What kind of porn? What kind of prawn was it, buddy? Theater, they did a regular theater, but then business went down and they tried to stay in business. So they turned it to porn. What kind and of I porn? Fake ID and I got in there. And I knew about dirty movies and shit like that. Now, it could have had something to do with my upbringing. I'm not sure. Really? Care to elaborate? And I remember going in there when I was 17 and Tina Russell, who was a porn thing, and it was this big, huge screen of like porn. God, this fucking guy. And I knew right then this shit got me. It was like, it had to be like taking heroin or some shit. It wasn't just like a young guy seeing nude women. This was like, this, this like lit my brain on fire. Uh, so you're a, you're, you're something like a predator in my, in my opinion. What did he say the name of her was? I'm going to go back a little bit here. Do I have anybody in here who can look something up for me? I could have fucked myself on this porn bullshit. It will get along perfect. It did, man. I could not fucking believe it that I was watching this shit and not getting like arrested. What to do with my upbringing? I'm not sure. And I remember going in there when I was 17 and Tina Russell, who was a porn Tina Russell. Okay. What kind of movies were they in? It's creative, like of course porn. they were P-R-O-N, but... And I knew right there. And did she look like olive oil? Because that's his perfect woman. He said it yeah, already. It was like... It had to have been like taking heroin or some shit. And it what happened like to her? Guy seeing nude women. This was like... This... This, like, lit my brain on fire. I could not fucking believe it. Tina Russell, come on, you guys. Come on, what happened to her? And I was watching the shit and not getting, like, arrested. What were you doing? And that was where it all started. Why would you get arrested? It was legal, so, oh, you fake, fake ID. Okay. When I was, like, young, like, 18, 19, 20, I had two girlfriends. I'm not shitting them. Seriously. And I could not fucking wait with them off after a date so I could go home and watch porn. What kind? I swear to God, man, they were cute, like nice, and they liked me, and then holding their hand. Yeah. Just thinking to myself, I can't wait to drop this. Oh, God knows. Ugh, where that hand had been. Fucking girl, also, I've been watching fucking porn. So, even though I never fucked with drugs and alcohol too much. Uh, so, here's the thing. So, you were dating girls your age, but was she an older porn star? Is nobody here that can look that up for me, Tina Russell? No, nobody. Where's my fucking research assistant? <laughs> That fucking shit rearranged my goddamn brain for, for sure. Look at myself. I don't know. I don't know what this fucker was interested in. <laughs> what kind of sick shit? I'm sorry, just kidding. Oh my god. I can't believe it. I'm sorry, just kidding. Um, what am I doing here? Tina. Jewish girl. Wow, she died early, too. She was five, three and a half. 
She was born Linda Marie Mincer. I think Mincer, isn't that Jewish? Yes, in Prague. It says, in Williamsport, Pennsylvania, uh, she grew up in Williamsport, graduated from high school in 1966. Her senior photo shows a mature brunette looking more like a future nurse than a porn star. She became one of the best-known adult film actresses, admired for her fresh looks and evident enthusiasm. <clears throat> um, Sixty-eight, seventy shows Russell living at home and listed as a student, but she moved to New York City to attend NYU along with her husband, Jason Russell. Several years her elder, she began modeling in sexually oriented photographs and performing in so-called live sex shows. Oh, God. After appearing in 16 millimeter stag loops, Russell began to take small roles in feature films during the early 70s. Um, Russell only really acquired star status, however, after the publication of her 1973 memoir, Porno Star, in which she described, in often glowing terms, her life in the New York adult film industry. She and Jason separated shortly thereafter, and Tina's star sank as quickly as it had risen. Rumors of alcohol abuse haunt her later years, and on May 18, 1981, so she was like, how old? I think 33. Wow. She died of multiple organ failure after having visited her brother in San Diego. Huh. She was a straight A student in grad school in terms of that. That's fucked up. Oh, I looked up. Yeah. Uh, uh, oh, thank you, Eleanor. <clears throat> thank you very much. But I... Uh, <laughs> I don't say too much about it. Uh. The next thing you know, you're a certified adult. Well, spontaneous menopause at 35. I do have a big foot costume. He has a big foot costume. Proud of it. About the Bible for about an hour. I can tell you this. When I've uh, had discussions with these hardcore right wing Christians, yeah, the smart he just thinks about porn. Never got I do have he has a big foot yeah. costume. He's quite proud of. Big foot costume. And I do think, I do one little caveat to that thing. Sometimes I think, addiction. You know, I have a maid running down the toilet and my mother-in-law would come and down there, come down there and visit. Uh, if you know, I have a maid running down the toilet and my... And, you know, people say, well, why do you go down there and interview these prostitutes and shit? That's why. Why? Okay, right. I swear to God, man, they were cute, and, like nice, and they liked me and holding their hand. I was thinking to myself, I can't wait to drop this fucking girl off so I can go watch some fucking porn. So, even though I never thought this drugs and alcohol too much, it's weird. That fucking porn thing, man, that, that fucking shit rearranged my goddamn brain for 
for sure. Mm -hmm. Sounds like a problem. Maybe she gets some help. <clears throat> Think we're getting along perfectly? The dead man is so fucked up. It fucked me up with some goddamn relationships. But I didn't give a fuck that much, to tell you the truth. Mm -hmm. And, you know, people say, well, why do you go down there and you interview these prostitutes and shit? That's why. Because I was the same way, only in a different aspect. And, like, people laugh at off. They, they say you're just... So you were a male prostitute, maybe? I'm only guessing. I'm probably wrong. Guy, you know. But it was way more deep than that. Uh -oh. I had girlfriends tell me. Yeah, I know. Most of my buddies, I had guys that ran porno movie theaters. Days of villages. <laughs> wow. This fucking guy. Randy, they were friends of mine in college. They let me in for free, and they didn't like one. It's so fucking weird. Yeah, but that was the thing that, that got me. And here's another thing, too. For a long time, like in the 70s and 80s, it was, uh, you know, degrading to women. You're a motherfucker, a control freak. You know, this is reality. You know, all this bullshit. And it was like, yeah, okay, you know, right. You know what I mean? And it was like such a strong interest. That, uh, I didn't give a fuck what they said. It definitely fucked me up with some uh, goddamn relationships, though, because I like these women. I wanted to like be with them. Sure. But not as much as I wanted to watch, like, dirty movies and shit. You know, I was married living down in Florida. My mother-in-law would come down there. Come God, up. can't wait to hear this story. Down there and visit. She was a fucking cut in the hat. Wow. I couldn't stand that bitch. And my wife, you know. God, he's such... Um, God, he's disgusting. Hi, Eleanor, by the way. I was really into porn. We got big arguments about it all the time. You know, I told her to get fucking lost for a couple of days so I could watch porn. But anyway, my, my mother-in-law would come to the back. Oh, God. Who would want to be married to you, in my opinion? And I go up to Orlando. There's a place just north of town called Fair Villa. Three stories of porn. Oh. Fucking paradise. Oh, my God. This fucking guy. He's sick. <clears throat> I felt like I was born again. And I lived in Orlando for a while before I moved down further south of West Palm Beach. Mm -mm -mm. And my mother wanted to come down for two weeks. I'd go up to... Orlando. I get a nice hotel room and take my VCR with me. And I just watch porn for two weeks and order in food. <laughs> and at the end of 10 days, I was sad that I had to go home and try to bang them. So are you saying that in Orlando, like a huge kid family oriented you know, where that's where Disney is. Uh, SeaWorld. That's where all of the attractions are. That there's a three-story porn place there. Yeah, she died in 81. Isn't that crazy? My good looking wife. No, I get it, Mark. Yeah. I did. Actually, I built a house in Buena Vista and sold it for a hundred thousand dollars more than I had paid for it because one of my pit bulls that I was renting a house in Kissimmee killed one of my parrots, and that's how I kind of got turned on to breeding parrots down in Palm Beach County. Parrots and primary camels, the single home. Yeah, yep. Yeah. Live down there in Orlando. Were you aware of Fair Bella, that big porn shop just north of town? For Fair Bella, is that what he says? I fucking hate it. It wasn't there to tell you the truth. Florida never worked out with me. And if you met my wife, you like her. But I was just like living down there. So I like, wasn't really that happy and getting arguments all the time because. Because you were addicted to porn. I'm watching fucking porn. She's got 50 guys trying to get their pants at work. And it was just, you know, it was a fucked up uh, equation. It's weird. Why would he think she's got 50 guys trying to get into her pants at work? Why does YouTube still let these fucking things be everywhere? 
Like, it's a fucking constant. You mean, like, they can't tell that that's some kind of a fucking nasty-ass troll account with its names? They can't, they don't know that? They think that everybody wants to have that in their fucking live streams or something? Like, is it a joy? It's supposed to be colorful? It's so crazy.
Hi, Mr. Rock. Morning. Every time I plug my phone in, like when it's dying, it fucking throws me off the chat. Well, not throws me off the chat. It just shuts off. I'm saying it doesn't throw me off the chat. It's just oh no, it's so weird. Um. I think that's so weird that they had a big, you know, like, horn attraction in Orlando. Uh, but, you know, it's so weird because <clears throat> these people, excuse me, <clears throat> a lot of these people are just like anybody else. They have the same, not exactly the same, but, you know, life's ups and downs. So I, I find it like it's strange to me why um <clears throat> like let's just say him for example why he has to consistently say things like about you know um oh they're just some older woman that's never been married unattractive lonely failures it's like, dude, your fucking life doesn't sound so perfect. And sometimes you're describing people that aren't at all like that. But it's like they, they don't realize their life isn't perfect. So they feel it's necessary to try to make other people feel some kind of way. And I just, that's the thing I, I have such a hard time understanding is like... Uh, He's very derogatory, and there's a lot of people who are derogatory. And oh my God, I can't even imagine that a wife would give her husband a pass to talk about sexual things with other people and their children. It doesn't make sense to me that a wife wouldn't be disgusted that that was even, you know, going on and being said. These people all have such strange ways about them. <laughs> I have yeah, a very hard time. Like, you know, they used to advertise on the radio all the time. And they would like say that they'd have these uh I went in there one day and it's like fucking A man. I felt like I was like enlightened. Enlightened what? That you could fucking feed your prawn addiction? I don't know. I don't even understand. You were already addicted, uh, Courtney. Yeah, what do you want to do? I can tell you this, though, man. I don't make any bones about it. I mean, when I see when I went, like I graduated in '74, you know, I had girlfriends and stuff. And you'd be fucking around. You'd be dating them three months, only to figure out they gave bad blowjobs. And by that time, I was so much into this shit. You know, I knew what I liked and what I didn't. How do you know what a good blowjob was? You were watching porn. That's not what I'm saying. Like, you were watching it on a screen, and uh, like, what were you comparing the <laughs> these women to that you're saying they were given bad ones? I don't know. And porn is not real, oh, especially shit. when you're That's young. Like, yeah, no shit, right? Yeah. So I'm like, oh, this fucking you, porn, and I'm Lord. trying to like get these girls like to be doing this shit. They're thinking this fucking freak is a fucking pervert. Some did, some didn't, but it was always short lived. They wanted to be cuddled and sit in front of a fireplace. And Dude, it was short lived because of you. You're too pump chump. Shit. I just couldn't. I could do it at the beginning because of the time. I mean, I'm just Before assuming that. that to the way you act. Porn became like, easy to access. It was a means to an end. You know? But once that shit went balls out, then you could get it everywhere and they built places like Fairvilla. I knew the chance. Well, you just want an instant gratification. You don't want to work for anything good. It's just me staying married. We're pretty damn slim. No oh, big time, Chris. No, it's not real. No. 
Yeah, the gay shit. Uh, I mean, I knew a lot of gay fuckers. You know, I got picked up by a guy that was a big shot in management. For- you got picked up by him? How'd you get picked up by him? You sure you didn't, you didn't mean to say someone tried to pick you up? Or you got picked up by him? Story. <laughs> oh, I know why it happened. Okay. Shouldered? What does that mean? Can you guys hear me now? Can you hear me? Yay, nay. Mm. I have to like reconnect. What's shoulder mean? Oh, you mean like the moan over the guy's shoulder? Oh my God, that's so funny. And you made him, he made him teabag him. <laughs> and Tom was enlightened. He finally found a tea he liked. That's what he's saying. I like that stuff. And we were talking about skeletons in closets one day. And he said, I got a skeleton in the closet that uh, I think I need to tell you about. It's like, yeah, what's that? He said, I'm gay. It's like, what? Well, you just said you got picked up by him. You didn't say you guys were friends hanging out. You say you got picked up by him. And you were talking about porn with some fucking guy you just met. Could do it at the beginning because at the time, before porn became like easy to access, it was a means to an end, you know? But once that shit went balls out, and balls you could get it in, out. and he was a good guy, my dad was a drunk, I never really had much to do with him. And I could do it at the beginning because at the time, before porn became like, easy to access, saying, yeah. it was a means to an end, you know? But once that shit went balls out, oh. and you could get it everywhere, and they built places like Fairbella, mm-hmm. I knew the chances of me staying married were pretty damn slim. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Oh, big time, Chris. <laughs> no, it's not real, though. What's that, yeah? Yeah, the gay shit. Uh, I mean, I knew a lot of gay fuckers. You know, I got picked up by a guy that was a big shot in management for the concert venues in the Detroit Red Wings hockey team. And he picked me up hitchhiking when I was young. And he was a... Oh, picked him up hitchhiking. Okay. <laughs> See? Now, if we didn't go back and listen to that, we would be thinking other things. Good guy. My dad was a drunk. I never really had much to do with him. And I used to sit in the front row every concert ever. All the boxing, Tommy Hearns. And I knew him about three years. And he was a really good guy. And he was into flying. I like that stuff. And mm. mm-hmm. We were talking about skeletons in closets one day. And he said, I got a skeleton in the closet that uh, I think I need to tell you about. It's like, yeah, what's that? He said, I'm gay. It's like, what? He said, I'm gay. It's like, you're like suck. Really? And dicks and shit. He said, yeah. He said, look at it this way. He said, we've known each other for about three years. I've never tried anything. That must have been fucking odd. Uh, Blow to your ego, Tom. I think we got a good friendship, and if you, I don't hear from you again, I'll, I'll, uh, I get it. But I'd like to hear from you again. I think we built up a good friendship. Fuck, I was friends with that fucker for another four years. Great guy, super good guy. Yeah. So I got introduced. Used to that through like knowing a good guy, and I was lucky. So that I guess that's why I was never really concerned about that kind of shit. Hmm. Yeah, he's a super good guy, man. Really great guy. And, you know, I'd go, he'd have gay parties and shit. I'd go to those where we'd fucking, there was a gay bar up on uh, Warren in Detroit called Gigi's. I'd go out there and shoot pool and shit. It was fun, actually. You know? And uh, yeah, I miss that guy. He was a great guy. I met a lot of guys through him. I met a lot of Catholic priests through him, but the gay parties were fun as hell. He met a lot of Catholic priests. 
Throw him. And if you ever went to like a, a drag show thing in Key West or something, it's fun. I didn't give a fuck. I mean, I wasn't threatened or anything. I, mean, I said all the time, I used to joke with my buddies, I wish I was gay. Blowjobs are a lot cheaper, oh which is true. God. I just wasn't. I, I mean, and I say this all the time, too. I don't think I'm a better man because I don't like dick. It just doesn't interest me. Care to tell us how? What for the money do for the show? You knew they were cheaper. But here's another part of that, too. Mark says, what happened to the guy? I want to know, too, if they were only friends for four more years. What happened? Because, like, I would say from about, I moved to Chicago. I was in, like, 40 or 42 or something like that. I moved downtown, bought a condo there. And uh, I had a lot of good fuck buddies. Did he say Not what? intercourse. I know that sounds crazy. Did he say fuck buddies? Crazy. I'm telling you. Shit, I was never really into that that much. And Craigslist was, like, doing well. He said not intercourse. Okay, wait a minute. This is strange. Not cheaper, which is true. Okay. I just wasn't. I mean, and I say this all the time, too. I don't think I'm a better man because I don't like dick. It just doesn't interest me. Neither does intercourse. Corner, you just said it. What does the money do for the show? But here's another part of that, too. Because, like, I would say from about, I moved to Chicago, I was in, like, 40 or 42 or something like that. I moved downtown, bought a condo there. And uh, I had a lot of good fuck buddies. Not intercourse. I know that sounds crazy. I'm telling you shit, but I was never really into that that much. And Isn't he weird? Craigslist was, like, doing well. Oh, man, I had, like, the greatest hookups in the fucking world for, like, 20 years. It was perfect, man. Wow. It was, like, right up my alley. And then I they fucked with those guys. I bet. In my opinion. I mean, I really don't know what he means by that, but I can only imagine. On the ask page, and they started fucking with Craigslist about, excuse me, being uh, sex trafficking. And the whole thing went fucking south. Damn, sex trafficking. Got in your way. I mean, come on, man. <laughs> SGB, my buddy. <laughs> you want to read an interesting story about when the government gets their fucking bullseye on you? Read about the back page, guys. And I still keep in touch with some of those women. There's women that... Uh, I want to know what happened to the guy, too. That I did shit with like 25 years ago. We still keep in touch. They're married and they have families and shit. But you know, we developed a friendship. Yeah, back page. Back page was kind of like did shit with like wow. Clear it up. She whining again. Oh, well, beat her fucking ass. What? Why? Maybe she wants to go inside. Oh, you got up. Really? Oh, the guy's getting up to go to work while you're just lounging around, buddy. Are you going somewhere? It's only 3.20. It's 3.20 in the morning. 3.20. Oh, yeah, 2.40, yeah. <laughs> you might go somewhere? Keep in oh, touch. Sir. Why? Where are you going? Sorry about that. You want me to help you? So Backpage was a crude, crude revert. He just goes right back to it. Yeah. He said women. Uh, but Craigslist was absolute fucking paradise, man. This fucking guy, huh? I'm serious, man. It was like so fucking great. I'll be honest with you. I'll tell you exactly what I did. The kind of shit that I was into. I'd run an ad and just lay it out in the fucking line. This is what I like. Oh, God. Oh, God. And that's how I got the fuck buddies. Not fucking though, because I really wasn't into it. Well, we want to know what. Come on, you said you laid it right on the line. Come on. That, and that worked for like 20 years. So people would ask me, it's like, no, I didn't like Backpage. Yeah, it's weird. Something's going on there. I don't so know. what was it? 
<laughs> don't want a daughter that's kind of in and out. He's a nice guy, man. He'll do anything for anybody, so it's hard to say. I think he's going to fucking take off somewhere. So once I got hooked up through the Craigslist thing, I knew right then, man, the chances of me, like, dating or stuff were fucking off. The burner, I didn't give a fuck. This was like taking, like, the stuff that you were really into. No bullshit. Nothing that you didn't want to do. And I thought, like, fuck dating. Why? That's a big, like, Hi, Sharon. Fucking, uh, well, let's make a deal. You never know what you're getting. Yeah, it was so goddamn great. And as I said, I still keep in touch with some of those people. Yeah, I, I went to a swingers club one time with a girl. That wasn't really my deal. I didn't really like it that much. He thought they were talking about baby swings. He was going to get to sit in while wearing a diaper. You know, <laughs> and, you know, once again, it's that male control, you know. I would have went to like a, I went to kind of like a swingers club with like girls I was friends with as opposed to anybody I had a relationship. But once that Craigslist thing got going. He was loving it apparently. I knew that the, the chance, the likelihood of like, you know, like dating in the old traditional sense was done. Yeah, so now you know. You pretty much said it was done. And once you bite that poison apple, it's like I thought there. When you were 19. I know, right, Sharon? No fucking way in the world. But I'm getting back with my wife. I mean, that was pretty good. Well, you know, I, I mean, sorry to want you back. It wasn't anything like that. God knows what you were doing. I mean, you guys know how it goes. Like, you meet people, they think you're a nice guy, you're nice to animals. Ah, so now they think those things. Hmm. You know, you're flying planes, you like culture, arts, concerts, and I can't figure out why you don't have a girlfriend. Well, you know why. I mean, I've talked about this before. Well, I have my own reasons what I think. Since you went through a whole conversation of how you find out if guys are gay. If they liked the same things, if they answered the questions correctly, you said, now we're getting somewhere. Which is odd. Eleanor. When I was in Chicago, I had neighbors of mine who thought I was gay because they couldn't believe that I never had girls around. Well, now you know why. Hmm. Oh, buddy. Why? Because well, you were going to the drag shows without the guys. You just said it. Yeah, get rid of them, Faye. Yeah. But it's like anything. I mean, you know, it can manifest itself as you mature. It's like you do what you want to do. You know, watch these crazy, uh, you know, Uh, I don't know. He was talking about like vaginas and stuff. And I was like, this fucking guy is off the chain. So then it might be a nice way to show how he's wired. <laughs> Crime shows where these people do this nutty shit. So in the whole scheme of things, it's really nothing. It was just like personal preference. Yeah, overrated. Yeah, it's like, well, back in the day, like, it was like, you know, that it was a means to an end. You know, when I was a means to an end, what does that mean? 18, 19. It was like, fuck that. I mean, if you like that kind of shit, there was no other venue. You know what I mean? You dated and, you know, it took you fucking forever to figure was out. Was it on a crime show or was it dating? I mean, that's two things you really don't, uh, warm welcome. I said, hi, Sharon. Warm welcome, I see, because he was talking about vaginas. <laughs> in anything that you liked. And if you suggested some of that shit that you saw in porn, I think you were fucking crazy. And then when the whole thing blew up and it came really easy to access. Well, knew- actually, you probably saw intercourse in porn. And you said... You didn't like that stuff, so maybe it was what was coming out of your head that they thought you were fucking crazy. 
in my right opinion. Then. Yeah, it was over for me. Yeah. I, I get, and honestly, the people that I know, like buddies of mine and stuff, I'm not jealous of anybody. I don't like envy any like relationship and think that. Well, if I wasn't into this shit, I, I'd like to be like that. I don't. Honestly, reap what you sow. I'm gonna ask Marty about this fucking phone call. This is weird. I'll be right back. You got a phone call. Booty call. Just after two in the morning. Hi, baby girl. <clears throat> Put Daisy. I know, poor Daisy. He does that to fucking make people feel horrible. Poor Daisy. Did he leave her outside all alone? Like where a fucking predator could take her? Like a fucking owl or something? I mean, what? Fucking guys are weirder. Yeah, I heard that phone ring and I thought, I can't see what that is. Oh, yeah, I know, huh? Whose name? Whose name? Marty's daughter's fiance. It look, looks like, and this is like, they didn't know this. It looks like he went out and tried some drugs and died. How did they not know that? He was blue and foaming at the mouth, and the emergency came and took him away. So Marty's leaving. Daisy, shut up. Fuck, man. They think he died. Yeah, he's going to leave. This fucking guy has been so mean to the dog throughout this whole video. It's disgusting. Leave right now. Can you believe that shit? This is a sweet girl and a nice guy. And they didn't even know this guy had a drug problem. Fucking crazy. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he got poisoned. I guess his, uh, I know he told her to shut up. The dog he was talking about. Uh, he, uh, said it's Marty's daughter's fiance. He's leaving right now. He's getting his hose on. His hose? Fucking crazy. I thought I heard his fucking phone ring. You know, I turned my phone off at night because nobody's fucking... Yeah, why is he so vulgar? Been calling me anyway. I'll tell you what I did about 10 years ago. Uh, you know, I was having fucking depression problems. Ah, uh, do tell. And I didn't want to fuck with people anymore. Was the and problem like, that you were making other people depressed? I used to, like, look forward to getting to people that I travel around. I, I know a lot of people, for some reason, that own restaurants. And I visit them and... I just got depressed, and one day I just. I know, right? Oh, he's been yelling at her all night. Telling her he was going to fucking. What did you say? Fart? Fart? Who farted? Fart? Came up with a list of people that I didn't want to fuck with anymore. And I cut about. Everybody out of my life just quit returning their fucking phone calls. 
they were calling Florida and asking Sherry, why didn't I call him back and all this fucking bullshit. I just had a buddy of mine die. Oh, time. <laughs> three days ago. I had, uh, I had bailed that motherfucker out financially. And he was a famous marble maker, believe it or not, contemporary marble makers. And I, I really did. You lost your marbles. And he kind of fucked me on a marble deal. And I haven't talked to him about six years. He just died about. I mean, last a marble. A week ago, I'm going to send something to his wife. What? But yeah, the, something bad. This is a big fucking shocker with Marty. Yeah, Marty's like this. No drugs. No fucking. He doesn't drink alcohol. Fucking Christian fucker. Yeah, oh he's God. This guy is so bad. Yeah, now they think this guy died, though. Isn't that crazy? He's the nicest guy you'll ever meet in your life. Hmm. I'm not kidding you. Yeah, no, he's okay to drive. That motherfucker will get up. He'd drive a fucking thousand miles straight through right now. He's so vile. <clears throat> Hi, Tandra. I mean, this is a guy with shit tons of fucking money. And if I called Are him... You sugar daddy, in my opinion. Anywhere. If I said right now, if I went and woke him up out of a dead sleep, it's like, hey, you know, Beth, my friend from Michigan's broke out 500 miles of life. It's like, well, give me the address where she's at. I'm gone. He'd head the fuck out. Seriously. Doesn't mean he'd help her. God knows what. Yeah, yeah. It's fucking crazy, man, isn't it? God damn it. I hope that didn't happen. Hmm. Isn't that fucking crazy? I mean, are you shocked by this? Yeah. Anything? And honestly, I did. I thought they were married. I didn't know they weren't married. I never met him, but I met her, the daughter. She's really nice. His other daughters too. I keep my daughters away from you. <laughs> Yeah, they got a house and stuff. And Most people do live in houses. Fuck, that's a fucking sucks. But I can tell you this. He said that the daughter thought he was dead. Yeah, you know, he said the daughter, mm -hmm. daughter called him and thought he was dead. The ambulance came and got him. So did he die or not? Marty said that nothing shocks him anymore. Well, I'm kind of shocked that you announced he was dead, but was he or not? But this is the kind of guy this guy is, not just for family, for me or you. I could say, hey, some of my YouTube people, you know, I got fucked up, but he'd be fucking gone, man. He'd be out there with a big stack of cash trying to bail your ass out. No wonder why you talk so highly of him, I'm sure. Yeah, it could be. I can tell you one thing about this. I think this guy... He's like, living with Marty Feldman. Marshall. He's living with Marty Feldman. Because <clears throat> he likes... Big eyes attract him. Shelly Duvall and shit. For him's sake, I don't really know. He's like self-employed. He like builds buildings. Builds buildings? You know what say? Yes. He says his buddy. <clears throat> yeah, see, I don't know what he was into, to tell you the truth. I don't know his input. Look at the stars tonight. Great. Yeah, Marty's a fucking unique guy, man. Seriously. Oh, you had over heels for him. <clears throat> well, no, but he did say, <laughs> Mr. Rourke. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
he did say, you know, <clears throat> he went over his discussion of questions that he asked men to find out if they're homosexual or not. And if they answer in certain ways, he said, then he knows we're getting somewhere. Weird, right? He's like my buddy, the guy that's a doctor in West Ranch, Ted. It's like I'm telling you, man, these are like Jesus-like people in the flesh. Jesus people in the flesh. Okay. They're good guys that like do the right thing. No, shoot. no, no. He was uh, going to back page. I mean, I don't know. He said it. Not back page. You know, work what he said. They're generous. Fucking 2.40 in the morning, he's getting up to drive there now to go to the hospital. Fucking Tom Hague wouldn't. Or Rison or whatever his name is. Ricardo. Daisy, shut up. He's so mean to Daisy. This whole time. Hour away. Grinder. Nah, he, nah, he'll do it, but it's not gonna like drive him nuts like you think. Yeah, I won't. He'll do it. He can, but he, it's, he, he won't let it get him down like you think. Honestly, I didn't even know this fucking guy had a problem with drugs. Maybe he didn't. Maybe he had a heart check. Maybe he's was poisoned. I don't know. Maybe he ate something poisonous. And maybe you shouldn't be saying he had a problem with drugs if you're not sure. And maybe it isn't drugs. Maybe he had a heart attack or something. I know. We'll know shortly. Right there. Yes, and he told us all about how he was frequenting this huge porn palace in the Family attraction capital of Florida, Orlando. <laughs> Allegedly. I'm reading this book now, and they were talking about the difference between wanting something and liking something, and the physiological difference between the two, which I thought was pretty interesting. And, hi, Marianne. <clears throat> yeah, he, he like wants to set them up. I mean, Marty doesn't have the kind of kids you would think he would have based on his personality. You have the kind of kids I think you would have. Invisible. He like, wants the best for his daughters. Daisy, where are you? You want to go inside? So, you know, I, this sounds weird, but Daisy, well, no, she, she really... Hi, hippie chick. I like Marty. She knows something's fucked up. She wants to go inside. She's going to the bedroom. Been wanting to go inside. Poor dog. I mean, she ran right into the bedroom to go to sleep. Fucking asshole. Yes, it's not good. It's not like like somebody that falls apart though. That he'll do what he can and like stand proud. Unlike you, in my opinion. Yeah, Daisy really likes him. He can do anything with her. Give her a bath. Pick her up. You guys would not believe. What thing you guys are giving The stars out tonight. I don't see any of them. I cannot wait to have this burning woman thing. Burning woman. He's going to be burning women. He's having a burning woman celebration. Yeah. <clears throat> I want you guys to meet Marty, too. He likes to like staying on us, but you'll never, ever meet a better guy than this guy. He wants to introduce us to his... Especially me, finally. Look him and his wife, like, get every one eye, three-legged dog surgery, pay for shit. Yeah, he's a super good guy, man. Would you be that one eye, three-legged dog? <laughs> and let me give you an example, so... He bought this factory. You know, you can get these old. <clears throat> decrepit factories for nothing in Georgia. I mean, it's still a million, three hundred thousand dollars, but not for a whole big giant fucking factory of your own. 
So anyway, everybody kisses his ass around here. Not that he requires it, but they're attracted to money and success, and these are impoverished areas, right? But they have to stand in line after you, in my opinion. Fucking Rachel Reed is in there. She goes, I'm just sad for Marty's daughter. Well, I just said a prayer for the whole family. Yes, stars are so beautiful. Marty is great. And he does not say a fucking word to her. But he doesn't take advantage of that. So anyway, he buys his fucking factory. And some motherfucker tries to break in there and like steal a bunch of shit. So I'm here and the fucking the sh the law enforcement here kisses his ass like you can't. I believe. Like big time, the sheriffs. So they call him. It's like, Marty, you know, there's somebody breaking in your fucking factory, you know. You want him prosecuted? You know what he tells him? He says, hey, look. Not I don't know. Maybe she needed to uh, win her man back from Marty. I don't know. <laughs> really, I don't. I want you to find out the circumstances. And if they're fucked up, they're a single parent, they needed the money. I don't want to give anybody a criminal record over a, a personal problem that they have through, like, extraneous circumstances. So, no, I don't want to prosecute them. If I can help them, let me know. So I'm driving through Union Point the other night, this factory, right? There's a fucking Ford pickup truck, a 150, old 150 Ford pickup truck in the thing. The sheriff calls, like, hey, there's a car here. It's Got a plate. It's been sitting here two weeks. So he calls me and he said, "Hey, you know what? That gas station I bought. Somebody's got an old F-150 Ford." He said, "The next time you're driving through Union Point, you go over there and talk to the party store and see who owns that, because I don't want to get it towed." And I told the sheriff, "I don't want to." Get I wonder if Rachel Reed owns a fucking Ford, fifty-one fifty or whatever they're called. Are they called fifty-one fifties? So he's a fucking good guy, man. I mean, he realizes the things that happen to people, and he doesn't want to, like, he doesn't even want to get their ass arrested when they're breaking into his factory. Fucking nuts. No, he's a super good guy. Okay, man. so who owned the fucking truck? Yeah, the sock factory. Yep. Is he not going to tell us? Sock, yeah. Oh, my God, he sa finally spoke to her. She said sock factory, and he said, yeah, the sock factory. No, his mother's a sweetheart, too. She owns a thrift shop in, uh, uh, the fuck's the name of that place? It's not Madison. It's south of Madison. Can't think of the name of it. She's a really sweet person. Nice lady. Great personality. How come you didn't tell us who the car owned? Who? She's 79. She's a big Christian, too. She says Mari's been that way since a kid. He just got another phone call. Mm -hmm. I think he died. I think he died. I think this guy died. This fucking guy is like a gossipy goose. Yeah, I think I'm just, I just heard him say, what, he overdosed? <laughs> burning Woman is going to be our own private place here in Georgia. Instead of Burning Man out in Black Rock in Nevada. No, yes, they're going to burn a woman.
This fucking guy wants to burn women. Yeah, isn't that fucking crazy? No, he tells me everything. Like, we got a good relationship, man. I mean, no, like, mm. secret. It's not my business, but he just tells me. And I didn't know anything. They got a nice relationship. About this. Burning Woman's going to be our own private miniature version of Burning Man that's held in Nevada. Yeah, I think his daughter's fiance died. He hates women, huh? He fucking hates women, this guy. Burning woman. Fucking, you are fucking something, buddy. You are something. Yeah, overdosed. Oh my God, you don't even know that. I'm not sure. I'll let you know. This person goes, if that's true, let's have some silence for them. He wants time to shut up. <laughs> That's his moment of silence, I guess. Did he this again? sucks. I didn't even know about any of this shit. Is he going to cry? I'm going to go tell mom. Are you going to call her? She is. Uh, I'm going to go there. Oh, your mother's? Yeah. Well, sorry about that, Marty. Sober, and then he got sober. And then he got a good job doing subcontract. I hope not either, but I think he did. Because when the girl, the daughter called, she said he looked dead. This is what happened to that Jason, Amanda's boyfriend. If you look up Jason, who I interviewed, he was a good guy, too. And they Jason, were doing that's the one who killed somebody. <clears throat> Isn't it? Yeah, I I ran wild, so it should be coming up. So well, country Amanda. I interviewed her too. They were really nice people. Dead, right? Or are these other people? I don't know. And she got sober, and then he got sober, and then he got a good job doing subcontract work for the city of Ann Arbor and landscaping. Now what? Wow. You find out anything? He died. Oh my god! For sure. Oh, I'm sorry about that. How did that happen? What kind? Of... I'm sorry about that. I don't know what I could do with it. You gonna call her? Oh, your mother's? Yeah. Well, sorry about that, Marty. You need anything? No, let me know if I can do anything. I don't know what that be, but watch this baby. Yeah, I'll keep it t keep the tracker. What did she? My God. Just find him. I don't know. I haven't heard the details yet. Come here, Daisy. Sorry about that, man. All right. Yeah. Take care. Yeah, he died. He died. Hmm. 
right now, right? Oh, thank you. He's driving to his mother's house to tell her. This sucks. I didn't even know about any of this shit. Hmm. Why do you keep insisting that you didn't know about any of it? <laughs> Isn't that crazy? Hmm. Oh, baby, you are a yeah, it really sucks. People are dropping like flies. Here. Here. He wants to go. I'm not saying that they are. I'm just saying that. He's leaving. That could be wrong. I mean, everything could be cool. I mean, who knows? Everybody could be wrong. Everybody try wrong. Well, this is a shocker. Sure it is. Get in the tub. Give me a hair dryer. I'll show you a shocker. No, so just kidding. <laughs> he doesn't have the details yet. Stay here, Daisy. Come here. Honey. Daisy. Come here. Daisy. Come here. Honey. Come here. Honey. Stay here. Go, go. There he goes. Yeah, Marty's daughter's fiance overdosed. Oh my God. Died. Yeah, damn. Damn. <clears throat> Yep, very true, Kingy. Yeah, Daisy knows you figured it out. Yeah, sure did. Yeah, this sucks. She's in love with him, I think. In my opinion. They should get married. Mm -hmm. You know, I'll tell you, though. This doesn't make things any better. In interviewing those people down in Detroit. Mm -hmm. Like Jason and Amanda. Amanda made it, Jason didn't. Angel did. Amanda made it. Really? Because uh, I'm pretty sure you said she died. A bunch of those girls didn't. Sweet Pea didn't. Mm -hmm. It's true, man. Addiction is the devil. It's one thing if you're addicted to Xanax and you're, that's all you're doing. It's fucking up your life. You can't get shit done. Or porn. When you're addicted to like. Or porn, like you said. Whatever this guy took. Or like that's Jason. Rachel, God, please watch over this family in need. Daisy knew Marty was upset. I am so sorry. Be safe. Good. You just can't quit it even though you know you're going to die. No, I don't know what it was. I'll know tomorrow. I'll tell you that. I mean, I only got about 5% battery power. Mm -hmm. Left. So when this goes out, I'm screwed for the night. Sorry about that. I didn't have my charger in here. I didn't think I'd be on this long. I wish. He's kind of he's kind of interesting to do fucking uh, commentary because he's so like ridiculous, you know. <clears throat> yeah, I thought Amanda was the one. Hi, Thelma. Just nuts roasting. And an open fire. Jack Frost. Nipping at your nose. Michael's Great Big Gift Sales on now. Save on hundreds of gifts in store and online. Hurry, yes. sale is December 24th. Sell to me. No, I've never been to Trader Joe's. We believe in a world where no one starves. Drinks in pure water or dies ill and unattended. We believe in health care as a human being. Yeah, all those people yesterday, TH shows called CPS on the people in Africa because they're living in tents. <laughs> I don't know. It just seems like it's the right. Like, really weird. Like, here's another, like, weird thing. 
speaking of him. June 6, 2020. What the fuck are saying? About two weeks ago for... Uh, uh, Raven was uh, second. Stephanie got hit first, I think. It definitely happened. I'm waiting for Rebecca to get her... Uh... Yeah, it's true. That sucks. About a week apart. These people are flying on that street. Yeah, it's bad news. About two weeks ago, for uh, uh, Raven was uh, second. Stephanie got hit first, I think. It definitely happened. I'm waiting for Rebecca to get her uh, makeup on, and she said, a sh "Oh my God!" Where to go? Sheriff came by and showed pictures. Hey, Joy. That sucks. Yeah, I didn't really know Stephanie. I briefly talked to her that time when she was with that friend of hers at McDonald's when I was talking to Ebony and uh, uh, Jamie, but I didn't really know her. We were going Yeah, are they still alive? No. I heard an interview that. Yeah, Raven is sweet. I have actually gifts for her. I have envelopes and a package that her sister sent. That is so sad. Yeah, I don't even know if their families know, to tell you the truth. Hmm. Huh. You gonna tell them, or like you're not gonna bother and hang on to them there? Wolves. June 6, 2020. Just to see how his his reaction was trying to be heavily turned down. Stephanie, I gave Marguerite that 25 bucks. She thanked you for it. Well, that thing. Marguerite. Yeah, it's actually. Yeah, if you look, she's in that video when I interviewed uh, Ebony and Jamie in, at the McDonald's that time we had lunch. It's kind of. <clears throat> June 6, 2020. Yeah, I got a bunch of stuff for Raven, too. Mm. I was thinking all today, I hope I run into Raven, you know? Really? Yeah, this is from the back. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure, but she was hit and killed by a car. They found her in the street. No. Mm, really? So the guy they arrested for running over the girls was in jail at the time. So it couldn't have been him. Oh, oh that's interesting. That's interesting. Because you remember he kept saying that even like Bobo said when she was on, when he was on her panel, they said, you guys are so stupid. They arrested somebody for that stuff. They arrested somebody for that. But he just said the guy was in jail already. Huh. Huh. Yeah, it sucks. Hey, John. I don't know where Becky's putting her makeup on. Back of a van somewhere? I don't know. Yeah, 33, I think. Yeah. Hey, Jean. Yeah, I'm just getting ready to interview Rebecca as soon as she puts her makeup on. Okay. It's weird that he was living in Chicago. And wasn't that channel, the other channel, where, you know, they had interviewed Becky, but her name was Amy, and they interviewed Sarah. Wasn't that one based out of Chicago? Isn't that weird? You know, those traveling... Um, religious shows that they used to have and they were you know like kind of scammy 
Like they would say, oh, we're healing this person. And then they'd start handing out the baskets and acting like they were healing somebody. But it was a fake. Is it possible that people could? I mean, to have two channels, different channels. It's just weird. What do you mean? For, what, uh, do you remember men were cutting each other? Two men. I'm going to interview two from prison. <laughs> sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, that sucks. Thank you. Well, Tom, you made Raven happy every time you see her. She was bawling her eyes out last time. She clearly told him that she would have gone to rehab right then and there. Right at that moment. She said, yes, I'll go. He said, well, really, would you go right now? And she said, yes, I would. Right now. And he just fucking, like, talked her out of it. He skipped over it and just... I don't know anything about Trader Joe's. Yeah, I agree, Mike. This I'm on Michigan Avenue. Mm -hmm. I don't know that either. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I know, Jerry. That really sucks. Her sister, I, you know, that COVID stuff came out, and I wasn't able to come down here and talk to him. I got a big package of stuff her sister sent. Mm -hmm. Please. <laughs> Rebecca, she's in putting some makeup now. She told me a sheriff came and showed her a picture because they didn't know her real name. Hey, really? Sonia? Yeah, I don't know. I really don't know. Yeah, it sucks. Some fucking speed limit on that street or what? Yeah, these people are flying by like fucking Formula One. No, that, that's a different Stephanie. Hey, Becky. Yeah. That wasn't the Stephanie that was Indian, was it? Italian. Italian. Yeah, it was a different one. Yeah, it was a different one. The one with uh, uh it, it was the one with uh, Jamie and Ebony. Aww. what is he? What is he got on her? What is on her? What is on her? What the fuck is on her? Oh my god. What the fuck? Is he standing Daisy up in some kind of contraption in the car? There's no fucking way that dog is just sitting like that itself. What the fuck? Daisy, is everything okay with you? Good girl, hon. Keep an eye on the van. Oh my fucking god. What was that contraction? What the fuck was? I never seen anything like that in my life. Can we do this? No. Can we do this now? It's not a modeling pageant. She wasn't anyway. I just had my time. Before I could walk all the way to my turn, I was stuck by the lady. And now I'm seeing you at the same time. And I'm grateful for being my dope. Seeing you. What? I gotta slow this shit down. The fuck? Oh my god. That poor dog. I can't even, like, what the fuck? I, I can't. What is this contraption? There's no fucking way that dog is sitting, is standing like that. There's no way. In the van. Can we do this? Can we do this now? 
It's not a modeling pageant. I had just caught my foot. Before I could walk all the way to my car, I was stopped by those ladies. She goes, when you came up, I had just got my crap. Now, as we knew everything done, and I'm grateful for getting my dope, seeing you, seeing them, but goddamn, I spent $40 on my dope, and I'm gonna rush through the $40. Oh, I didn't know that's what it was. And I need. Uh, she wants to enjoy her dope. Like, you probably already gave her the money, in my opinion. <clears throat> and then she ran and got whatever, and now she's pissed because <laughs> she's got to do an interview. I need to get ready at the same time, but it's like, I was having a trouble fucking hitting. Yeah. Gosh, she's Oh my God. People were giving her money, and she goes, This is what I'm saying. You try and be nice to people. Oh my God. Holy fuck, man. Some of these. Hi, Sean. All right, well, wait till you're ready then. Wait till you're ready. Wait, you're ready. I don't want to fuck myself over. I said, fucking me off. Do something else. I can't remember what. You know, like my fucking clip left just broke. Oh, I think you look. Oh, my God. I think she was the, one of the most fucking rudest ones, in my opinion. I really do. Every time she'd be fucking, she'd fucking come out with something in the beginning or the end. Where she didn't know she was on camera and was saying some shit. Fine, I think it, I think you look fine. I think they've known each other for a very, very long time. In my opinion, <laughs> they might be like a fucking traveling road show. I don't know. Could be wrong. I don't know. Maybe it won't be long before. Uh, no, it's Becky. Maybe it won't be long before he asks if Becky can move in to Marty's. <laughs> no, I wouldn't. I would not say that. She goes, I could put shit on my face and you tell me I look good. That's not true. No, you want to skip it then? No, what did she say? You're not talking to no other girl. Why are you giving minutes? All right, go ahead. Go ahead and do it. I just asked. I mean, you want to give me one or two or come back? No. I'm not going to do one or two. How long? If you're sitting here waiting for me, 10 minutes, a real 10 minutes, and if you go out, you're going to go out. Yeah, I'll wait for you. I won't bother you. But you said five, and then five went by, and I thought I'd Okay, I didn't know that. Oh, God. Whatever you want to do is fine. All right, I'll wait. I'll wait. I'll wait. I don't know, because not that I can see the... Hi, one gen. Come on here. It's eight forty-three. Right here, eight forty-seven. Okay. So on, no, at eighteen forty-seven, ten minutes will be up. That's it. What? Eighteen <laughs> forty-seven minutes. Yeah, ten minutes. Well, it'll be eighteen minutes instead of eight, like it was when you looked at it. Oh, okay. I see. It's because they're showing the seconds, but he wants to act like he's confusing you because he's talking about the seconds. It's, God, it's crazy. It means 10 minutes is gone. You can't just be fucking normal and just say, she said 9 o'clock. 9 o'clock, that's it, buddy. 
I understand, but we're talking about right now. But I need ten minutes right now. Yeah. Time will be nine o'clock. No, it won't. it's it's a timer. It's not a clock. It's ten minutes from fucking guy. Why would they have a fucking timer? And you told her it was a clock. No. Yeah. No, fucking time would be at that time. Right, so... Like 10 minutes is up, what time 19 minutes on the clock, on the timer. 19 minutes. Yeah, and right now it's 9. I'll even give you another minute. Oh, now we're starting my time already? Well, I'll start it whenever you want. Now we're starting my time already. He just said he was giving you an extra fucking minute. <laughs> she was. Back to people. God. All right, 10 minutes right from now. All right. It'll be 19 minutes on the timer. Shut the fuck up about 19 minutes on the timer. Shut the fuck up about 19 minutes on the timer. She just wants to know what fucking time. It'll be 9 o'clock. I don't have a a phone. Oh, yes, you do on your phone, you dummy. He sounds high, not her. <laughs> yeah, Dan, what difference does it make? It's the minute. I just don't know what time it is. Yeah. Can't you just tell her the fucking time, dude? Yeah, plug it in. Let me plug it in, though. It's $5. Uh, $5. Here, let me hold Daisy. Go. Yeah, let me hold Daisy. Right. Yeah, let me hold Rebecca's Daisy. just like his child? I don't think so. Uh, it's five dollars to charge up. Oh, she's got a tent. I didn't know she had a tent. Okay, she got a fucking nice big old tent there, huh? I didn't know she had a fucking tent. Hmm. Just set it up there, yeah. Sure. Yeah. Okay, now let me tell you what time. It's uh, good girl hunt. Hold on, I'll tell you. It's six. If that dog is still standing straight up on its hind legs, and then there's no, there's something going on there. It's 54. We believe in healthcare as a human right. Yeah, so 11 after 7. I'll give you an extra few minutes. All right. Mm-hmm. Shut up, Catherine. Mind your own business. <laughs> Shut up, Catherine. Mind your own business. <laughs> What'd you say? Let me see if I can write a Catherine. It's kind of like that. Uh, <laughs> what do you say? She's higher than a kite. And he said, Shut up. <laughs> Shut up. My girl business. What? Okay. All right. Now I'm recording this, so don't be. She has a broken down camper, too. I remember pulling over and doing a. Something of the moment. Spur of the moment. Spur of the moment. Parody. <laughs> Like I'm playing fucking Wheel of Fortune. Be pissed off six months from now. No, it's not the interview. We are doing the interview. I thought you said. Why are they that. still arguing? I thought that she was going somewhere. What's going on here? Okay, yeah. My sitting there, you. Yours. What am I supposed to look? Why not? <clears throat> no, that's not the interview. Yeah, I am. No, I talked to these people while you're getting ready. Oh my God. It's not? This is the one where he was like, I can look like he was hiding in the grass or some shit, but he wasn't. He was sitting on a tiny lawn chair. Don't talk then.
It's an interview. Don't talk. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not. Oh my god. No, because it's been like months and I hadn't seen you hardly at all before this COVID bullshit. No mail, not a one. And then how many months have I seen you last? I know. Wow, people must hate you. No, they don't hate you. They Wow, did you hear her? You like it? Oh, yes, she does. They do love you. They do. People like it. Oh my god. She's mad because she didn't get any cards. Did anybody get mail? Anybody? When do you get mail? Tracy, get mail? No. Not no. Nope. The only person I had mail for was Raven. And that was from a relative. A relative. Yeah. Oh, what? You did a parody. Was that recent? Oh, no, no, no. It's when you pulled over the side. Of the iron. Okay, I remember now. I remember now. Oh my god, really? I really think the one where you had the fucking leaves on your head and you were hiding in the bushes and you were like you had to that was fucking funny, I'm sorry. I really thought that was funny. When you were hiding from Kuja. <laughs> Put the leaves on your head. That was so fucking funny. Lisa said she loves you. Well, Carrie Joe loves you. Jackie loves you. How come nobody sent me any cards? And how come nobody sent me any money? And card? Well, she said cards, but she knows what she means. I wish it no more. It's all. I'll tell you why. <clears throat> tell me, please. Because they want the best for you. They like to see you. I bet you he gives their fucking Raven stuff, in my opinion, maybe. Improve, and they don't want all the money they send to go to drugs. That's why. Well, they send it to other girls. No, they don't. Other yeah, I just told you that. Kids. I just told you. Tracy and Wendy didn't get any stuff either. Yeah. You know, this whole thing is the... <laughs> is the hope that they can be a part of your life improving. And when they're not, they lose yeah, interest. Simple it, as that. When it started... They said nothing of the sort. Oh my God. She said when it started, they said nothing of the sort. Oh my God. If they go back and watch the video, yeah, yeah. there's nothing about me getting seen and me improving my life. Not a one second. No. It. No, wasn't enough. it was simply about a man just OD in my car. No. Oh my God. Oh my God. Yeah, can you guys hear her? It was simply about a man just OD in my car. Oh my God. Now I'm homeless. Car got burnt up. No, I agree. I agree with that. I, I'm, I'm going to rehab. I'm going to get seen, and I'm going. No, to... no, I know. I, I get it. Why are no. they coming down on me? They're not really coming. I'm just assuming based Why on. Why are they like acting like a little bitch, man? In the comments. Are you in the comments? No, I delete them. Oh, I do. We'll delete them. You're like, oh my God, you guys should have seen them. Dorothy is happy that you're safe and she loves you. Who is safe? I wonder who Pin Up, pin up Pumpkin ASMR is. Someone should type that in and see if that channel is still around. Pin Up Pumpkin ASMR, and then listen to it and see if it sounds like strawberry. She's always talking about she's got another fucking channel. Nobody's safe. I mean, say, 
I'm living in a tent, Dorothy. Yeah, but you're alive and you're still <laughs> in a alley. You wanted a fucking tent, bitch. Save up your money. But Detroit, who's safe? I'm just alive. Because I'm either luck or just, you know, fucking. The lies from last night. I mean, what lies from last night? Yeah, she left him in the car for two days. Maybe I'm immune to all this shit. Maybe I was hey, to hey, most guys I know couldn't do what you do. Well, I didn't see him this one. Most people, period, I know would never do what I do. Jesse's fun. Crazy, man, that I can't believe that I do what I do. I know. Hey. That's your, your, I mean, she was in the fucking other channel called Amy. I don't understand it. You know, it's like, if I wasn't on drugs, no way in hell would I do that. I know. You know, so, hey, bye, bye. there's so many people out here that do this and, I know. And don't even know, like, the child refugee crisis is the worst it's been since World War II, and the mm-hmm. number of children on the move is soaring. Like, hey, Tat, do you know Tassie? Yeah, she's on I'm here now. Up with her. She's on here now. Cassie. What did he? She say he's what? It's Becky. Did she watch you know? Yeah. Don't video me. No, you, you can't see it. Oh my god, this fucking woman, man. What's up with her? Dark. It's dark. You can't yeah, see I'm good. I'm gonna see when I go on there and watch the video. I know you are. Thank it's you. dark. You can't see your face. Rebecca. She did. That was a long time ago. Who's this guy? How's my boy Mike? Okay. Coming over to get me high. Oh wait, he better not. Time to come over and get me high. What the? What? Mm-hmm. Michael, come here. Hey, I want to do this interview. What one? You mean? Yeah. Of course you. She said she was locked up with it. Okay. Some guy just came over there. Hmm. Hey, Mike, how you doing? Hey, Tom, how you doing? How's it going? How's it going? All right, buddy. Good to meet you. You too, bro. That's the guy that does my videos and puts them on YouTube. Oh, yeah. okay. Do you want to do an interview with Mike? Yeah, I do one. Okay, you interview with him. Oh, yeah. Like 10 minutes. Yeah. I, I get ready. Okay, what's up? You want to do that, Mike, or not? Yeah, we're going to do it. Okay, okay. He's telling his money, and then he'll do an interview while well, I'm getting ready. You're a very, um, No. I'm not. I've been here 20 minutes. <laughs> On and now, yeah. Yeah, I'm going to. I'm like, yeah, yeah. Did he say he'd been there some uh, amount of a time or something? Hey, Chassie, uh, you going to have some time? I can come down there and see you. Are you working tonight? Hey, Mark. Hey, how you doing? Yeah, she is. Rick is a sweetheart. Rebecca. Yeah. She said, they said you're a super. Thank you. She don't care. Superstar. Hey, Dad, what's what? A superstar. Yes. Super yeah, that fucking Mary Kate, whatever. No one puts her fingers under underneath her arms and is like superstar. <laughs> yeah. Superstar. I'm yeah. like superstar. I feel like so like um with that like the Yeah, I know. You know what sucks, Joanne? I've got a big package from her sister. And, and cards that I was never I'm able to deliver. <laughs> oh, thank you, Ryan. I was over there. 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 But I was hoping it wasn't true. Yeah, it was true. I yeah, look. There's so many fucking sick mental bitches out here mm-hmm. make shit up and next to right. the fucking bitch walking down the street. Yeah, I know, I know, right. And you're like, it's like yeah. fucking Hollow Town, everybody. I was locked up. Like, 
Pakistan for homicide, for killing two people. Yeah. How long ago did that happen, that Rebecca, Raven. Raven got hit? Uh, and how long ago Stephanie got hit? I'm not sure on that. Okay. Hmm. Well, I, I know for sure Raven did really get that. Yeah. You haven't really okay. talked about it. But then, uh, Renee, Renee watched it. She just watched her person's dead body. Yeah, <laughs> what? And Renee washed her dead body? The job out. And he didn't even like, hey, you okay? Like, maybe she was still alive and she could have been safe. Who knows? Not Renee, don't know. Renee didn't. Oh, she walked right on by her. Walked right on by her. She was like, dude, there was a, a girl. Walk down by that she said in a in a hot that's kind of weird, isn't it? That's so weird. And here's another thing that's weird. Um okay, so it's 2019. Alright, I get that. I know, right? I don't know the street. I swear she would have died. No, I don't really know much about yeah, it. Was, they like, they just found her dead in the street. So I went to Tammy, but you can't be here. Some girls on the phone. It happens street. all the time. Tammy went out there and called number one. And it was a great I'm like, dude, you didn't even. Yeah, if you look at it. Unbelievable. Interview I did with uh, Jamie and uh, Ebony back at McDonald's in the spring. Maybe it was in the fall. Stephanie walked up to us with a guy, and I was going to interview her later. Real sweet girl. It's not the same Stephanie that's American Indian. Back at McDonald's in the spring or the fall. So this is June. So he said he couldn't bring the box down to fucking Raven because. COVID hit, so he didn't get to go down there, but I don't know if you were there in the spring or the fall. I mean, one's warm, one's not. Yes, he did. Um, the devil went down to Georgia. He was looking for some souls to steal. In my opinion. If she won a Krista, what's that mean? Yeah, me too, Rhonda. And you know, I talked to people. down here all the time and nobody knew about it which is really doubly disappointing i thought for sure it wasn't true i thought you just said that you hadn't been down there because of covid they just said she'd been gone two weeks you're not sure if her family even knows and your priority is to sit there waiting for her to give her an interview You got their shit right in your hands, right? You still do, right? You got them in your hands. You got them there with you. Because you said you didn't know you were hoping you were going to see her. Then um, this is kind of fucked up. Like one minute the sheriff came and showed Becky a picture so she could identify her. And now she's saying that she even walked inside the house and fucking told somebody, oh, there's a girl laying out there and it was Raven. So didn't the cops come then? And then didn't somebody tell her, tell them who it was then? It's fucking weird. That's really strange. <clears throat> Stephanie was a girl I didn't know very well. And this motherfucker is exactly the excitement in his voice is the same as it was in the last video. 
when he found out about, you know, the girl's fiance. He's thinking, ooh, I can put a rip in the title and it'll be. Never interviewed. Yeah, I'm going to get it. I'm going to get it. Yeah, it's a dent. Now, I'll bet you this is the only question that you won't. This is, these are the times when somebody who says, just got here, what happened? I bet you will receive a response as opposed to somebody saying, you know, like how he'll like usually kick people out if they ask that question and say, you know, they come into a live stream, they don't know what's going on and blah, blah, blah. They say, what's going on? Let's see if he gives this person a response. Yeah, I agree on that. A couple of girls got hit by cars. Okay. Sure did. Did get mad that they asked. Who was murdered at 75 in State Fair? Yeah, who was murdered at 75 in State Fair? Krista. Huh. Really? A couple weeks ago. I don't know that. I don't know that. That's something uh, interesting. Oh, we don't know that. Yeah, no kidding, Terry. No, it's a one shot <laughs> deal that I happen to run into her back. I'd like to know who Krista is. Hmm. Mm -hmm. uh, can't give the corpse money, right? Mm. In the fall. She does have family. I keep in touch with them. I, I, I would really be interested to know what that means. So there'd be like and she said she was just murdered at 75 and state fair. So this was around June 2020. Somebody named Krista. Nobody can Google that. Like, I don't know. Murder Krista 75 and state fair. June 2020. If anybody can Google that. Murder Krista 75 and State Fair June 2020. Yeah, you know, they didn't get all the, um, the facts, right? It's Crossroads. Was there a murder there in 2020 June? Was there a body found there? This might be one we didn't know about and somebody's mentioning it. Huh. In June or May 2020. Hmm. That's strange. Okay. I don't care about the time. 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 I
assignment. That's not for me. Yeah. Yes. Oh my god. <laughs> yeah, no, this is already toast because they'll get they'll block it and everything else. Yeah, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, I'm talking. What's up? You coming? Yeah. Oh. Maybe. What does it say? Can you copy and paste it? Is Ebony still around? Yes. Did, did she end up dead too? Or did she, well, disappeared, uh, right? And then they said, she's probably with her mother, but who knows, right? Okay. Is Ebony still around? Ooh. Ebony? Uh, yeah, she's still around. Okay. Okay. The white girl, Ebony. I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, you guys. I'm just like... <laughs> How can she sit there and keep talking and talking and talking, but she can't give the fucking interview to this guy? She can't leave fucking Daisy sitting there in fucking June in the heat. She's such a bitch, in my opinion. Yeah, she was hit by the She's so fucking wrong. And, uh... I can't hear you. Uh, I'm doing fine. Yes. Oh, uh, you don't know that, Rhonda. Yeah, me too, yeah. I don't, I don't, they never caught the guy. You mean they never caught the fight? Uh, because you said the other one was in the fucking, uh, was in prison when this was going on, when that happened. Speed this up. I can't believe this bitch just won't do her fucking interview and shut the fuck up, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. I got it. People get hit here all the time. No. And it wasn't the other guy that. Yeah, I know it sucks. My God. He's like a fucking sucker for her, right? Like girlfriend. Oh, yeah, Marguerite's doing well. Oh. Yes. Three other people got hit by cars. Yeah, man, it really sucks. I saw Raven too a couple weeks ago when I was down here, but I wasn't talking to anybody because they were enforcing them. Dad, you said you had fucking key boxes of her. Oh yeah, I do. Who's wasn't that Tassie who said that? Wasn't it? Curfew and or the uh, lockdown and the needless travel. Am I already done? Yeah. What'd you do? See her? Maybe run her over? <laughs> Just kidding. Just kidding. 
Just joking around, speculating, just kidding. Yeah, I don't know. Yeah. Yeah, it has been lately. Yeah. Poor lighting. <laughs> Oh, the blonde. Oh, really? Yeah, Marguerite's doing great walking signs. Look great today. Oh, good for her, Marguerite. Let's see. Yeah, for that amount of time with poor Daisy strapped into some fucking contraption. Strapped into some fucking contraption. Unbelievable. In June. In the sun. What the fuck? This guy's sick. Thank you for looking that up. I appreciate it. That was the, like, woman who had kids. And the family didn't even fucking report her missing till like, a while. Which I find very odd. All these bitches want a fucking bumper hump. Fucking bitches. Queen of every STD. If you look at my community tab, Kristen got so much junk. Yeah, another mother who doesn't care about teeth. It won't be too bad, but I will be. She wasn't a streetwalker, though. She was, uh, I believe she was married. Wasn't she from, uh, where did you say she was from somewhere else? Grand Rapids. Yeah, she was from somewhere else. I have to get off here. I ain't going to be on here too long. She didn't even put her fucking chat up. They must be saying some nasty shit. Put the chats on. Why did Tim just message me? What the hell? Let me get on my Facebook real quick. Because he messages uh, throughout live streams. One of my friends was on my laptop, and I don't know what the hell. They were sitting on it? Or... Well, he did do it. Um... Oh, this is part of the thing. My opinion. Was it Mr. Bobby's comment? Is that, what is she doing? Like, why does she go live to sit there silently? The problems start coming once I'm done, and it's going to start tonight. Okay. Throwing in shit that she probably isn't even going to eat. How'd you get it? <laughs> Tuscany. <laughs> She's going to get more than that. She's going to get more than that. More than what? So most everybody knows I'm Wiccan. I'm like white light. Catherine, you know that, but you know what? I'm going to have to go a little dark with this bitch. And you know what? If it comes oh back. Yeah, this bitch is fucking threatening a spell on me. Is fucking broom held out here fucking for real? You think you're dark? Patheticness could 
ever conquer like you want to go white light dark light how about fucking golden light bitch can't conquer this fucking douche to me threefold it comes back to me i don't care this bitch fucking deserves it and believe me yes you do so it's gonna go back to your threefold right that's what you just said i'm serious she, she's gonna watch 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 her problems start coming once i'm done and it's gonna start tonight <laughs> really it's funny because i won a hundred bucks on a scratch ticket last night and you made this yesterday. Guess I am the lucky person. Yeah, she's she's a uh... better than her putting a smell on me. Who SG Catherine? There's just there's just something that I found out tonight, and right, this what? bitch talked about this person, and I don't want to say a whole lot, but. No, 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 no. You don't get to fucking threaten fucking. Your little evil eye curses on me. Without saying for why. You stupid dumb bitch. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh She fucked up. Because I care about this person a lot. No, no, no. You tell me what, what you're fucking threatening. Do you understand that you fucked up? You fucked up. Just because you think there's multiple numbers of you. It doesn't mean that you're not all just tiny fragments of shit. And together all you make is just one little tiny hardened piece of turd. And that's about all I'm going to say. And I'm going to fuck her up in many ways. <laughs> and I'm not playing. You, are you going to come here to my house? Because if you're not. I don't even know what to tell you. You're pathetic. What, are you going to sit over there dressed like fucking Mickey Mouse from Fantasia and make some brooms fucking dance? You're going to break out your Harry Potter book of spells? Yeah, I don't go to her channel either, Catherine. This is, but I do know that she's been talking about this certain person that... What? Who? 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 You don't get to fucking make threats about me. Yeah, that the chlamydia... You know, positive. has health problems, and she talks about, you know, she got bullied with her health problems, blah, blah, blah. And I don't want to say more, but... I'm going to fuck her up. I don't care if people believe in, in, in Wicca and believe in. Mm, this is interesting. Any of that shit, but you fucking, you're going to believe it once you see what I fucking do to that bitch. Mm. Watch. She thinks two tire, her two front tires going bad on her car is going to be. Yeah. It's going to be worse than that bitch. <laughs> For what purpose? How are you going to fucking justify to God, right? Because, what, you don't believe in God? Is that what you're saying? So, by being, uh, I don't know, Wiccan, you like a good dickin', I don't know. Um, by being that, um, what is your, like... I gotta set up for this shit. Push it. Wait. I gotta just start it. No, not Granny. This is Crack Crack Debbie. So, you think you're gonna make something up and wish me bad luck, even though I'm rubber, you're glue, whatever. You say bounces off me and sticks to you. It's sticking because you're wicking. 
and I can take a licking. <laughs> and I like Kentucky Fried Chicken. And your ass, I'll be kicking. Right? You saw her knock. <laughs> and no money that people send you is going to fucking help. <laughs> Best believe. How pathetic would somebody be to make this video? Hmm? You think you're a little witchy poodoo, you lady? Do you? Do you think this is helping you in any way, shape, or form with your little beliefs. You're a peon. Any power that you think you possessed, which is really only the ability to give someone a shock after walking across the rug in your socks. And that's the only power, like, little, mm, that's it. Ooh, look at, I can convey electricity. That's about what got you believing you had some sort of, I don't know, shocking power. Other than that, bitch, what have you ever done? Why didn't you do a spell to make you look better? Hmm? Huh? Where is your spell to make yourself look better? Yeah, and apparently no amount of money is going to help me. What does that mean? Oh, yeah, they can all stand on like a mountain. What, what, what the? Do you know how crazy you sound right now? You don't want to say why you're going to put your fucking broom Hilda outfit on. And have a go at me? My God. You better be careful. A house might drop on you. Just saying. Just saying. You went over there clipping your fucking toenails, bitch. Weird. Uh, I've never seen anybody with eyes like flies before. Really big and gawky. <laughs> Is this doing a spell? Are you doing a spell right now? I do believe I'm scared. <clears throat> Is that better? Hey, how you doing? Right back at you. How come you don't want to show your chat room? I was just Yankee people saying. <laughs> Hold on, some of you guys' comments got help for reading. Now, just... is your hair made out of pure cotton dyed black? Or is it just very, very dry and nasty? Fix them when you read them. Hi, the breeze. Yeah, and get rid of the plunger. I will, Catherine. I'll be, I'll, I'll be careful. Apparently, this woman likes to... Catherine told her to be careful. No amount of wishing her to be careful is going to help her now. <laughs> yeah, Tuscany had one help her review, and all it was like an emoji. Weird. How are you doing, Mark? Oh, you're sleepy? I'm not... Uh, Pissed off. I'm uh What are you pissed off about today? 
pissed off, but I'm on. She says, I'm on a mission, and you are the lucky person, Tracy. Oh, so actually, I didn't really do anything. What would you do, just spin the wheel of luck? Luck be the lady tonight, right? I feel like all kinds of different ways right now. You're like a fucking planter's wart on the bottom of my foot. Yeah, I do know what you mean, Catherine. She's going to fuck herself up, huh, Catherine? She's going to fuck herself up. <laughs> I'm laughing at you. I would say bad luck was going to start for you, but too late. <laughs> I mean, that's like really long going on. She deserves everything that's about to come to her. Nothing's I'm about... Uh, oh, wait. Unless you mean winning the lottery. Um, Yeah, all wonderful things. Is that what you mean? Because there's nothing bad going to come to me. Especially not coming from you saying it. Except, except, actually, you saying this shit makes me even more certain that I'm going to do just fine. But you, I really feel sorry for you in a big way. You're fucking yourself good. I don't have to do anything. See that? Eye of Newt. Cotton hair of Debbie. Three pubes from a skank. I'd be you. <laughs> I am too, Catherine. I am. Even when I'm mad and about to really, really fucking come at somebody. <laughs> Please don't. What are you saying? Like you're a fucking squirter or something? Back off, bitch. So tired of these bitches talking about the sexual. Fucking gross. You're violated. I ain't talking about the fucking internet. I'm not talking about real life. I ain't talking about the internet. I ain't talking about real life. Talk about in my dreams. In my dreams, I'm Mrs. Bobbles, too. I mean, come on. Yeah. Whatever your name is. Spit it out. Talking about the power of somebody that uh, has been practicing something for for quite a long time, and and you still haven't fucking got it right. Why don't you stop practicing? When do you stop practicing and become the master, other than just the masturbator? When does that happen for you, lady? You think you're the master at something because you're practicing it? <laughs> Shut the fuck up. You live in your mother's basement. Go get, a, borrow a candle from your mom. Make your little spas, borrow a candle. I know what I'm doing. Yeah, it's gonna start. Let go on my ears. I know what I'm doing. Something you've heard before, I'm sure. Oh, yes, it is. Or said before, I should say. You're going to fucking feel it, Tracy. Believe that. Boom, boom. Three times in a year, you said, right? Oh, man, I feel really fucking sorry for this bit. I really do. Wow. God, I feel sorry for you. I don't even have to do anything to you. You're doing it to yourself. You are doing it to yourself. And maybe you can ask, uh, I don't know what it means to bleed from the eyes, ears, nose, from your body. Uh, that's what I foresee, a little Ebola. <laughs> I mean, how's your drinking water, lady? You're so horrible. You're so tempting your own fucking fate right now. Terrible. It's just, it's a very pathetic and horrible thing to watch. You have to what, Catherine, be an angel? That won't be happening for either one of you. I'm sorry. I have to fuck this bitch up. You never could. You could never. 
as I said, there's no ladders tall enough for you to even try to be on my level. You can fucking throw your little fucking Harry Potter shit at me all day. Triple back at you, just like you said. That's what I have to do. That's all you have to do for no reason. Absolutely. This bitch gotta know who she's talking to. Hi, Buns. Broom Hilda takes no shit. Broom Hilda takes no shit. I should get my rods out and ask a couple questions about. You should get your rods out. I thought you always had your rods out. <laughs> or maybe you should just go out with them and search for water. Your dousing rods. Come on, go out and search for some fucking water there, huh? Tracy, the rods don't lie. I think I'm going to. Now, are are the rods, are they like some team or something? The A-rods? What are they? What are you talking about? The rods don't lie. So there was water there? Do you know how pathetic you sound right now? Like you're losing it. Like you should be locked up and so you can come back to reality. I think I already know anyways. I don't need them, but yeah. You're so pathetic. Are you really trying to wish bad things on me? Oh my God, you skank. I'll be surprised if... Yeah, just saying. Be careful, Deb. Be careful. Be careful of those steps, bitch. They can confirm break your neck or anything. Hi, Tish TV. We're watching Debbie cast a spell on me. Debbie's casting a spell on me. She's casting a spell on me. Or as I like to call her. A broom, Hilda. Come on, lady, spit it out. Don't go. Trace lying. is a dumb bitch, Chris. Yeah, me too, Catherine. I'm what, 48? I've been practicing since I was 26. I've been practicing. And you still have not achieved it. Maybe you should give it up. You're still practicing and you don't got it right. There's a problem there. It's weird how you turned yourself into a frog. I thought it was opposite. 25, 26, very long time. And you're still hey, pathetic. Mama. All that time you were practicing, you couldn't fucking... Become good at it like an expert. She did. Turned her into a frog. Backfired on her. Mm hmm. Apparently. <clears throat> she went to the school of Hogwarts. She went to Hogwarts with Harry Potter. Mama Sparling, how you doing? Oh, Mama Sparling is there. Look, another witch. Yeah, I am, I am Catherine, and, and it's telling me what I need to do. It's telling her what she needs to do. What is that? That something hat? What was that hat called? She got that hat on? I know, Winnie, right? What did the hat? Oops, sorry, Mama Sparling. Hold on. What, what, the got help for, uh, what did the tea leaves say? Yeah, right. If anybody's cray cray, it's not me. It's a uh, Tracy. Are you listening? Uh, to I am a little. I'm. I'm a little cray. I'm about to get a little cray cray with that bitch. I'm scared. Please no. Please don't. I'll never sleep again. Well, Please. Catherine. I yeah. So you. we're we're almost the same. 
when I started practicing, it was such a trip. It was such a trip. You don't think the acid had anything to do with it? Mescaline, all the pot, the hash, the vodka. Now, for my first trip, I'm gonna make this handle of vodka disappear. And then my clothes are gonna fall off for this complete. Oh, 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 sorry, sorry. Stranger. I might have to puke first because uh, he gagged me with a spoon. <laughs> Coke spoon, that is. <laughs> Gray, like Debbie's hair. I can't believe this bitch thinks she's putting a spell on me. Um, why does she go live to I pretty much do, I do pretty much do everything on my own, you know, solid, solitaire. Like I say, I'm. So she's going to play solitaire. And then. Well, you do everything on your own except pay bills. And raise your kid and be responsible as an adult and pay some fucking taxes and act accordingly. All of that you don't do on your own. Cook. You know, anything that matters. But for some reason, you think you're a fucking warlock wizard. Warthog. I don't know. A solitaire. She wants to play the woman has with the optional and All women are brujas. Did she say that, Mama Sparling? She said she were on pills. Why does Mama Sparling keep going around saying that she's on pills? All she had to say was, no, I'm not on pills, and then it could be over. Apparently, this bitch wants everybody to think she's not on pills, but she must be because she's fucking, like, making a big deal of it. What did I, like, hit on the head? Hit the zanny on the head or what? Brother He's talking about you, knew, you knew? You know too, Mama Sparling? You know too what? <laughs> that bitch just don't... What catfisher? Catfish Grey Grey. Quit. We're gonna make her. <laughs> Who's we? Your coven? Your coven of rejects? I mean, what are you talking about? Aren't you afraid a house is going to fall on you? I would be. I was you. Yeah, Catherine, I remember, I think I remember you telling me that you work alone, too. I work alone. I'm a loner, so it just makes sense. I've never... I'm a loner, unless you've got a boner. I'm a loner, oh yes, I guess I am. If you've got a boner, I won't be a loner. <laughs> studied anything like that, but I have wonderful insight and intuition. Love and light. I want to fight. Because I'm dynamite. Yeah, I know. I know, Mama Sperling. She, she's just looking for a... Uh... What? For you to get I don't know. Buy my merch? I gotta get some, right? I should. Because I really do believe you bitches would be sporting it. Seriously, I do. They're all just looking for attention. All of us? 
Now, is that multiple means? Because that'd be cool. We would surround your house. It would be all be me. And then I would sing. And dance Fucking pathetic. Over and over, like for hours and days, I would just dance and dance and sing out there. I'd be like, with all my like doubles. And then we would put like arm in arm, like the Rockettes, and we'd be like, start spreading the news. Don't. Da, 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 da. I might even hire a mariachi band. Uh oh. Maybe a polka band instead. Yeah, me neither, Catherine. I don't either. I don't have a brain either. But that's not really, I mean, maybe part of it, you know, because I'm like a loner, like I said, but. Because I'm a stoner. I don't know. I just think I, I, do, I do my best work alone, you know. Well, it's yeah. hard to describe. Well, not really alone. I mean, like, you've got the rows there, don't you? These people are crazy. I mean, when I went and visited my shaman friend that's now passed away, he was one of my teachers. What is this working? They teach you how to um, do skinwalking? Well, that fucking skin you're in is fucked up. You might want to find some new shit. I don't know. Hideous. Really, Mark? You know, I, I think everybody has has the gift. It's just it just depends on if you choose to follow that as your path. That's that's my belief. You know. Oh, shut up! The gift of what? Syphilis, chlamydia, what, what, what? There's nothing hard. There's you know about it or anything. <clears throat> of course not. It's you. Is it hard? I'm kidding. Are you kidding? Yeah, I know, right, Mama Sperling? Come on, let's hear one of them. Let's hear one of your spells that's going to backfire and go back on you three times or more. Come on. And don't try any fu anything funny like wishing me beautiful and having to go back on you because that's just fucking stupid. It's never going to work. But yeah, I, I believe everybody has the gift. It's just if you choose to go that path or not. And I chose to. And I'm glad I did. What do you think that <laughs> if there was a gift, we'd all go for it? Hmm, do I want the gift? Or do I want to go down this path? That it says responsibilities. It says adult responsibilities. I take care of my own kid. Oh, no, no. I'm going to take the gift. I'll take the gift. Yeah, I know, Mama Sterling. I think she's addicted to the to the begging for money, too. Please give me some money. Please. Oh my God, my addiction! I can't help it. I gotta beg. Please. Oh please. All right, I'm over that now. Maybe a little while later, I make it another fucking attack. Do you, Mama Sperling? Yeah, like I said, I think you know a lot of people, and a lot of people might not understand that, like when you need new knee pads. But you know, sometimes at Christmas time, that's what I ask for because. You know, I'm pretty busy around the neighborhood, if you know what I mean. <laughs> Protein's good for you, says you. Oh, by the way, TH, did you go out and get your kids some shoes today? Could you please? Really, Mama Sparling? You know what? I hadn't talked. You know what? I lost my brain once, too. Mom's right. So I know exactly what you mean. I never got it back, though. Never got it back. To one of my very, very good friends on Facebook for a while and a, a messenger. And, like, sometimes we would go for a while and not really talk to each other. You know, we'd get in our little fight. And, you know, months would go by. And I'm like, you know, it's weird I haven't talked to him. Like, it's been quite a while. Like, usually we make up by now, but... Oh, you were fighting? You didn't say that you were fighting. You said you just go, like, times where you don't talk. You didn't say you were fighting. 
What'd you do? Put a spell on him? Did he die? You're gonna brag about your fucking spell to your friend? Is that, you're gonna about to, is that what you're about to do, lady? And then you die. Just say it. Uh, yeah, I, I got this feeling that something wasn't good, and sure enough, he had passed away. Uh, so you made him die because you were wishing spells on people? Was it me? So when did he die? And when did you start your little fucking deluge of fucking bad wishes on you? Huh. <laughs> oh my god, why does she fucking go dead air? What's wrong with her? Yeah, I don't even think that you really have to be like, you know, so called. Smart. I think that you can still get that. Like, able to read? Mama Starling. To, uh, I'm an empath, too. Uh, no, you're not. You're a dumb path. You're no fucking empath. So it's going to kick me out of my live stream. Hold on. It's kind of weird to me because if, if you had CPS, okay, in your life, okay, wouldn't you not tell people, wouldn't she be like embarrassed about it? Wouldn't she be like, not online. Wouldn't you be like trying to fix things there as opposed to exploiting it? Like, isn't that weird to me? It's so weird. Like, all just so they can say sexual things about people and people with their children all just so they can be justified in their disgusting minds to put try to put spells on people um, to wish their to wish them dead to 
harass and say sexual things about them. I mean, they make shit up. That I don't know if they think that it couldn't be proven because it could. Um, just like because that gives them some kind of joy. I can't even imagine what kind of joy that shit brings them. Embarrassing themselves, humiliating their kids, all to fucking allow a sexual bunch of deviant sex, sex I mean a bunch of disgusting perverts to allow people going around saying sexual things about people and their families. Because that didn't happen, lady. You're just using that to feed your need of your perverse need to read about my daughter doing dirty things to herself. And entertaining it on your platform. You're sick. You're a sexual predator. Your lies are making it. So I feel violated. <clears throat> in a very disgusting manner. And I've had enough. If you think I'm going to let some fucking stink like yourself sit there. And literally, you can think you're doing it. But if you think for one fucking minute, I don't have a, a like the golden shield of what, Thor? Do you honestly think I am not in favor that it isn't by the grace of God that I'm here to smack you down into your place um, among the other subhuman particles? That get off on trying to wish evil things about people. You're, you're, you're literally sitting there acting like you're putting spells on me. Traveler Girl looted about cancer. Do you know how gross you are right now to the world? To over 22 million people? You're a fucking pathetic nothing. There's no spell that could make your life any more pathetic. Douche. Can't touch me. Low life. Yeah, an empath, it, you know, it kind of sometimes... I'm going to go buy a candle from my mom. It really sucks because you, uh, you can really, like, really feel things from other you people. You feel shit. Stop lying. You're nothing. You're a sick fucking bitch who feels a certain type of way when you're manipulating people, making up lies, very serious allegations, and you think a low life like yourself is going to make some fucking spell on me. God has much more things, that wonderful things in store for me. You're like the byproduct. You're like the shavings that fall on the floor of the metal shop while making the masterpiece. That's what you are. I don't need you. They get swept up and thrown in the trash. A lot of handcrafting and workmanship went into me. You're a fucking metal shaving. Yes, she's fucking gross. She's trying to rot her own kid's teeth out. Like, what are you doing? Doing that in solidarity with the other fucking tooth rotter? Dirt bag. Even if it's through the internet, you can feel it. And like, there's so many. It's just because your hands are wet and you're putting them on your fucking electric keyboard doesn't mean you have power. Depending on you know what it is, Shut there's up. so many different types of emotions that you feel. You know, 
that the other per person is feeling. I need to go outside and smoke a bowl in a minute. I don't have no papers to roll on. Smoke it up. You can't be under the effects of anything when you're making this spell. How's that treating you, bitch? You feel that through the screen? <laughs> Hmm. She probably didn't. She probably put it all in the fucking cart. What'd she buy that? Like, what, what was that supposed to be? Christmas present? Presents to her kid? Here, have some cavities. Have some cavities. Mama needs a new reason for pity. Hey, Tiff H, make sure that uh, you hide your kid's shoes while they're there and they don't notice that their fucking toes are sticking out the front. You'll take care of it. You don't bring your fucking kid to pick out their own shoes, what they like. Oh, really, Mama Sperling? Where are you going? Through the fucking Goodwill boxes and the donation places? I mean, not that that's a bad thing, but when you're spending that much money on Tim Hortons every day and your poor kids, that's the second one in two days that have complained about their shoes. Fucking bad, in my opinion. Hey, you know, I, I wouldn't have really even, uh, uh, you know, but to fucking harass me and my kids sexually because of a picture that if I shared your own fucking video on my community post, the same picture that you're using to justify your sexual harassment of me and my daughter would be up on my fucking community post. You used it for your own thumbnail. You. Put your own kid's teeth out there with hashtag saying free Zacky. Who says that? Who does that? Like you would say it to yourself and then all of a sudden he would call you. You're the bill collector? What are you talking about? Hey, whatever happened with those pizzas that you stole the other day from the neighbors? Sicko. Who fucking does that? I'm sorry, Mark. I know how you feel, but... There's a reason. Right now. I know how you feel, Mark, but I don't care right now. Why, why you do keep waking up? There's a reason for it. You're meant to be here. Why you're sitting there putting spells on people. Well, she made some kind of rice that none of them wanted to eat the other day. They all opted for ramen noodles instead. Yeah, that's what I mean. Speak it out loud or in your head or... Uh... Oh, what, power of positive thinking? Yeah, I know, Catherine. Mm -hmm. Me too. Like, when I went to Walmart earlier, like, I literally, I had to take a clonopin because I get panic attacks. I have, is it agoraphobia? Ah, well, wait a minute. So, your friend died. You went to Walmart, had a panic attack, and filled your fucking cart up with one big cavity because you just want to get the fuck out of there and take a picture and get home. And then you're going to get home and become the all non-powerful and you couldn't even go through Walmart without a clown of him but you're going to threaten me with spells you know I could go to the store right now and I'd be fine 
I mean, I'd have to clean the snow off my car. But hey, I got a car. What'd you have to do? Sit in the back seat of mommy's car? I know I'm gonna go do that and take a shower. Yes, Mark, you are here Maybe for another coffee. They go do my laundry. My big day out. But it's fucking all snow out there. I mean, I'm not going to lie to you guys. I've really had a fucking enough of these people and their constant threats. Strawberries that I have shown yesterday was just filled with Luna threatening. I'm going to call this. I'm calling that on her. I'm calling this on her. I'm calling that on her. Like, as if that's new. I mean, they've been doing that fucking all along. Um, but I'm really sick and fucking tired of it. These are losers. I don't even know these fucking strangers. With no end game, what is their end game? What's what? What's this? What's the end game? How about you just fucking move on and act like adults? You ever think of that? No, no, you've got to be dead or something close to it. Shut the fuck up. That could take forever, bitches. Ugh. People can say, oh, hate's a strong word. Well, I don't know what's going on. Yeah, Mark, you know, it's hard to be positive yeah, right. when, you know. Good point, Bonds. Got to take fucking, because she's got to take her kids somewhere and function as something in front of normal people. Like when she's in the motel with strangers, she don't got to worry about her behavior. She can be as fucking douchey as she wants. But in Walmart, she's going to act like a, Are we all getting in the tub together? Robert Ducky. Rourke's going to wash all our backs. When you have anxiety and you have depression and, uh, and stuff like that, I know how it is. I really do. That's why I go around and try to make other people depressed and have anxiety because, you know, I think that's cool. I think it's fun. Can I want get me in the eye? Super soaker. Oh my god, she's so People have oh, you're welcome, Mark. sit there with fucking dead air. Yeah, that's true, Mama Sparling. That's absolutely true. Oh, she's got three people in there. I'm on a mission. Oh my God, can this fucking bitch speak? Oh my God, she's so fucking boring. So boring. I don't know why she has to take pills to go to sleep. She should just watch one of her own live streams. Here. Really? Really what? They're here They're here for people to learn from, too. Who's here? And there's some people here, you know, like who my uh, video is titled to. And you wonder, like, why are they here? You wonder why am I here? <laughs> Oh my god. Did you hear her? You know what I wonder is why are you here? Can you tell me the last time you've done anything productive in society or said anything encouraging to anybody? Huh? Could you? I mean, I'd say why you're here is to suck off fucking society 
and to be a fucking thorn in their side. Loser. Which means really. Yeah. They're here they're here for people to learn from too though, right? These evil fucking vile fucking crazy ass people. Vile is my word. Your name's Cray Cray, not mine. And you're the one who just said you were gonna put a spell on me, not me. So all of that is yours. You own that shit. Not me. Yeah, it really is horrible, isn't it? Right, Catherine? You know, I thought you would understand that. What? What's Catherine understanding? That she fell off her high horse and can't get back on? Buddies with baubles now? We, we learn lessons from evil bitches too, don't we? Not necessarily. I don't learn any lessons from you. You're an inconvenience. I don't know why you're fucking... I don't know why you're here. I mean, I think maybe, like, Kristen could turn into, like, something wonderful and change the world. And maybe that's why. But as of now, I really can't put my finger on it, and I'm pretty sure nobody else can. I mean, I'm sure Kristen could tell you that. Maybe you should pay more attention to her. Kid loves you, you know. Maybe you'd feel a little better about yourself. Yeah, Mama Sparling's in the fucking shower chair, though. Ugh, Bobbles has to have her own. One of those big elephant showers. <laughs> just kidding, just kidding. I'm kidding. Yes, they do, Catherine. But we get to learn. We get to learn from that. And we get to learn to try not to be so hateful as them. You know what I mean? Really? Because you're wishing spells on me won't tell me I heard she did something nope I can't say what it shut the fuck up if God didn't see me do anything because I didn't but he sees what you're doing <laughs> you are fucking with something really and we learn a lot of other things too what that you can't go into Walmart without having to take a fucking pill loser they're going to learn something from me, though. Nothing. There's nothing you could teach me. Not to be a whore, I guess. Because, you know, you are one. But, and I certainly wouldn't want. But then again, pretty epic fail of one. Because I'll tell you guys, I was there when her camera flipped. And that is not what Debbie looks like. No way, Tander. Einstein and Oppenheimer made a video of you? Ah, oh, that's a uh, pretty good one. Comparable to what? The atomic bomb? Huh? <laughs> well, we could. Whose channel is it on? Hi, Napatrish. Einstein's or Oppenheimer? Oh, is it the same one? Oh, I thought you said Connie did it. And the stinks are fucking pathetic. Think she's going to come in here fucking telling people what they got to do and shit. Go back to the Bronx, you bitch. Even though you're built like a brick shit house, I don't really give a fuck what comes out of your flappy mouth. A new one today, so they're fucking... We own them. We fucking own them. We do. Yeah, Mama Sparling, them. I always wonder why my um, kids had to find my ex-husband passed away from an ODM. Because he was a junkie? And that was your karma for thinking that you're a fucking black magic witch? I mean, that's just what you would say, right? But you know what the horrible thing is? Is that the kids had to find him, not you. And yet, here you still are. 
being rotten, not caring if the actual result when it's flipped around isn't directly I don't even know where it would be directed to because I don't do that but I just know that it's not coming at me but what if it doesn't come at you what if it comes at something you love you're willing to do that like you know your kids finding that and him dying you don't care do you you just want to pretend that you're a fucking witch and never notice that your shit doesn't work. You're just a low life. Yeah. Carrie Ann B or that skank with the green fucking C? I think it means fucking chlamydia. On ground, you know, when, when I was an addict for so long and, and I'm still here, I always question that, but. You were an addict for so long? You were an addict for someone? Fuck out of here. Like like we're saying, you know, everything happens for a reason. We can't keep questioning it, even though we still do, you know. I don't question it. You're the dumb fuck. You know, you say clearly you don't even believe in God, so who are you questioning? Who are you questioning? Witchy poo? Huh? Who's the god of Wiccan? Witchy poo? Who is it? Who is it? Who are you questioning when you have questions of life? Who do you question? Who what do you question? Who do you question? Who do you fucking question? When you question your life questions, why does this happen? And this, not God, right? You don't believe in Him. And I'm not saying Wiccan is the devil. So, who the fuck are you questioning? You're stupid. Yeah. Oh my God, bitch. Yeah, you are <laughs> 1.75. Yeah, I try to, Mama Star Sperling. I can't talk, Mama Sperling. Try to what? Read? Cook? Pay a bill? Get a job? It's hard, though, around, like you said, around the holidays, birthdays. Oh, do you get depressed and sad? But you don't care because you're still casting your little fucking dark magic spell, right? You don't give a fuck about anybody else. That it's around their holidays too, right? Miss fucking empath. Do you even know the fucking def defin uh, definition definition of that? Do you? Because I know you think you do, and you're certainly not one. Oh, poor you and your fucking holidays. Were you gonna wish my daughter's mother, me, dead for the holidays? Is that what your little fucking wishes? Skanky bitch. Sent straight from fucking hell. They didn't even want her. Nothing to say. Unless somebody types something to me. Nothing to say. Not a fucking yeah, I'm not a right? independent thought in this fucking ball of dough she calls a head. Oh, and if I'm harsh on them, I don't fucking care. Two years and I'm still dealing with these bitches constant live streams? Give a fuck. Now some fucking smells like a fish angst or stinkster comes out and thinks she's gonna start kind of telling me. She's unwaveling. She's unwaveling. Survivor goes on wavel wing. It's all because of me. I'm so mean and nasty. Shut the fuck up. Only to look at the fucking tank. Shut the fuck up. I don't know you, stranger. Put a sock in it. That's true. Nasty ex hewer. You 
you know, and then you, you know, you, you know, these good people taken away from us, and then you got like, these bio fucking people, you know. Why do you keep using bio? You got you guys had no word, so you think if you keep using the word that I describe you guys with, maybe it doesn't make you so bio. Maybe sound a little more smarter than you are. I mean, come on now. Get your own fucking word. Oh, wait. How about you just describe me as so much better than you? Turn your fucking dirty fingers around to point at yourself. You make me sick. You know, some of these people that we see on here, I know I can be a bitch, but I, I, I don't go that low, but I'm gonna. You, you don't go that and low? You call me a fucking pedo every two months for two years. In fact, when I got diagnosed with cancer, you left comments saying, wish I could say I felt bad, but I don't. Oh, well, karma, LOL, with three or four laughing, crying emojis. I didn't even know you. Didn't even fucking know you. Didn't even know you. Oh, well, wish I could say I felt bad, but I don't. Karma. LOL. Funny, huh? See how funny you think your little spell is when it comes back on you. Wouldn't make it too much because, uh, man, you might really fucking fuck yourself up if it comes back three times. Maybe for you, maybe four, I don't know. That don't mean just on the internet. Yeah, it is, Buns. Yeah, it is. Them's fighting words. Nasty hole. Every two fucking months. And we're nice to you and kind to you. You can leave Munchie in there fucking saying my kid got taken away and shit. Who the fuck do you think you are saying that kind of shit? You want to say that shit and it's not true? How would you like to know the truth of it? See, because my daughter's grown up. So those days is gone. And it's not true. So you could never make me feel the truth of that. But how about, how about if you feel the truth of it? You thought it was okay to allow people to slander me and say disgusting lies like that in your room. And then Annette takes showers with her son. You remember that? Hmm? See, it's hurtful to even read things like that. But maybe you need to know how it feels to experience it. Because you're not a good mom, in my opinion. And you're sitting here displaying insane behavior right now. And if I'm going to get blamed for all this shit, fuck it, right? Fuck it, then. I mean, I have held back being as, uh, as disgusting as these cocksuckers are. But I mean, when it comes down to it, fuck, these bitches are willing to go to the point where Mr. Bobbles is literally putting up community posts saying, who gives better blowjobs, me or my daughter? Who says that? Who says I heard Annette showers with her son? Who fucking mods David's bra or Munchie or any of them? Huh? You fuckers do. You dirty, nasty pigs. And this is what I was trying to avoid. Because if I do the nasty things that you people do, but you can't because, see, my kid's grown. But you want to spread rumors and lies that I didn't have my kid and raise my kid. You want to spread rumors like that. So, I mean, isn't it fair? It is fair, right? It's not my fault that your kid's small enough and mine's grown. Right? I mean, it's only fair. I didn't want to get to this level, but you wouldn't stop. Basically, you were asking for it. This is what you must want. You must be tired of being a mother or 
being able to live at your mother's. I think you should be removed from there, not your daughter. That's a good environment, safe for her. She gets fed. You need to go. They need to take you the fuck out of that house. Your behavior and actions on YouTube put your child in danger. You exploit her. Now, if you want to have your nasty little soliciting sex live streams and TikToks on social media just to make a buck or two, you're going to have to do it out of that household. Because you're putting her in danger. And you are definitely using her for your own gain. Now, why is this guy still in? <laughs> did anybody get rid of him? <laughs> okay, thank you. Oh, I did. Okay, okay so uh, in case anybody doesn't remember... I really love this video. Not that I, I love it because it happened, but I do think it is a really good piece of work. Quick one, a minute or two. I don't think it's a minute. I don't know. I don't know. It could be a video. I don't know. Mm -hmm. Okay, here we go. Great video right here. <laughs> Oh, wait a minute, I gotta slide down. Huh. I'm scared to death, right? Come in. Come on. Where are you at? I've been live. I've been talking about this ever since I started talking about it. Your bitch ass ain't coming in here saying shit about my kid no more, right? You fucking scared to death, right? Come in. Come on. She's such a good mother and such a good role model. You think they think so too? Yeah, Kimber, it is. It's disgusting, man. You're disgusting, and you're going to get more disgusting right here. This is so gross. You're so gross. <laughs> yeah, right? Two of a kind? Exactly. You know what they're doing? Because they know that I'm a victim of my uncle. They started using, they, they were saying stuff about my uncle. They were saying. Oh, my God. That's, can you just keep that up and 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 up? And that, that, that my uncle's getting out of prison soon and going to come after my son. Been there, done that. I'm sure you want on the T-shirt. And I'm not undermining it. But, bitch, you call me a pedo, so shut the fuck up. But they're trying to hurt me because they know I'm a victim of that shit. But then they're trying Nobody's to trying to hurt hand. you, bitch. Nobody is. But you're trying to exploit somebody right here. This shit about my daughter, too. Hold on, Kristen's coming in again. Oh, how convenient. How fucking convenient, huh? You guys listening good? Mother of the year right here. I think it's this part right here. Mother of the year. Mother of the fucking year. Mother of the fucking year. Go ahead and say hi to the perpetrator. Yeah, to the sick guys. Watch. Mother of the year. I don't want you talking. You can stay in here. Just don't talk. Or tell me to mute it if you want to. Listen to this dumb bitch. All right, sorry, y'all. Mm-hmm. We'll see. Yeah, come in here and come up on panel. They're watching. I know they are. She don't know who it no, is, but, but they're watching. I know they are. She's a fucking psycho. No, but it's freezing, freezing like crazy. Yeah, they won't say it to my face. Uh, they won't say it to my face. I, I can't wait to see their face when they fucking find out who it is. And they go to. But they won't say it to your face. So nobody's in there saying anything. And you're mad about that. That's why you're so angry. Because nobody was saying anything or doing anything to you. 
You said, nobody's saying nothing. And you're pissed about that? So look what you do. Look what you sacrifice and throw out there as bait. Court, I can't wait to see their face. Okay, so just don't talk too loud, even though you should be able to without somebody saying they want to do some sick stuff. She just said that to her daughter. She just said that to her daughter. Yeah, they're watching, huh? Okay, Kristen, just in a minute, okay? Go ahead, Kristen, say hi to everybody. Let's see if they come yeah, in. Yeah. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. You guys hearing this? They weren't there. So she was ready to throw her fucking kid. She did. Is that not sick? In her face. Okay, so she don't talk too loud, even though you should be able to without somebody saying they want to do some sick stuff. Wow. 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 I can't believe yeah, they're watching. that to her kid. I cannot fucking believe it. Huh? Okay, Kristen, just in a minute, okay? Go ahead, Kristen. Say hi to everybody. Let's see if they come in. Yeah, hey, yeah. Hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Yeah, come in. You heard my kid's voice. Come in and say your sick, twisted stuff. Come on. Hey, Kama Shaz. All right. I'm gonna. I gotta play that just one more time here because I think this is real damning. Oh, they're watching. I know they are. No, marker, no, but it's freezing, freezing like crazy. It's yeah, been they won't going say it to my years, face. for fucking years. It's sick. It's, uh, they won't say it to my face. I, I can't wait to see their face when they fucking find out who it is and they go to court. I can't you. wait to see their face. It's you and you're going to court. I can't wait to see your face. You want to sit there in your live stream acting like you're fucking putting a spell on me? You want to sit in your live stream and act like you're putting spells on me? Okay, so she don't talk too loud, even though you should be able to without somebody saying they want to do some sick stuff. Yeah, they're watching, huh? Okay, Kristen, just in a minute, okay? Go ahead, Kristen, say hi to everybody. Let's see if they come in. Yeah, yeah. Say hi, everybody. Hi, everybody. Yeah, come in. You heard my kid's voice? Come in and say your sick, twisted stuff. You're come inviting on. perverts in. Hey, chemist. Come in. Come in. Who does that? You're trying to put your kid in danger? I mean, wow, Debbie. So bad for you. And I feel bad for her, actually. I don't know. I didn't see the rest of that. That was just the video. That was clip there. I got club volume, lady. I got to turn her up to 1.75. She's so dead. <clears throat> yeah, there's there are, there's some people a, out there, as in dead air, not these dead. These days, there's some. It does seem like there's more. There's more bad and evil people. Yeah, is yeah. she streaming tonight? I don't know. Because she streams twenty four seven because she has no fucking life. Actually, I wasn't streaming because I was out with my no life. You're welcome, Mom Sterling. Isn't that awful? Thank you for coming in. Yeah, she does, doesn't she? And you know, me being an empath and who I am spiritually. So you are a loser what and not an empath? A fucking cold hearted bitch throws her kids to the wolves, in my opinion. Fucking chosen one reject this passion just proved it. You did it. You said it. I, I gave so. that bitch so many chances. I wanted to, I thought I could help her. I literally thought I could help her and change her fucking ways of thinking. Help who? That's, because I'm a good person. Help right? who? Me? Help me? Is she saying me? You're going to help me? You are going to help me. You live at home with your mother. Because you're you're not allowed to. I mean, you're probably your mother probably has like what is it? Something to turn, uh, you know, like power of turn. You're not capable of taking care of yourself legally. You're legally deemed 
not capable of taking care of yourself. Why do you think every time you get a little bit of money in your hand, the first thing you do is run off and get a motel so you don't have to be under mommy's care? And you blow it all because you don't get your check probably in your name. Your mother wouldn't get it from you for rent. Fucking boom. Get them every month. You'd be gone. Sicko. She thinks she's an empath. But I've realized you cannot fix that bitch. And she went after one of my friends that Who? is not in that great of health. I'm not going to say more than that. Who? And Who? tonight I found out something and I am. Now, you don't just get to fucking pretend to have found shit out. The fuck are you talking about, you loser? Wish and ill will on people based on you fucking spouting some crap. Acting calm right now, but I'm overly pissed. Believe me, the candles on my altar and all kinds of shit. Is getting- I knew. That's why I kept saying, Mom, can I borrow a candle? The candles on her altar. I'm being harassed by a bunch of lunatics. Sharon's being harassed by lunatics. Annette's being harassed by lunatics. Yes. They should be anyway, but not these people. Not these people. Uh uh-uh. uh. They have a defective prefrontal cortex in their brain. They are not capable. They are not capable. They have a defective prefrontal cortex. Sick. And be thrown into the universe going straight to that fucking or Believe that. <laughs> Nothing you put out in the universe is going anywhere. At least nowhere near me. Leave that. Yeah, queen of everything, I know. Meaning like everything, like diseases and bacteria and Ignorance. Oh, you're getting snow, Catherine, tomorrow? Why don't you put a spell so that she doesn't get any snow tomorrow? She doesn't fucking get the desert. I don't know if she's getting snow. Are you, are you serious, Mama Sperling? No. Mama you know, Sperling I would have to say that there's people that, that go into SG. <laughs> And they are so wonderful that you could never, ever, ever hope to be like them. Into SGs, into net nets and stuff like that. And I'm not going to lie. I don't tell them to choose a side. I just tell them to stay the fuck over there and don't come back here. Well, if, if you can listen to people. That's kind that... of choosing a side. But I agree. If people can want to be friends with people who are speaking of sexual acts with people's kids like you do, like Munchie and stuff, and you entertain that shit. And that's deceased relatives and everything. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. If you didn't want to squash the beef, yeah. Yeah. You either have to squash the beef with her or she's going to kill you. Those were her words. Talk of that fucking that much shit about me and crazy shit and lies. Nobody's talking that much shit about you because, you know, you're boring. Not much to say. I, I don't want them over here. And Diane, what is it, Oster, Oster Tag, however you say it, I, you know, she was my only mod for a very long time and I see her over there and I, I'm sorry. I just... She knows we she, were very kind to you. Here. She knows that. We were kind, supportive, encouraging, and every time they treated you bad... Yeah, we were for you, but not anymore. Yeah, can't do that anymore. It's just pathetic. It's like setting yourself up to fucking deal with this shit again. We get. She comes over here, and once people start talking about these people, she's got to go. So yeah, you know, stay over there. I'm sorry. Ooh, that must that that'll really be uh, detrimental. Yeah, they are. Everybody. They're all brain dead. <sighs> Look, you know, they're not just brain dead. It just tells you a lot about the people that go over there and support that person. 
like what? That they're good people? And we all get along here? And if I can fill this many hours with shit that you people are just saying that it's fucked up. That's why I did Chosen One, so it was just a total different thing. It was just a fucking ridiculous. I mean, it was just ridiculous. Speaking on women's bodies, acting like he knows anything about them. Who? Or she had been. Oh, she had been, but not recently. Okay. Those people. It, it, it speaks of volumes of the people that are over there communicating with them in that chat. Speaks volumes. Yeah, Diane, she was. But you know what? We only know her. I mean, uh, Mama Sperling. Diane. <laughs> yeah, I thought she was nice, too. But, you know, she we only nice. know them from them coming into chats, right? We don't really know them. Oh, that's the video from before, right? Is Sandra still here? Can she get that and drop that link in here? Oh my God. She was such dead. She would sit there and talk, you know, say all kinds of stuff. She talked to my daughter, went to Kristen one time. Yeah. Oh, and then the very next day, you were calling me a pedo. She's a good kid, blah, but now she's talking shit about my kid. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. You are. God, this bitch. How are they so fucking clueless? How? Somebody explain to me. Oh my God, this woman does not say anything. She has no thought process. Oh my God, she must be so boring. She does have a lot. She does have a lot of addicts in there. I'm about one of them. My God, I'm about to be nice to you. I just don't even know how these people are just such a a shame. Oh my God, lady. Don't go go live if you don't have anything to say. And she would back down. I'd be bitch to her. Right? Why don't you put your fucking live chat up so people can read what people are saying? Ridiculous. I can't believe I have this speeded up so much and this bitch is just like that. Ow. Gosh, you waste so much people's time. Yeah, it's really weird how they have to have to come after your kids because they have nothing else. Yeah, I, did. I don't get it. We just saw you, bitch, because nobody was coming. Oh, I know you can, Catherine. Believe me, I feel your energy, Catherine. Yeah, exactly right, Mama Sperling. She, she has no kids, but she wants to talk about other people's parenting. pretty easy to see that even if that was your cousin that you were saying oh they're home from school oh say hi okay you out there come on here's my little cousin come on come on where are ya you're sick <laughs> okay you're torturing that kid in my opinion Somebody that chose 27 years of drug drug use over having a child. I guarantee you, Sharon would never, ever, ever, ever sit there and say, "No, come here, come here, little kid. Say say hi to them. Maybe we can get them in here then, and I can uh, yell and scream about it real loud some more and." Get you scared to death and say they're going to do this and that. Child and a, and a family and a wife. Because because that was more important to her. What about you? You're glad you don't have kids, Catherine. You don't have kids, Catherine? You know, it seems that these people 
the ones in their chats that see them doing things to their kids and we say, oh my God, why aren't they saying anything? It seems like they're the ones that say things like they're glad they don't have kids. Um, they don't have kids, basically. Maybe they can't have them. Maybe they don't. Maybe whatever. Maybe Luna just says she can't have them, but she really doesn't like kids. You know? Who knows? But... Um, well, who, what do you mean you did it so she couldn't strike? Can't she get it from that link? Well, drop it on your channel. <laughs> Take that off there and drop it on your channel. I don't know what video you're talking about. <clears throat> Hi, Nat Nat. Let me go outside and smoke a bowl. Kristen is snoring like crazy. Are your <laughs> Next to your kids. Uh, cats, cats are your kids. <laughs> Next yeah, to your it is. Kids really with candles and an altar going in front of your kid. And now you're going to go outside and smoke a bowl and leave her with unattended candles and an altar. Gee, that's not scary. No, I don't want to put it in here. She can put it on her channel because I don't know what the video is. And she's saying she has some kind of concern of getting, I don't want to, yeah, I don't know what it is. He said, that's why I did that. That's why I always, what, dropped it here? <laughs> um, isn't that odd, though? Like, wouldn't it be scary if you were a little kid and you were asleep and you woke up and there was candles and an altar set up? Yeah, hurry up and click it, Winnie. <laughs> she can go over there. I don't even know what it is, but I take you no know, fucking plan for shit. <laughs> um, because I don't even know what it is, so I'm not even doing that. So, um, yeah, an altar with candles. That's so weird. You know what the weird thing is, is why are she not, like, continuing? Yeah, I heard SG, uh, she didn't really raise her own. That's why, you know, she's, she's, SG's alone. She's a miserable fucking old hag. That's what, that's what she is. Her kids aren't in her life. Um, I only have one kid, and she's an adult, and I do talk to her, but she lives far away. Now, what would you like me to do? String myself around her neck? Like a fucking albatross? I mean, look who's talking. Where's your fucking kids? There's only the one there because she's little. Sure, as soon as she can, she'll be gone from there because you're fucking an ass. All she has is that dog and, and all the junk in her fucking apartment. All the junk in my apartment. You mean like furniture like normal people have? What's wrong with you? Have you ever had a fucking apartment, loser? That was yours, and you had you actually paid for it. Have you ever? Don't you know you're nothing to me? Stop talking. No, not you. Hey, Sharon, I'm not talking about you. Are you behind in the audio? I'm talking about Debbie. 
Is she behind in the audio? Can somebody ask her in here if she's behind in the audio? Please. I think she is because when she goes out and then comes back in, I think that's what it is. She don't have any anything. Really? She has nothing. She has nothing but the internet. That's why she goes live for nine hours and then yeah. goes live again because for another seven bitches hours. bitches talk so much shit about everybody that you're fucking, you're just there all the fucking time. It needs to be, it needs to be handled in the way it needs to be handled now because you know, people have been merciful and tolerant for too fucking long. It's ridiculous the way you act. Hours? Because she's a miserable fucking piece of shit. Oh, really? Like it's off talking about other people. You're saying all this in front of your fucking kid? You're a loser. Well, she projects. She projects. She projects. Oh, sorry, you guys. I got a. These are getting health for you. Yeah, it does, Mama Sperling. I. No, it's okay. I just wanted to know she's behind the audio. I know that, that, and because like everybody else is fucking online, why shouldn't we be afforded the luxury of it? See what, Marcy? I see the crap. Crap. Yeah, she she's a she's a miserable old hag. She really is. No, I know. Can somebody tell her she's behind the audio? Please. <laughs> real quick, because I know it's because she was going in and out. So I think Sharon's behind the audio. Oh, my God. Please, you guys. Oh, no, no. Oh, can somebody please tell her? Okay. It's not clicking. Click, click, click. <laughs> Okay, there we go. Yay. <laughs> you, Tiffany, SG, what about me? Well, I got lost there for a second. Hey, Marcy. Nobody's doing anything to you, Debbie. Nobody's doing anything to Tiffany H. Except for her own friends. The only people that are doing things are you, them, their own friends, all doing it to each other, trying to blame better people than you. Right? See, thank you. Yeah, they're probably blocked, Catherine. Some people have asked me to unblock them. I keep forgetting. Oh, yeah, SG. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. SG, she's wonderful. Yeah, yeah. Mostly people. A lot of people come and tell me what they're saying. I try not to watch her. But oh, I, ha so I have kind of... put spells on me? But you don't know? Who told you, Munchie? It's the last couple of days that I've been kind of watching her. I wonder if she falls asleep in between. I wonder if she's nodding. No, she just maybe woke up. Yeah. Yeah, there you go. Yeah, she's she's not human. She she's she's just a full evil, dark, nasty energy. Uh actually I didn't come on live saying I was putting spells on you. You said you were gonna use dark power and dark energy to put spells on me. At the beginning of your live stream. 
Yeah, it isn't Catherine. But you know what? Just it, it just makes me mad that you know I tried with her so many times. I mean, she's got videos with me on a panel with her. Like I tried so many times with that bitch. I don't know why. Like yeah, I said, and then I'm the very empath, fucking next day, fucking... you will say, "I feel, I feel bored. Who should I start some drama with? And it'll either be me, Annette, or Sharon." mental fucking instability and i thought maybe i could maybe i could help her there's there's yeah. no help for that bitch there's no did she just say she's gonna help me with mental instability while she's dressed like harry potter trying to put spells on me debbie bring back that cat that's your neighbor's black cat it's my familiar no it's not help for that bitch none i don't care she gets locked up for the rest of her life there's no help for that why fucking. would i get locked up i'm not the one throwing my fucking little kid out there baiting sickos and say come on come on in i'm not the one doing that god right okay. crazy ass fucking bitch there isn't that to say death would be better <laughs> that's all i'm saying i think it would death would be better you guys hear her i just fought for my life and complete fucking strangers like this actually think they're going to say things like this yeah yeah, she's she's not human. She she's she's just a full evil, dark, nasty energy. Says the tar pit. Yeah, it isn't Catherine. But you know what just Catherine, how you can sit in there after being friends with me for two years and listen to this fucking bitch talk like this is really shocking to me. Did you get possessed? Did you get possessed? <clears throat> it, it just makes me mad that you know i tried with her so many times i mean she's got videos with me on panel with her like i tried so many times with that bitch i don't know why like i said i'm an empath and i think i felt her fucking oh you're gonna feel something there isn't sad to say death would be better <laughs> that's all I'm saying. I think it would. That's what Mr. Bobble said, remember? Says, uh, death will be better for Shady and SJ. Death will be better for them. Shady and SJ cunts. They can both fit in a trunk. Maybe Bobos has a trunk. She's a fucking elephant. Why don't you go ask her for one? Go ask if we can borrow Bobos' trunk. She, this bitch goes earlier. She's nodding right now. Take a little nap in between. But this bitch goes, should I break out my rods? Like her dousing rods, right? And that just, and then she goes, well, they never lie. They don't lie. I already know. They never lie. So what, earlier were you like, what, walking around with some pieces of what, fucking metal or something that usually are used to find water? That's what they were for originally, to find water under the ground. But, um, <clears throat> right, was it water or oil or something, right? Dousing. To douse something means like water, right? Or dousing rods for to locate water. 
I know they'll tell you they're for paranormal fucking investigations or whatever the fuck this bitch thinks they're for. Um, she thinks they never lie. Okay, lady. So she was sitting there with some thank you, Nect. Thank you very much. Thank you very much for water. So she's out there fucking picking up on some fucking nasty flint water under her fucking <clears throat> backyard. That her it's really her mother's thinking that the rods are talking to her. She's out there going something, something, Tracy. Something, something, SG, I mean, Tracy. Something, 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 SG, I mean, something, something, a la peanut butter sandwiches. What, what lady? <sighs> fuck is wrong with you? Okay, so... Yeah, she's dousing Flint water. Yeah. I found some. It's right here. This is a very strong message about SG. They never lie. You know how much crazy you must look right now in front of your daughter with an altar and candles in the middle of the night? Your poor kid's trying to sleep and you're fucking being a fire hazard? Wake up. Wake up, Debbie. Not time over. Snap out of it, lady. Oh, my God. Oh, yeah, Mama Sperling. I definitely would. If she was in front of my face right now, I wouldn't be talking. <laughs> be a lot more going yeah, on. You wouldn't, because your jaw would be broken, in my opinion. Honestly. <laughs> Pedo's fighting words. It'd break your fucking jaw so that you'd think twice before you said it fucking again. But you're not worth it. You're taking care of it yourself anyway. Come on, get back to it, Harry Potter. Oh, yeah, the sort, the <laughs> sorting hat. The sorting hat was also talking to her last night from Hogwarts. Mm hmm. Better watch out, Debbie. I might put my invisible cloak on. Be around outside. Never know. Might trip you. Push you around a little bit. You know, look like you're getting fucking your ass kicked by a gang of ghosts. Huh? Huh? Is that what you want? On live? No, no, probably meet me there and film it. Getting your ass kicked by a ghost. But really, I'm just wearing an invisible cloak. How you like that? Oh, but maybe we'll tell you it's a ghost. Like, ooh, your spell worked, at Debbie. Ooh, I'm here to get you. You put a spell on me. She's asleep again. Yeah, Marcy, it doesn't. But you know what? Because she likes the shit. She likes it. She likes when people talk talk about her. It gives oh, her something. Yeah. To get Do I look like I like it? You know what I think? I think you like it because you have nothing. Your channel is fucking bunk, bitch. Get on the internet to talk about because she has nothing else to talk about because uh, her life is shit. Yeah, my life is so much shit that you bitches make. How many hours a day, net net, do we own of their lives? What would you say? Um. Hi, Chris. Like, what would they, you know, like, what would they... I hope they don't live in Flint and Chris didn't get mad like if he lives in Flint or something. We like Flint water. We're the same for her. Um, 
<clears throat> uh, yeah, Debbie. Um, basically, I don't even get it. <laughs> it's like as if on Discord they make an itinerary and they'll go, okay, so I'll go live today and then you go live right after me and then you make a video and then you go live and then you make a video and every single fucking day they have their schedules given to them by I don't know whom is telling you that this is productive for you. But really what it's doing is you're spending so much fucking time hating on people that have not done anything to you and would gladly say well wishes and <clears throat> not speak of you again. If you knew how to have common decency and mutual respect and act like you can function in society or just on YouTube at least. But instead, it appears that you would prefer that we own you all. We own everything you say in your videos. We own all the time that you're thinking about what you're going to say in your videos. You probably go to sleep thinking about us because you're so pissed. You go to, I mean, not because of anything we said, just because you're demons. And you see something, demons usually see something, you know, in people that have a purpose, like a good purpose. They're, they have a purpose. Maybe they don't even know it themselves yet. But you can bet there's going to be a shitload of fucking demons that are scared of that person and their purpose. It could, it could slay them, you know? Just supersede their fucking evilness and just not gone. Now, motherfuckers, we set something good to focus on. We're going to start putting some good energy out there in the atmosphere of the world. We're going to stop turning our cheek and not looking and hope they go away because they can't ever get the idea to go away and make things better. They're defective. They have defective prefrontal cortexes in their brains. They're never going to be like the people that we want them to be. But it seems, you know, uh, social media sometimes appears to be when they shut down the local mental health facility and they have nowhere to go and here they are here they are but you know there's really not that many of them but some of them are schizophrenic as well so making hundreds of soft accounts for them you know for themselves like secular is probably schizophrenic like uh, some of them are schizophrenic or they're uh, habitual liars Whatever it is, the anonymity of, you know, and almost lawlessness of this platform is allowing mental illness to almost, you know, drown out the cries of people who just want to fucking use technology like everybody else in a peaceful manner and coexist. Not a big deal. We've been doing it for fucking years. But turning a, bl a blind eye to this shit is not the way to get rid of it and to be known as the squeakier wheel gets the oil. We have to keep on keeping on. There's a reason and there's a point and it's important. People don't go around. People, what normal people do you know? That instead of congratulating somebody who survived cancer, 
pray and put spells on them for it to come back. What normal people, and, and I'm a complete stranger. You know, I'm not a fucking pedo. She can say it a hundred times. But her two-year-old seven-second video doesn't prove that I'm a fucking pedo. But hearing her throw her own daughter out there and go, come on, come on in now. There she is. You want her? You want her? Do you want her? You fucking sick fuck. What's next? The auctioning block? Maybe. Allegedly. In my opinion. Why would you want to be so unfit and undermine me so much? Because there's things I've never done, but based on the actions that I am experiencing that I never thought I'd see coming from people, hey, you know? Hi, Tina. Yeah. Yeah, they are. <clears throat> she she's just looking for attention, Tuscany. Uh, I, actually, you're the one talking about me. You're you're doing it. I believe. You think I want attention from you saying you're gonna put spells on me? Oh yeah, that's the attention I want. Please, please. Pretty sad, huh? Exactly. Yeah, I know, right, Sterling? Mm hmm. Exactly. Fresh meat. Didn't even care. Yeah, Net Net just likes attention, too. Net Net just wants attention, too. What the fuck's wrong with you? Who would want attention from the likes of you? Or any of those two other people in your room? Really? Yeah, I know. The people that are in, in, in their chats, yeah, they, they aren't no better. Well, they kind of are. Not kind of, but I don't want to hurt your feelings. But not that you have any. That was a stupid statement. I really give a fuck how you feel. Um, Mama Sparling is blocked from both of our chats. That's the only reason why she's over there. Catherine's making some stand about which. Oh, that's nice, Mark. And that's about it. Mark. Uncle, what's attempting? Kelly. He's not blocked. He knows he is fucking just. Listen to it. He knows that. Ooh, the temperature. What's the temperature? Are you in California too, Mama Sterling? There's no snow here yet. I, think. I mean, we've gotten snow, but we didn't get none today. Yeah, doesn't California get rain? And you guys get rained on like a bunch in the winter, don't you? <clears throat> that bitch is from California. That's crazy. Can she be looking all white and bleached out? Why does she look all white like that? Is she albino? She's like a piece of driftwood. Oh, in the 40s? I don't know. What is the temp here? Um, 33 degrees here. Oh, Arizona gets, they get rain too? Yeah, I've been here since November 4th. No, Arizona gets no fucking rain. They have to drink out of cactuses. My ex-boyfriend still my BFF, I always say that. Actually, they use dousing rods to find water. Um, when we uh met. For that one night. That one glorious, non-passionate night. Um, he lived in, he lived in Laguna. He lived like hundreds and hundreds of miles away, but I really was never going to meet him physically. I mean, come on, scare the motherfucker. Beach, that's Orange County, right? Yeah, it's very cold, Mark. And wasn't she telling a story about her boyfriend? Oh, you did some interviews for your for your channel, Mama Sparling? I didn't see any interviews. Were they with 
invisible people? What, what is this? Uh, deserves that deserves to raise this more. I'm so sorry. Yeah, Mark, I know of Laguna Beach from watching um, oh, Laguna yeah. Beach. Oh, shit, my phone's on 15%. Wasn't there a show on uh, MTV called Laguna Beach? I got to put my phone in. No, it was Latuna Peach. That's why I always my streams. Like, my phone's never there. Her vibrator just went off. That's what she uses for an alarm. Oh, okay, Mama Sterling. Yeah, I think there was a um, show called Laguna Beach on MTV. That's her fucking most profound thought of the day. My two older kids have a family that live in like San Jose and I don't remember where else, but really nice areas in California. Because I don't really My know. Two- who their family was or their father, because you know, like, uh, had a little too much tequila that night. You know, I mean, like, really, I didn't even know him. I was just drunk dialing, and uh, he was down with it. He was down to fuck. <laughs> like, it's her. Their uh, grandmother's family lives out there. So I send them there. I don't even know where they're going. Somewhere. I was away from me. In my opinion. Because she's blocked from everywhere. Where I don't know. Does people know where you live? I don't know. Where where do you normally live, Mama Starling? Or do you not like to tell people that? Under the bridge. With the trolls under the bridge. And Billy Goldgraf, who is there. That's her fucking big family. Oh, really, Mark? Isn't it nice out that way? Out what way? The guy's always fucking miserable. The guy lives on the fucking beach and he's miserable all the time. Yeah. He is like that. Oh, I live on the beautiful beach. Beachfront property. Woe is me. Oh, what is that? Oh, time to pick on SG again? I'm down with that. Oh, what? You're friends with her again? I owe you an apology, SG. Oh, what? You're not friends with her anymore? I could pick on her again? Really? Oh, is Rourke? I don't know. Me and Rourke, Rourke don't like me no more. I don't know why. Nor do I really care, but... So why'd you bring him up? Why did you even fucking mention him? Oh, I get it, because he saw him on my channel. The one you don't watch. Oh my God. Fucking stop stalking me? Bitches have to start fucking paying the peak of it. Oh, in Florida. Okay. This girl has no fucking thoughts of her own. She can't speak unless she reads something in the fucking chat because she has nothing to speak about. Nothing to fucking talk about. Nothing. It's fucking ridiculous. Hey, Debbie, have you ever asked your kid how her day was? What she did for school, how her day was, ever? I'm just curious. I know, talk about fucking anything, douchebag. My God, I shaved my yeah, She is my favorite train wreck. <laughs> oh, there you go. I'm not a train wreck, by the way. Really? 
You're going to say that? You looked at yourself, you fucking silly caboose bitch. Who knows, Marcy? She, she, she fights with everybody, and then, and then people will go back and try to be her friend, and then they fight again, and just like, you know, her and I. That was your last chance, bitch. Yeah, she does. Yeah, exactly. As she is my favorite train wreck. <laughs> Am I? Well, I don't know. Get a mirror and look at something. She like probably that. don't even wonder. I don't even think she cares. Cares about I even... what? I don't even think she cares. Oh, wow. Are you getting a clue? She's getting a clue. <gasps> the dentist. They don't know what that is. I, I think know. it crosses her mind. What crosses my mind? Nothing crosses my mind. Nothing. Yeah, I know you did, Catherine. Does she ever talk about you anymore, Catherine? I, like I said, I don't really go. The fuck? Well, go over there. Don't fucking... Uh, I mean, here. Don't be fucking talking about me. You don't know what the fuck you're talking about, but bitch. Hi, Brutally. Hi, everybody. Tina Winnie. Hi, Sharon. Winter streams. <laughs> I haven't been late in 47 years. What are you, a fucking pedophile? Are you implying I was getting laid when I was fucking seven? Really? Are you saying when I was seven, I was having sex? And that was the last time I had sex when I was seven? Really? Wow, really? You think I was seven having sex? What's wrong with these people? She can't pick up on anything. She's too fucking high and drugged up, in my opinion. Yeah, right. I know. She. I guess she's been calling me a um. She's been calling me that and a and a slut. <laughs> like, really? Have I? I really? Like, how do you know? And even if I was, like, why do you care about my sex life? And if I'm a, if I'm a whore and a slut. <laughs> I don't. In my stomach? That was in a fart sound. My stomach. Debbie was uh, uh, crowned most likely to not succeed. <laughs> Least likely to evolve. Least likely to evolve. <laughs> Go to her channel and give out your cash app. <laughs> Go to my channel and give out your cash app? What is that? Here she is. I actually went in there the other day and I wasn't blocked. I'm surprised. <laughs> Miss Saggy Boobs. There she is. With her KY loop. <laughs> Told who Merry Christmas and Happy Birthday. Yeah, she is, Tuscany. And yeah. How fucking dare you? <laughs> how fucking dare you? I know, right? She is my favorite. How track. dare you go to that dentist chat room? I'm out of touch with reality. Why was he having a live stream? What are you modding over there, the dentist? <laughs> I 
They offered me super glue on my lips and they gave it to me for free. Thankfully, <laughs> for you guys, lucky for you guys, I got it off. Yeah, I noticed Night Owl changed her, uh, changed her, uh, her name. That's weird. I thought you didn't. Yeah, work. exactly. Yeah, not not needles. And prudently. Did Debbie ever tell you guys her given name is Chlamydia? Chlamydia. Gonorrhea. You know. First name Chlamydia. People call her Clam for short. Suiting. Clam. Isn't Prudely on her uh, cooling out too? Does that piss you off? You were cool. Not gonna bother you, Dad. Yeah, I know, right? So she doesn't They're the biggest chat. bullies, and then they say that we bully them. Uh, look at them all getting along, fucking bullies. Oh, did prudently? So prudently and her don't talk no more. You mean prudently and I don't talk no more? She got some fucking weirdos in her room, huh? God, what is with the dead air? My God. Yeah, does she even go to the bar? Like, maybe every now and then? Seems like she's at home online all day long. Do you go anywhere? You literally had to fucking take an anxiety pill to go to Walmart. You know what that tells me? No, you don't go anywhere. Fucking weirdo. Oh, okay. Yeah, Catherine, some people, some people that don't know how to handle people, you know, want those bitches, but, but I do. I'm not worried about them at all. You don't, you know how to handle those bitches, do you? Nah. What do you got? Like, did you buy a wing? Uh, not a wing, a wand, a wing, a wand. Did you get one at Hogwarts? My nice little wand. I don't want this one. I didn't get it. I call her a sexual predator, in my opinion. Oh, yeah, I know she's throwing her but... kids as bait out there. I mean, you guys heard it, right? She threw her kid out there as bait. Here's Kristen. Come on in. Get her. Come on. Come on. I don't know. If she even uh. She comes to the bar alone. Yeah, it tells you a lot, right? I'm going to bar alone. What is wrong with these people? I meet people there. I have friends there. You, you're a loser, lady. Why are you even talking about what I do? And I'm the bully? Why are you talking about me? Oh, that's right. Because you're penciled in life. You're penciled into life. You're not going to leave any lasting mark. They're just penciled in. Gone and forgotten. You will be soon. Not soon. I don't care when. But whenever you are. But according to you, you're putting some fucking spell on me that's going to come back on you three times because I'm rubbering your glue. It's obvious. Everybody knows that. Yeah, exactly. She comes along. Yeah, she's always alone. Didn't you just say at the beginning of your live stream that you were a loner? That's what you said. You said you were a loner. Now you're going to tell me I'm always alone. Oh, God. Dad. Oh, my God. That's funny. I know, right?
Well, I'd rather have braces than... Parents that are filling up with fucking sugar and saying, hey, hey, by the way, coat this um, cotton candy all over your teeth before you go to sleep. Put a nice little thick coat of cotton candy, and in the morning you can rinse it off with Coca-Cola. Maybe someday you'll have a pretty smile like mommy. This bitch is so fucking boring. God damn, she's boring and pathetic. And you're a loser, baby. So why don't you kill me? Uh, slam the door. All right, Catherine. Good night. Sweet dreams. Good night, Andrew. I'm making a spell over here at my altar. You too, Mark. Love you. Circa, circa, dot, dot. Now I got the cray cray shot. <gasps> you can't get me now. What time is that? One twenty-five. Oh, okay. It's over here. Um, yeah, I got to get some stuff set up, and then I'm gonna be back on in a little bit. If anybody's up in a, gotta get her. We're gonna do some set. magic, some magic work. We're gonna do some magic, and we're all gonna chant. Okay, everybody, we're gonna chant. And then it's going to come back on all of us three times worse. But let's do it anyway. Because, you know, I've been practicing for 27 years. I haven't been able to perfect it yet. But one of these days, it is going to work on somebody other than myself. I know my life is pathetic and I have nothing. But come on, one of these days, let's all chant. SG, SG. I'll find it. I do believe it is called I Smell Inkster Stinkster. <laughs> She's in full wage mode. Reporting here from Chosen One Community. He's in full wage. Full wage. Somebody stop her. Oh, my hit squad. I have a hit squad now? That's kind of cool. We're mafioso. Danger, I already did. She got crazy SG survivor girl sending her little minions over to Tiffany H's live stream chat. God now, forbid I want my deceased mother's name removed. <clears throat> mind you, Tiffany H wasn't mentioning nothing to SG or about SG or nothing. Oh, yeah, yeah. My daughter was just in there saying that she just did a quick live cam up, a two finger spread. Yeah. And a person comes into the live stream chat named Glenda Kalkman, which, whatever. It's just Wait, the name. What? It wasn't even it's on Connie's or is it on this one? I thought she said it was on Connie. I mean, on this one. She has two videos made up of her? Sure. Ah, wait a minute. What's this crap? Starting in deep, deep center field. Mass, mutual, mutual. Official partner of the Red Sox. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm going to up here. 
This isn't about Tandra. I'm good with this. This isn't about Tandra. I don't know what it is. I don't see anything about Tandra there. I think we were at the right place. You can remove Connie and fucking link. <laughs> Fuck her. I'll be giving her any views from here. You can remove her link, please. <laughs> yeah, there was. I think I was at the right place. Baba Weast. So you guys already see this one? picture with it. And suddenly, out of the blue, comes Tanja to the rescue, demanding that Tiffany H. take that person out. What an asshole I am. What an asshole my friend is. Wanting to, okay, Tanja. I think she said they were the ones commenting in the chat. Chat. Now, the moderators already took the person out of the chat. I guess because the last name Kaufman Maybe is tied to that. SG. Okay, what? Well, why don't you just mind your own fucking business? Who are you, weirdo? Whatever. So the moderators already dealt with it. But Tandra comes she in. she didn't know, whore. It's not your business. And gets on his white knight horse or her white knight horse or whatever the fuck horse she's on. And demands that the name be taken out of the chat. Well, Tiffany H already dealt with it. And the mods already dealt with it. All right. She didn't know. You have a problem with that, bitch? You're going to make a whole fucking video about it? You're going to make a whole video about it? Are you fucking out of your mind? Go take care of your kid. But that's number one. But number two, since when do other people that are not in the live stream or not participating in the live stream and actually running their own live stream? Uh, since fucking people's children and deceased relatives have been harassed consistently. Since when does some ex hure and thigh high fucking waiters boots fucking fresh out of her fucking sewer hole come out and start talking about somebody you don't even fucking know, bitch? Get back. Are they lying in the comments? Let's see. Tanger is nothing but a minion. This is Luna. Who works free for SG. Why Bobos pays you? While SG sleeps or is drunk in her life, Tanger records and takes ass for her. What does that mean? Oh, screenshots. Sorry. <laughs> I think Gary is right. My bet. <laughs> My bet. Tanger doesn't take ass for me. And Tinkerbell says, Twat Waffle Twanger. Twanger had to send SG a big bag of cat food a couple of months ago and sends other stuff and money. Like SG needs to get a job already. Twanger is definitely her bitch. So vile girl, oh no, super vile girl says. SG is the one that makes any sock accounts that has family members' names or uses her last name. Why don't you people see it and call that out? SG trolls herself and shows up in other streams to make content for her to complain about. You're fucking stupid. That's what you fucking douchebags do. My God. Ugh. Just being around this many fucking morons. Tiffany Havasi says, I, is that it? No, Tiffany, human. I don't know. Cumin? Coming? Who knows? I didn't even think of that. Wow. I 
wasn't even thinking of that when I was calling CPS on myself. My God, I didn't think of it. Yeah, we were so nice to them. Too late for what? To, uh, just asking says, yeah, I'm starting to see that pattern. And then they get real outraged and hope no one will notice because they're too busy focusing on the outrage. <laughs> Aren't they smart? Shut the fuck up. I believe that. Because I don't even hear anyone or see anyone talking about her daughter or cancer bashing. She's doing it because she's a lunatic. We have screenshots. Okay. You want to say one more fucking time that I would say those disgusting words about my kid. You know what it is? They wicked want their friends. To suffer the consequences. It's horrible. Connie says. Tanger has been doing this forever. Very first time I met her, she was blueberry quist. And got mad because of an emoji in Bobble's chat. And sent me an email saying cease and desist. And said, fuck you. I laughed my ass off. They're bullies. Really? Well, I would think you would think that she was a comedian since you laughed your ass off. Who the fuck laughs at bullies? Except a fucking liar. Oh, screen record and screenshotting 24-7. You mean like tuna? What do you prefer? Tuna or BB? Bam, bitch. What would you prefer? You want to call Sharon BK? You want to make a video and call her BK? Stinkster? Stanky? Stanky fucking V having bitch? Huh? You want to make a fucking video and call Sharon BK? Really? All right, Luna BB. Oh, sure. Sure, so you're going to talk about that blueberry quist thing. Apparently, Connie's been stalking you for a long time, Tanger. Stalking you and clocking you. Yeah, nobody even knows if that's even really true. He probably fucking put it up there himself. He probably wanted to get the fuck out of her channel and he couldn't think of a fucking way to do it. I hate this fucking bitch. Uh, her voice so that way It's like, ah. Clark, real quick. SJ, why don't you do yourself a favor, honey? It'll be okay. Look at her talking but condescending to me. Talking condescending to me. While hiding. On the computer, put your phone away, go take your medication, make yourself a drink. She suggests I take medication and drink. Something. It really, an intervention needs to take right. place at this point. Because the internet's not a good place for you right now. You get yourself into hot water. Real hot water. I'd say you're fucking lukewarm. Who the fuck do you think you are? Bada bing, bada boom. Talking to me? No, really, you talking to me? Very quickly. So just step away from the computer. 
get off the internet. Go take the little pills. You make- oh, I thought you said you don't just fucking run. I was going to say Debbie's ex is dead. Medication <laughs> or your whatever you snort up your nose, whatever you do. But step away. It's air. Is that okay? Can I put air up my nose? Would that be all right by you? I mean, I know your nose takes a good amount of air. Would you mind if I have some, motherfucker? Greedy fucking breathing up all the air. Good people, bitch. I didn't like talk bad about me because I don't know what she's talking about here. Who gives a fuck about you? Why is everything about you? Nobody cares about you, bitch. You're just a fucking dredge on society. She goes, SG spent nine hours today freaking out over Tiffany H once again. Oh, and all you were able to get was eight minutes and 20, eight minutes and 20 seconds. Well, I'm sure you're going to catch the uh, meaning of the nine hour video better than the nine hour video in eight minutes. Who, MJ? I last respect for e-beggars. Huh? I mean, I don't really mean to be mean, but... Huh, my God. When are you going to take your fucking videos down from, like, a, a, a married woman? Because why? Because she had a husband? And then start harassing, like, single women? That's kind of scary and creepy. And, ugh. They're still using... My daughter's last name. So do you Seth, not ever harass mom. married women, just single ones? Is that it? Don't want to have to deal with husbands? I'm just saying. I really don't know. But Stop drinking. Her mental illness is getting worse. I'm telling you. Oh, God. And that's what you're doing. Oh, they want me to stop drinking and taking pills, but she's telling me to drink and take pills? I don't drink or take pills. I mean, I have beers, but I'm not taking them. Can you me? Playing right now, you skank. You're done. I don't give a fuck. Skank. You're done. What you're doing is literally bashing people the way for the skank. skank. You're done. You think you're going to keep this up? You skanky fucking cunt. When I have never had any fucking trolls of you. Now, mind you, I like how this woman completely ignores the fact that in the room, they had my daughter's name saying, I just did a quick live cam show, the two fingers spread. Okay. Or your kids ever in here, you skanky fucking con. You're dead. You're done. Done. You're fucking dead. Dead, done. She's playing that so over again. Who cares? Fucking towel. Dirty towel. Dirty towel. She's got wrapped around her head. A dirty fucking Who the towel. fuck does that? Did you guys see where Mr. Bobble said, Who gives better head, me or my daughter? Did you guys see that in my community post? They wonder why. How how do you how dare you, Hewer, skip right over what was being said about my kid? My daughter matters, bitch. I matter. Annette's son matters. Annette matters. Sharon matters. People fucking matter. You don't just get to come out and pick what side you think is gonna win. Uh there's nothing being won here. It's really an inconvenience for decent people to have to see and be sexually assaulted over the internet. Whether it's actually physical or with words, it could be likened to rape. Okay? Because I feel violated. And I felt violated for quite a while since he was saying the one titty freak, dirty butt that spreads her legs for fucking meth. I mean, are you out of your fucking gourd, you complete irrelevant stranger? Just because you've been wa- watching from the distance or trolling in soccer accounts, partaking. But I do notice that you helped yourself out with some fucking spelling, which that's good. But you're still a fucking moron. 
So at least you learn something from this experience. Now, why don't you go pack it in? You fucking lukewarm bitch. Bitches act like my fucking kids don't matter. And other people's not. I mean, come on. Why they make up lies about their own kids? Sick of it, man. I know. That is set. A whole live stream filled with saying me and Nat and Sharon all need dick. Baba's in there saying we need dick. Who the fuck does that? And they're all turning their fucking eyes from it. And you think that makes it okay? Just because you don't acknowledge it, Scabby Russo, or whatever your fucking name is, Scab Stinkster. You think it makes it okay? No, dumb bitch. Your fucking favorite pastime doesn't get excused. Being dirt bags now. Pervert. Wearing the same. Oh boy, SG's big man. They don't well, care. Was- her own son talked to her daughter like that. Allegedly, in my opinion, we saw it. Do you feel? It was gross. Tiffany, if somebody was saying his grandmother did a quick cam show. Look at this. I lost count how many guys ran through me in college. Yeah, that's what they were playing. I lost count how many guys ran through me in college. As if any of their loser kids have been to college. Well, I wonder how many guys will run through cash in college. Because oh, Tiffany no was in there. Tiffany M. said, oh, well, maybe if she didn't harass everybody else's kids, nobody would be doing this to her. I don't harass people's kids. So go fuck yourself, you pig. Your fucking massive crater between your legs. The fucking Grand Canyon. That's what's sad. You know what's sad? What's sad is that you have no goals other than to stick objects in your... I was talking to TM. Fucking ass. Now, why is that? Is it because they fall out of your vagina? Is it that big? You know, I've heard rumors that it was. I wasn't sure, but yeah, I guess so, huh? I do believe Evil Knievel jumped over it and almost didn't make it. It says SG is pure venom. Oh, you have no fucking idea. You have no idea. They jumped on the panel and talked about how I need to apologize to people who were bullying me. Nobody gives a fuck about you, bitch. I'm actually anti venom. Since you don't have the kids in the car, why don't you fucking take that fucking seatbelt off? And my soon, Anna, go out of fucking deserted back road, though, so nobody else is around. Something real curvy, though. At all, Stan. You're so fucking hideous, I can't even stand even having to deal with the stink. It's like finding a fucking skull in the fucking desert in Egypt with those few fucking teeth still hanging in there. Except it's not just a skull. It's a real person. And you're talking to it. And you're like, is that? Can I just take a drink? Can you just? Uh, sorry, was I staring? Sorry, was I staring? You know what I'm saying? Anything for attention. Should have never fucking given her those flyers. Now the little kids, uh, he said, Mom, remember when I told you my tooth was hurting? It's wiggling and, and getting out. I mean, this fuck, this, this kid, poor kid. Do you know she told them? That me and Sharon were C-U-N-T-S. She said it. She said the fucking word to seven-year-old. Okay? To a seven-year-old. Oh, my God. Could you imagine? Is your P-U-S-S-Y dry? And I bet you any money, the reason why she didn't walk over there and slap him is I bet you he was fucking taller than her and scary. And we know Baba's ain't going to fucking step up to the plate and take care of the kid. Why was he living with the grandmother? Why wasn't he living with the father? What was it again? (laughs) 
Tell me again. I'm a little stoned. Can you say it again? Putting on the red. Oh, 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 I know what you mean. The C-U-N-T. I have it. It's in my live stream. Yep, it was gross. And even Michael, she had Michael saying that he wanted to fucking hurt us. Yep, her son Michael. Oh, yeah, I know. And I did that again. I was like, you know what? I'm going to fucking know you. But, all right, y'all get off these. You're a dirty, desperate pig. Seven, eight, eight. Yeah, they were desperate. Shit, man. No, not there. Uh, hold on. Uno, ma, what is it? Uno, ma, man, do, por favor. <laughs> According to Chosen One, ladies over 50 should carry around four jars of KY jelly. And when they're on a date, say, oh, look at that bird over there and slap some on that thing. The great freckle dick has spoken. You want to go sit up and eat with them? Why? So? You see how they eat? Go sit down and eat with them. Yellow, go. Shut the fuck up. Why don't you sit down and eat with your kids, you fucking skank? Yeah. And you never cooked that little kid <laughs> something else. You said, want me to cook you something else? And you never did. So, uh, are you being shy, bro? Really? Go up there and meet with her. I'll go up there and eat. He can fucking eat where he wants to sit on me with your kids, you dirty bitch. Believe me, I had a reason for saying that shit. Saying my daughter had a shitload of people running up in her in fucking college or ran through her. Two fingers spread. I mean, seriously? Take a shower. Change your clothes. Peel that shit off you. I don't even think that thing is the green sweatsuit anymore. I think it's fucking... What forms on the backs of sloth when there's no movement? Come on, you guys. Moss. It's moss. Green Moss. Like a sloth. Okay, Michael, do you want some? Okay, you're so cute. I love you in black. Can I show them? Yeah, I have ten dollars. Yeah, you can show. Do you have any money, mom? Do you have any money, mom? Hey, mom, I need shoes. Both of them need shoes. Yeah, it is, you know. Algae. Yeah, I mean, and saying that about who gives better blow to me or my kid and tagging me in it, that's it. You know, that is fucking it. I mean, when I saw, it, like, when they were saying that, that takes a shower with their son and modding David's bra, I mean, I was like, Mount St. Helens bubbling underneath the surface. Then I knew, I said, they're going to, it doesn't even matter if I call CPS or not, and I didn't. I knew, I called it, I said, what's going to happen is either someone's going to call it or nobody's going to call it, but I'm going to get blamed for it. And that's exactly what happened. But they're acting like these threats that they're telling me and threatening me are because of what they're accusing me of, but it's not. It's what they've been threatening for two fucking years to people. It's a fucking constant 
Yeah, and then he went in the Strawberry live stream. And nobody blinked a fucking eye. He even bragged about it. They said, how'd she find it? He said, oh, I tagged it. And she fucking laughed. Laughed. Doesn't have the fucking common decency to know how disgusting that is. What wife allows their husband to contemplate sexual acts with a mother and her daughter publicly? How pathetic are you? You fucking predatory, or predatory sexual assaulting pieces of crap in my opinion. And in your own fucking wife's words, she says you're a predator. And I don't want you around me or anybody. How much was left? We want to know how the fucking hole got in the wall, bitch. I'm like, oh, my I see that the woman making this video doesn't give a fuck how the hole got in the wall. Or that his teeth are rotted the fuck out of his head. Or that their shoes are too small. Or whatever. I see you don't give a fuck about any of that. And you have a kid? Wow. Makes me feel a little nervous for your kid. We got another mother who doesn't know how to be a fucking mother here. No, I'm in my purse. There's only 40 hours left. Oh. Why does everybody have to look up your fucking nasty ass nose, fucking beaver? I hate that. In my opinion. Um, yes, go in there and, and grab it. It's about everything. Yeah, you're right. You're right, Sharon. You are right. We were far too merciful for the, to these people. I mean, just because we're good people. I find it hard to believe that he said it was the fucking librarian lady who came. That is weird. Now <laughs> oh, that's too fast. God damn, this lady is fucking stupid. Her video is. You know, people can come see this on my channel in my actual live stream, right, bitch? Now, what's your kids spending all that money on? Do you know? Do you know what your kids do? Like, what they're spending the money on? Or do you just give them money? And then say, get the fuck out. Is that what you do? Oh, that's right. You did say that yesterday. You said his cough was killing you. And... Get outside. You weren't trying to smoke a cigarette around him. Doesn't matter what they spend their money on. Okay, Mr. Rock. Could that be why you turned into what you are? The little kid said. She said, who was it who came? And he said, the librarian teacher. And the thing was, she was in the library with her phone in her pocket telling the librarian that the little kid, she had to go to the school because one of them had told the school that Bubba was hitting him with wire hangers. Maybe your, uh, your parents didn't monitor what you were doing either. Funny that uh, that's Rachel is saying, I'll talk to you guys with Later, the mailman is here and puts squirting like emojis up. Yeah, like she's gonna fuck the mailman. My daughter's name. Like that just all slipped by. Everybody in Tiffany's room. Tiffany too. She's like, right, Rachel. Yep, I agree. To these sex fucking things. The bitch was actually fucking just acting like they didn't say the shit they were sa that it said. And God, yep. Absolutely. That's absolutely true. That should the nerve to say, Rachel's been coming here for a while. You're such a fucking douchebag telling me that isn't my daughter's name. Yeah, you know, right? Oh, those kids were fighting. Pretending. 
showboating, sad fishing. And Stephanie goes, have fun. Stephanie, you suck your mailman's dick often? Apparently yeah. you must. Stephanie says, have fun to my kid. They all know. Mr. Tim was even in there. You think he said a fucking word? Yeah. Apparently you must. Do your kids? They suck his dick too? Yeah, yeah. I don't care anymore. Sorry. Do your kids suck the mailman's dick? Well, they're saying my kid you does. You must think it's okay. Saying my kid kids. does. Hey, you're saying my kid does. It's good for you. It's good for me. You can go fuck yourself. The mailman's dick. Stephanie, you fucking pig. Fucking bitch. <laughs> then that fucking answer stinkster comes and going, is Rachel still here? Somebody's looking for a date. I was going to give her her number. Get the fuck out of here, you pig. Go back to Huron on the fucking Huron touring. Whoring, hookering, who gives a fuck? You whore. Go back to the fucking under these the fucking bridge, bitch. You can become a parent, you stupid douchebag, bitch. You are a fucking disgusting travesty. You're fucking disgusting. <laughs> That's what it looked like. <laughs> who cares? Some nasty ass rice shit. As you fucking snort your snacks up. Ugh. All right, I'll take care of that. I want to smoke. You guys hey, are going okay. anywhere. He's something. asking for shoes. He's saying his shoes are too tight. And she says, I'll take care of that. I want to smoke. Go. Isn't that awful? The poor kid is talking. That's the second kid. Complaining about his shoes in two days, that fucking bitch. And she won't give the fucking son Michael back his sandals. She's been wearing his. And he's been having to walk around in hers. Oh, well, we could only be so lucky. <clears throat> yes. hate this bitch, man. Man, I fucking hate this bitch. But this is Inkster Stinkter's video because she thinks she's all proud. She's, as she is in full wage mode, threatens to honor like Tiffany H and much, much more. Oh, in eight minutes? I suggest you go watch my fucking live stream. You're, then you'll get much, much more. This is from some fucking sewer rat. Yeah, why would you uh, uh, you need shoes again okay I'll take care of that get in your fucking car and drive to the store now you fucking bitch how did you fucking too fucking oh my god oh my fucking god oh my god neither that's that's how annoying it is for parents to watch little kids be fucking neglected. For good parents. Or people who aren't aren't even parents. But maybe just. And recognize. Or just know. They've been a kid before. Just because somebody isn't a parent. Doesn't mean they weren't a fucking kid before. I mean, what a stupid fucking video this dumb bitch made calling you BK again. I'm going to play that one, too. Noah said his shoes were too tight and they were hurting him. Michael, who didn't have shoes, and now this uh, Noah. You fucking dirty-ass bitch. So... Who doesn't know that they're fuck? Who doesn't go? How are your shoes? Are your shoes okay? Let me just say, it's it's uh, just turned December. Most people get school clothes for their kids in a shirt. Most people know. Like there was never a time that my daughter was like. My shoes are too tight. And I said, go, I want to smoke a cigarette. 
I would have felt fucking ashamed. I always was looking for stuff like that. Like, where's your toe? And I would notice things. I noticed. Because you know your kid's growing. Because you have like a a thing on the wall where you measure their growth. Oh, wait a minute. Where's yours, Tiffany? You should have a couple on your wall, right? Where you're measuring their growth. Hey, do you save their baby teeth or... No. Do you measure their growth? That was one of my like most heartbreaking things was when I moved out of that place where I lived for 20 years, where, you know, Rachel was raised, grown. The measuring thing on the wall. I mean, I knew they'd paint over it, of course, you know. But it was just nostalgia. I mean, how is it possible they expect good parents to not fucking, or, 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 or people who would have made good parents to not notice, or just good people? To not fucking us. This bitch kept saying she's only apologizing because she thinks I'm going to privacy strike her for that picture. And then I see that that picture was your fucking thumbnail two weeks. I didn't even mean to put that fucking, my fucking fat thumb must have pushed there when I fucking uploaded. The, I mean, seriously, I, I apologize profusely. But to see that you had exploited his fucking teeth two weeks before. You put the fucking picture up. So if I'd have shared your video on my community post, it would have been the same thing. How the fuck are you fucking going to threaten me when you're the one exploiting your kid? Who puts free Zacky or free anything of their kid? Who the fuck does that? Yeah, see? Oh, and the other day she said, uh, fuck this. She was going to use this as a good thing. She was going to get all the resources she could now. She was going to get Christmas presents. She was going to get this and that, or, or, or her house fixed. Yeah. Somehow, some way. Oh, yeah, and they knew her. They had a conflict of interest. And then she was in fucking somebody else's live stream today telling them CPS is on the way. Why would you be on a fucking live stream if CPS was on the way? And I mean, like, what happened, huh? Why were they there again when you said they were just there Saturday? Like, seriously? And how would you fucking know? I, I don't even get this. This bitch acts like fucking... I don't even get it. <clears throat> I know, right? They don't even oh, believe God. in the original sin, but she's always saying, Allah knows we were all born with sin. Hi there. Can we talk about this when you get back? Oh my fucking God, I hate Poor kid wanted to talk about his shoes. His feet are fucking hurting. And she wants to smoke cigarettes and live stream. And she had said she was going to cook something for them. But she didn't. So when they got back, he had cereal. The little one. And just in my opinion, that's what I saw. You're fucking gross, man. And this woman is making a video and she's got kids. And she thinks that that behavior was okay. This is the clip you picked. Where the little where the guy was. His, his feet hurt from his shoes. He should have had new shoes for the start of school. But he doesn't. 
But that bitch is certain to have her fucking Tim Hortons every month, the fucking day. Well, I think it's pretty obvious. When did she say that? He did? How do you know? He did? Net net. He did? He did not. Did he really? Did he really? Did he? Doesn't care about the, oh my stomach again. Oh my god. I don't know like some white castle burgers. Um, did he really, though? That's the third kid that's shoes were too small? Are you fucking kidding me? What a fucking bitch. And I bet you, Michael probably said his shoes were too small. And she said, here, take mine, and took his. Ah, <laughs> oh, jeez. I was like, wow. I was like, I I was like gonna be like fucking over the top. Eat this bitch but so he much. she's got it where the little kid doesn't even want to smile anymore. Because she told him these mean ladies posted your picture on YouTube. Like, are you fucking kidding me, bitch? You posted the picture. You posted the picture and you said free Zacky. What does that fucking mean? He's for free? Or you're, you want to set him free? What does that fucking mean? Unbelievable. It's so mean. They want to talk about Christmas. Oh my God. I hate this fucking bitch. Oh my God. They wanted to talk about fucking Christmas. Drive your fucking kids and get them something to eat. Don't be fucking letting them go walk the fucking streets at nighttime with shoes too small. You. She's the worst. In my what opinion. Although, although. Cray Cray using her kid as bait pissed that there was nobody in there being perverted and saying fucking here she is I mean I really can't say which one was worse in stank in my opinion SG you really unravel you really unravel here's a reminder I'm unraveled because I care about kids Always see your mental health doctor when these symptoms begin to appear. You make videos about people who care about little kids and act like there's something wrong with the people doing it as opposed to the parents uh, that are also posting in their live streams about other people's kids that they're basically fingering themselves. Okay? Yeah, I should see a fucking mental health doctor. How about you? On uh, second thought, I hear there's a lot of nice big bridges in uh, in New York. Sure, you could find one. Absolutely. I've never seen somebody spiral into such a downward trend so quick. Uh, well, you might. I mean, you got a kid too, right? You want to know how it feels? Do you? I mean, because I've had a fuck enough of you people thinking you're going to harass everybody else and just ignore what they're doing. Go fuck yourself, you pig. Go find that bridge. Well, let me tell you, SG. Yeah, see, I'm the It ain't December. just me watching your channel. No, you dummy. It's going to get real interesting real quick with you. I told you yesterday, and then that's. Would you mind seeing a speech therapist before you threaten me? Because I don't know 
if you are just some delusional tank of a bitch talking, or Elmer Fudd. So I'm not sure. Would you like to clear that up? You don't get to say, I'm not Baba Weesey. I never said I was from the Bronx. And then threaten me without giving yourself a fucking identity. But you think you're going to fight me but hide behind a wall? What are you going to do? Spit spitballs at me? And then duck? Is that what you're planning? Throw some snowballs and duck? Ooh, we're going to have a big snowball fight. Hey, Centura Vacan, your boyfriend was in here begging for attention last night. You know what's you know what's weird is that you and your boyfriend have been stalking me for this long together into this community. You don't even know these people, and you stalked me with your skanky ass fucking boyfriend into this community. Your boyfriend was in here last night asking me to play. Will you play sharing the night together? Please, Twacy. Does he do a little Chinese man with him? Huh? Cow and white. What cow and be mean a little Chinese man? Does he? Is that what he does? Centura. Centura. What are you friends with this fucking bitch? You don't even know these people. And you and your boyfriend are so fucking pathetic that you actually, you're more pathetic than him. You stalked with your boyfriend, his ex-girlfriend. You helped him still be in touch with somebody. That is evidently still in his mind, his crazy-ass mind. But you did. Karen, you're sick. Your boyfriend Richard is sick. You're sick. And he needs to get over me. You're still dating him. I dated him for six weeks, six years ago. And he's still coming in here asking me to play Share in the night together. Now, did somebody block Centura? Because I'm just curious. Because I want to know if she's blocked or just speechless. Because she knows. You know, huh, bitch? After all these fucking years. You're fu you can't wipe me out of his head, huh? What do you think? You're going to wipe me out of fucking life if you join in with a bunch of fucking loser bullies? How pathetic are you? Why don't you start paying more attention to your boyfriend Then maybe he wouldn't still be thinking of me and you two fucking losers could stop stalking me and have a nice little life with yourselves. Well, I mean, I don't know how nice it could be, considering who you you two are, and how fucking pathetic you are. But seriously, can you control your your man, please? And I use that term loosely. But would you mind? No, that's not Barbara. Are you talking about this person, Centura? Oh, and if you don't believe me that your boyfriend was in here last night stalking and trolling me, Sharon, you were here last night, remember? I'm talking about the center of a town that went in. How ironic is that? 
what happened today, Censure? Did you notice that your boyfriend was stalking me last night? And so you were like, I'll have to stop in there and, and uh, let him know I'm watching. Are oh, you blocked him? <laughs> All right. Talking for nothing. <laughs> I'll go make another stock account, Sanchez, so you can fucking answer or leave a comment somewhere so you can answer why you can't seem to please your man enough that he doesn't keep stalking me. I miss your hamburgers, too. Fucking jerk. In here last night, stalking. Six fucking weeks. Ugh, so gross. So fucking gross, these two losers. Yeah, he did. He did ask. Yeah, he asked these to private message him. Isn't that fucking weird? Ventura. What's wrong? Did you get that tooth fixed? That, remember you had all, like one tooth in the front? The stalker that's been stalking me for fucking years that I dated for six weeks. That's his girlfriend, Centura. Isn't that weird? She obviously came in here because she saw him in here last night or something. She probably didn't know. She probably watched the video today and saw him. And then maybe she wanted to like give him a little hint. See, I'm here. I'm watching still. So fucking gross, man. Can you please rein your fucking weirdo in? Rein him in. Do something a little better, whatever you're not doing right. Just do something. No. Who cares? Skank anyway. Two weirdos. They shouldn't even be fucking here. Fucking trolling her fucking boyfriend's ex girlfriend into fucking YouTube together. Who fucking does that? Told you last night, and I told you again this morning. You done fucked up. Done fucked up with who? Alma Fudd? Oh, a hero. From the sewers. Of New York City. Really? When are you going to get your fucking thigh high come fuck me boots on and kick my ass? Go fuck yourself. I don't know you. You don't know me. Mind your own business. Pretty stupid for somebody who has young kids themselves to think they're going to fucking talk to me about how I should feel when people are sexually harassing me, my daughter, and my friends and their kids. And you think you're you, a hewer, in your words, are going to fucking harass me? Oh, man. man. Get back under your fucking bridge, you troll. Baba Weiss with the Botox. Weird. Broadcasting all your fucked upness to the entire world. Says a whore. Shut up, bitch. Mothers get pissed when people try to fucking fuck with their kids. Remember that. Yeah. You know, yeah. You're being real stupid. You're being real stupid. Real, real stupid. stupid. I'm That's going wab a hunt thing. Knows damn well. What? That you're a fucking pathetic bitch? Somebody had to write that out for you, and then since they weren't around anymore, you had to just keep that pinned up, the writing there, because you don't know how to spell. Aw, you're limited then, right? That by her repeating stupid phrase over and over again, what? I want to see the proof. That it was me 
and she yeah, exactly. <clears throat> she says it was anonymous. Why you fucking pigs? Blame us. You can go fuck yourself. Who are you to think you have any right to say anything about anything? Go talk about bagels and locks. That called CPS. She knows that there ain't gonna be any such proof because CPS don't disclose who called. And your point is just because Tiffany H wears a fucking turban on her head doesn't mean she's the fucking amazing Kreskin. That bitch ain't psychic. She's psycho. Get it through your fucking sewer-dwelling rat face head and mind your own motherfucking business. You may think you're hot water, but I will fucking scald your motherfucking ass. Dumb bitch. And you need hot water. You look like you haven't washed in a while. And get those fucking leggings off. You're too fat. To anybody. Hi, Jackie Lynn. To the person that they're visiting. They don't disclose. Why are you telling me this? Call. You think they I don't, don't know? I know what anonymous means. Maybe you should redirect this fucking video to your fucking amazing Kreskin fucking bitch. Dumbass. Who's really to anybody? So there ain't gonna be any proof. So why are you accusing me? That SG or As a matter of fact, I don't even know why you're talking. Once again, I'm going to suggest New York has some lovely bridges. Lovely bridges. I think you should go check them out. Take a little swim. Let us know how the water is. I prudently, you know, and I wouldn't even be this way, but man, I am sick and fucking tired of listening to this. And when people are going to say, I wonder who gives better blowjobs. Somebody who's a stated sexual predator by their own husband. Yeah, that's what Mr. Baba said, Stephanie. You think that's funny? You think that's funny? Now, I'm not cur I'm sure. Do you suck off your, mil your milk man? I saw you giggling or laughing and saying to my the one who said, uh, well, was trolling my kid. So I used to say, have a good time. So you must be used to sucking off your milkman, huh? Now, I don't even know anybody who still has milkman. But perhaps you do. Is he really a milkman or he's just coming to get his dick sucked? Thank you so much, Jacqueline. I mean, because if you think for one fucking minute of the day, Stephanie... That you bunch of fucking sexual predators online are going to continue to turn a blind eye to a bunch of sexual deviant comments about me and mine and my friends and theirs, their kids. That uh, no, you're being called out for what exactly you people are. You are sexual predators online, in my opinion. Stephanie Dawson, Stephanie Dawson thinks it's funny when somebody implies that your daughter fingers herself, has a lot of guys running through her in college. And sucks off the milkman. Yeah, Stephanie Dawson. Stephanie Dawson. I know it's probably not her real name. Because 
you know, she's not going to use her real name when she's going around sucking off milkmen. You know, you, Death Stephanie, I mean, because you obviously you must. Because you found it okay. Now, do your kids do that? Because I figure they must since you found it okay. Or is it just that you are a sexual deviant and you are sexually harassing people? Is that what it is? I think it is. I think you have problems. I think you're a predator online. Uh, whatever she is, she is a sexual predator online, in my opinion. Sexual fucking predators is what they are, in my opinion. They have sat idly by while people have sat Annette takes showers with her son. People have modded David's broad. People have sat. You sat there and laughed and said, have fun, Stephanie Dawson. You milkman dick sucking bitch. You don't get to fucking sit idly by while people are sexually violated with words. It happens. You don't get to. You're being called out for what you are. You are a group of cyber sexual deviant fucking predators, in my opinion. You think your fucking nasty fetishes are going to come out of your fucking mouth combined with anybody I love, including my friends, their kids, and me? Uh-uh-uh. Not unless you want to fucking... I, I, I don't even know what to tell you. Just because you think it's okay to suck the mailman off or the milkman or whatever you do. Don't you fucking ever. You too, Tiffany H., don't you ever fucking give a platform for people to refer to my kid like she's a fucking pig fingering herself. You understand me? Because unlike you, my daughter isn't a whore that spreads her legs to fucking everyone, okay? And if you don't know how to fucking treat somebody else's kid with fucking respect, then that means you don't know how to treat your own with respect. You dirtbag. How could I even expect you to? Look at you, what you do to your own kids. Kicking them out of the house while they're trying to talk about Christmas, telling you their feet hurt. You're a fucking douchebag. <clears throat> you need parenting classes. No, this whole community isn't. No, it isn't, baby girl. No, it isn't. Yeah, the whole, the whole community is not. Hi, Danielle. There's a lot of good people in this community. There's a lot of good people in this community. But, you know, they don't reside over over there, that's for sure. That's the wrong side of the tracks over there. Nasty, nasties. I mean, Tiffany, and you don't get to keep lying, saying that we kept. Trolls and your kids in the room, shit like that. Yeah, 
Not even true. It's just sickening. Just take care of your fucking kids and forget harassing everybody. Oh. All right, one little bit, one look at this, and then that's it, and I'm done. Hey, I asked you a question, Stephanie. Why did you think it's okay? for these people to sexually harass me and, and others. Why do you think that shit's okay? Why do you think that's okay? Where do you get off thinking that shit is to acceptable? To know that someone is opening up or descends a box. There's almost no other gift. Wait, hey, what? You're a fucking, you're a mod and TH is room. You're right there. You saw it all. You saw my fucking community post and Mr. Baba saying, who gives a better blowjob, me or my daughter? You think that shit is okay? Those are the fucking people you support. Tiffany H. with a fucking clone of my daughter in there and fucking Luna Tuna going, I'm not removing any of her daughters or her deceased relatives or anything. She never did. That isn't something new. These threats aren't new from them. They've been doing this all along. But you don't even have the fucking decency. Yes, you did, because you said when she put, I gotta go, the milkman is coming, and put squirt, squirt, like, emojis or something, and you said, have fun. That's my fucking kid, you know, saying, oh, I'm back, I just did a quick... Live cam, two fingers spread. Like my kid's fucking fingering herself. Like Mr. Bobbles is getting a fucking blowjob for me and my kid. How the fuck is that okay? For a fucking picture I inadvertently put up, inadvertently, but it's the same fucking picture on the thumbnail of Tiffany's own video saying free Zachy from two weeks ago. So I could have shared her video. Okay, did I say he was there? How about when he was in the room, though, saying that Annette takes showers with her son? Is that okay? How about, how about Bobo saying me, Annette, and Shady... Shady Sharon need dick. How about Net Net likes to take it up the ass in the back door? How about all that? You think all that fucking sexual predator harassment is okay? She had my fucking daughter in there. You know why you never heard her say one bad thing about me? She deletes her fucking videos. You know that. She deletes her videos. Letting something say in my daughter's name. Say, well, that might not be your daughter's name. I don't know my fucking daughter's name. Stop it. Stop that. You know damn well. You people are fucking sexual predators. Online and that's what that is. What about my part? You think I talk about fucking having sex with people's children? My part? My part? You Do you see me having fucking deceased relatives or her kid? She's fucking lying. Your friends are lying. I've had a no troll policy since I started. My part. Sorry, I got cancer. My part. How fucking dare you think at any time 
there's a fucking reason that some sexual predator that is sniffing fucking girls' underwear, according to his own wife, is talking about me and my daughter and oral sex. Or someone, mother and son, showering together. How fucking dare you try to justify their skanky predator behavior and yours. And yours. And yours. Never say anything like that. You are a sexual deviant. Oh, yeah, you do. You sat right there and yucked it up while they were fucking sexually assaulting my child in that room. You fucking yucked it up. You're a fucking sexual cyber predator. Cyber sexual fucking harassing predator is what you are and you partake in it. Too bad. That's what you are. Yeah, if only her, the fucking poor kid has fucking. Yeah, you are. Yeah, you fucking are. Not blocking somebody saying that shit about somebody's kid. Yeah, you are. You partake in it. You made me feel violated and m had to watch somebody fucking sit there with a blue wrench, giggling it up while violating my child sexually. How fucking dare you tell a troll of my kid to have fun sucking off the milkman? How fucking dare you, you sexual predator, bitch? That's what you fucking are, and that's what you will all, all fucking be. Disgusting. Laughing about it. You're part of it. Don't even try it. Fucking sexual deviant. Yeah. You said have fun. To my fucking daughter. Clone. Clone. Referring to sucking off the milkman. How fucking dare you. You sexual fucking deviant. Group. Predator. Sexually assaulting people. And their kids. That's what you do. Perverts. You think I give a fuck about Cassidy when you told a sock account of my kid to have fun sucking off the mailman? She's not Cassidy. She was here when Cassidy was here. She's not Cassidy. But she's not who I thought she was as a nice person. I thought she was a nice, kind person. And instead she told a clone of my daughter to have fun when it implied it was going to suck the mailman off or the milkman. You thought that was okay to violate my child like that? It didn't even turn your stomach at all. How do you think it made me feel when uh, Mr. Bobbles tagged me in a, a post that said, I wonder who gives a better blowjob, SG, and he used my daughter's name. How do you think that made me feel? 
Huh? They are sexual because you are not admitting what you're doing. You are partaking in the sexual assault and violating people online. I don't care what you say. When you turn a blind eye, you are partaking in it. Your friend Bob has had a live stream filled with our deceased family members, our living family members, our children, where she tells, where she says, me, Sharon, and Annette need some dick. Do you know how fucking sick I am of hearing those fucking nasty, sweaty motherfuckers talk about anything to do sexually with me or anybody I love or know? You know how fucking sick I am of that? It's stomach turning hearing some motherfucker saying, Calm guzzler, your dick sucker. She spreads her legs for math. If you think I want that motherfucker picturing me spreading my legs or me and my daughter giving him a fucking blowjob? And what kind of dirty, dirty wife? I ain't talking about chosen one. Pay attention, Stephanie. Pay attention. What kind of dirty, desperate, perverted, sexual, deviant like Bobbles gives her husband a pass so he can fuck around and say, picturing me and my kid in oral sex. You know what? A sexual motherfucking deviant. That's what. That hosts a group of fucking perverted predators online. Perverted fucking predators. Mr. Bobbles goes everywhere. Annette takes showers with her son. SG traded her kid for meth. You think I'm not fucking sick of that? I am fucking done. You motherfuckers want to make up lies about what I've done that I didn't do? Oh, fuck, man. I'm a fucking mother. And I am sick of it. And that was the last straw. And let me tell you something. I didn't call fucking CV, uh, C, CPS, whatever the fuck it is, okay? I didn't call CPS. Hand to God. I don't think anybody called, but if they did, it was somebody she knows. So that they could sit there and tell her, look at you yesterday. I said a fucking sincere apology, and you kept saying, she doesn't mean it. She doesn't mean it. Don't listen to her. Don't listen to her. Why the fuck would you say that? Oh, I know. Because you're a sexual deviant. And you wanted the opportunity to see somebody in my daughter's name talk about fingering herself. That's why. Because your sick fucking fetish ass wanted to see and allow and giggle at my daughter. Was I talking about her kids sexually? And you know damn well, there has never been any chores of her kid or her in here. You don't correct her. You don't fucking correct her. You don't correct her. You don't correct her. You know why? You're more interested in being a sexual predator and watching somebody's adult child who's not a slut say she's fingering herself on live cam. And going to suck the mailman off while you say, have fun. Have fun, Rachel. That's what you fucking said. How fucking dare you? How fucking dare you think you're not a fucking perverted sexual predator allowing that? Yeah, take your fucking perverted predator self out of here. You think you're going to fucking get off on fucking nasty shit about my kid again? I swear to you. I'll have the fucking cops throw you on the fucking ground and handcuff you quicker than you can write have fun. 
dirt bag. Go please your fucking sexual desires elsewhere with fucking adults and not people's kids. Oh, you think it's fucking pleasant? Your fucking nasty ass friends talking about blowjobs about my kid or showering with someone's son? Get the fuck out of here. What's pleasant is going to be watching you motherfucking perverted sexual predators get fucking busted. Because that's what it's going to be now. It ain't no fucking bullying. You're violating and assaulting people and their children online. Your sexual fucking predators. Dirtbags. Sitting there with a wrench and allowing something to say in my daughter's name that it's fingering itself. And saying, have fun sucking off the milkman. And you want to know why? I think the old barren bitch Luna, BB. For short. You remember BK? So fun, wasn't it? How's BB for you? Huh? But she's gone. She's gone. She wasn't. How's fucking BB for you, bitch? Huh? Baron, bitch. Your Sahara over there? Huh? Luna? BB? You liked BK so much, right? How you doing today, BB? Empty inside? Fuck you. Just because you never wanted any kids and don't know how to fucking respect anybody else's doesn't mean you get to fucking sexually violate mine. You don't. I have your fucking ass hauled back over the fucking Rio Grande in 10 seconds and you fucking cunt. You keep going you talking about my kid. I get it. You're used to fucking mothers like that don't give a fuck that you've been around that don't give a fuck raise people who idolize Hitler uh, talk disgustingly sexually about their sister and their grandmother and other things from these fucking failures of mothers that you know but I'm not one of them Luna. I will fuck you up you and your fucking sexual fucking predator bastards keep fucking with me and my friends. Sexually assaulting online. I don't give a fuck about wishing death on them motherfuckers ever. Couldn't think of a better group that deserved it. We wouldn't be dealing with this now. If that would have fucking occurred. Things would be much fucking more peaceful. That's one wish that should have been fucking granted. Them bitches. Thinking they get to fucking wish death. And cast spells. And pray. And fucking lift their fucking shadowy fucking nasty tarantula spider eyes up to heavens and pray for me to die somebody in your chat room say don't forget your daughter is not off limits for cancer who the fuck do you nasty subhuman hideous fucking cunt and i mean you too inkster stinkster but only a little tiny bit you're nothing. You're like dandruff. Dandruff. Fucking dandruff. You know what that is, right? Fucking with some a fucking mother. Fucking with some uh, some a mother. Like are they gonna be okay? I mean, these bitches are out of their fucking gore. I told them repeatedly. This is where I didn't want to get, because I know that sometimes 
you got to do stuff that you wouldn't normally do and out of character for yourself. Okay. And I didn't want to go there because I know I will fuck a motherfucker up because, you know, I dot my eyes, I cross my T's and I'm a normal person. Okay. I'm not an ex hooker, like angster or, you know, I don't have fucking four teeth like this one and in and out with fuck. See, that's the thing. When they're telling you I didn't raise my kid, she was taken by the state. That's not true, fuckers. Got it? That's not true. There's no court of law that's going to take your word over mine, especially since I have proof and you don't. Now, if you don't take your fucking kids today and get them new fucking shoes with you, your fucking nasty ass doesn't get to pick their fucking clothes out. You got my name in your fucking life, again. You don't learn, you mean looking fucking bitch, do you? You don't fucking learn, do you? You don't learn, oh my God, seriously. You're going to have my fucking kid in there again, are you? Fuck man, why are you pushing me to do this? It's not about the fucking kid. It's about that you are stressing out your kids and you are making false fights to get your fucking kids out of your hair. You don't want them anymore, in my opinion. You don't fucking want them anymore. You don't want them anymore. It's apparent. You fucking don't want them anymore. That's why you made a video saying free Zachy, because you don't want them anymore. That's got to be it. Got to be it. It's got to be it. Got to be. Because if she gave a shit about her fucking life, getting better, and just moving on from this shit, you'd shut your fucking mouth right now. Think I give a fuck about right before Christmas? What do you fucking think I went through and a lot of people have gone through? Take your fucking stiff sniff ass out of here. Fucking bitch. Dirt bags. Talking, you bitch. Smokey. You say go. Take your seatbelt off. I don't give a fuck about your seatbelt. I want you to get in that car. I want I you to take that seatbelt off. Who are you talking to? Because I'm like you. I'm kind of... But you're a what? Did you, what you call, did you say I called you? Here to... Oh my God. So you're starting again. You just can't stop. You sexual fucking predator. Control that we're already removed because unlike you, I'm a kind of... No, not unlike but me. I've let's, always let's had a fucking no troll here. policy. Every fucking lie you ever tell about me is getting fucking sent out or called out. Don't you try. I'm just saying, okay, let's touch on her. Let's touch on her. No, you shouldn't be touching on anything. You should mind your own fucking business and just make your own house in order. She's right. Why the mother frick do we have to believe people because of the name they have when you ask us to kill ourselves? You're asking us to kill ourselves. You posted a picture of my seven-year-old. Oh, my God. You posted a picture of your seven-year-old cunt. Yeah, you are one. Asking you to kill yourself? You were fucking saying you were going to kill yourself. I didn't ask you to kill yourself. Do you think I give a fuck about you? I'm going to have to call. Because this woman is inciting hatred and shit and... I mean, there, she's got a problem. She has a fucking problem. She doesn't care about her kids. Those kids are just... It, 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 it's clear and apparent she does not want those kids. She, there's no fucking way this woman can want her own kids. There's no fucking way. That's probably why she put free Zachy. In my opinion, there's just no way. I mean, I'm gonna... Man, I feel fucking bad. God damn it. Yeah, they tried to talk about her, but uh, I, I talk about Christmas, but she didn't want it because uh, she had to smoke a cigarette. 
just like how she couldn't spell top because she had to smoke a cigarette. Man, I fucking can't stand that. I mean, it doesn't have to do Like, there's no way you can want your kid if you think that you're going to keep sexually harassing my... Uh-uh. You don't get to keep sexually harassing my kid. I know you're a sexual deviant and sexual predator. And you're going to need to get some help for that. Because that's obviously the reason why you allow that in there. So you can get off on assaulting my child like that. I don't care if she's an adult. She's always my child. Oh, do I care, BB? Do I give a fuck, BB? When you want to sit there and act like you're just saying it for the first fucking time ever. I'm not going to block any of Epstein's kids' names. I'm not going to block any of her deceased parents. You never fucking did, Luna. You were probably one of them. You sat there having conversation with my deceased sister and my fucking daughter. I have inner peace. What I would like is for you fuckers to give me outer peace. You ever fucking tried that? You ever tried that? Huh? You ever fucking tried that? Have you fucking ever tried that? You get some sleep, douche. Stop being a sexual predator. You're a sexual fucking predator. You think you are going to fucking sexually harass Annette? Her son, Sharon, me, my kid, because your sexual fucking fetishes? Fuck you. I didn't see you blink an eye when Mr. Bobbles mentioned something about me and my daughter. Nah, that was okay by you. That's why you're better off being a barren bitch. Because if you didn't see anything wrong with that, God forbid what might have happened. To any kid you raised. Wow. I have your address. So trust me, when I am in to complete my second report. Uh, any reports that you make appear after you said you were starting a war with me. Okay. You have partaken in ignoring the mother of someone being sexually harassed in your live stream so you could get your fucking rocks off instead of thinking about the real issues. You wanted to get your rocks off watching someone in the name of my daughter saying they did a quick live stream, the two fingers spread, and you sat there going, uh-huh, okay, Rachel, like you think that's your fucking buddy. Well, it probably is your buddy. The fucking trolling, fucking sexual deviant. Okay? That you all are. You're sexual predators. Sexual fucking predators. That's what you are. And that's what everybody online needs to fucking know about you people. You do this so you can sexually harass people. That's why you do it. So you can sexually make people feel violated like they're spreading their legs for meth coming from some fucking nasty ass fuck turd. Come guzzler, cocksucker. You spread your leg. Fuck off. Dirty bastards. Fucking dirty motherfucking bastards. No, I wasn't talking 
Shut the fuck up. Shut the fuck up, Chrissy. Why don't you fucking grow up? You want to tell everybody else to grow up? I have every single one of these bitches fucking... <laughs> Seriously. I, I, you know, she's getting 5150 anyway, like in a couple of days. Crystal real memory. Oh my God, you're done. You're done, cunt. You fucking dumb ass cunt. You dumb ass motherfucking whore cunt. You fucking dumb ass motherfucking cunt whore. You sexual motherfucking deviant. You sexual motherfucking deviant. This woman has been Fuck you, you fucking sexual predator. You fucking sexual motherfucking predator. You sexual fucking predator. You are fucking nasty. Stephanie, you want to pretend you're nice while you're in here, but you don't know how to fucking tell your friend she's going to end up in jail. Really? 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 Crystal, you disgusting pig, talentless whore, harassing someone's kid because nobody ever fucked you in your life. Who the fuck would want to fuck you? My 600 pound life, bitch. Harassing someone's kid. You skanky, skanky piece of living shit whore. A skanky piece of living shit whore. The only thing she's fighting. Uh, the only thing that's going on is you're a sexual predator. You are a sexual fucking predator assaulting my kid. And I've had enough. That's what you are. You are, assault you are assaulting my kid. And I've had fucking enough. Okay? But I unblocked her. And then you unblocked her? You did what? And when I came back in, I seen the messages. I'm telling you, you fucking pervs aren't fucking around anymore talking about my fucking kid all the time in sexual ways. It ain't happening, you motherfucking pervs. I'll have your whole fucking neighborhood watching you get fucking yanked out of your house for being a fucking Sexual predator. Like in Legion's having a little fantasy of role play. He wants me to be the school principal or the detention teacher. See, he don't want me to be the school teacher because there's a classroom around all the time. But principals and detention teachers are private. 
And this motherfucker is having a little fantasy. See, I said keep your hand head down. He's having a fantasy. He's fucking having a fantasy. That's all right. That's not a bad one. Not a bad fantasy, right there. Not a bad fantasy. We can go with that if you'd like. Is that what you'd like? Hmm. I know your buddy TM is pretty one-dimensional when it comes to everything. I'm pretty multifaceted myself. You know what I mean? So now, let me ask you a question. Did you purposely get the uh, skank over there, the irrelevant one, to make a live stream like that? Is that what you wanted to do? Because, you know what? You're all connected, so you did yourself no favors. She didn't do you any favors. Is she your friend? Oh, Tiffany. Oh, Tiffany. Is she your friend? Because she fucked you up. She did. That little, the nursey girl? Yeah, she fucked you good. You're fucked, man. She fucked you really fucking good. Doing that. That is so sad. That she, you, you guys actually thought if she did that and you didn't have it in here, you were going to be okay. Uh -uh. I don't care. I really don't. I don't care. You shouldn't have thought you were going to have some fucking joyous time in here while you're fucking skanky ass fucking registered nerd over there fucking certified fucking predator sexual harassers in here you're done that's it okay thanks for asking okay give me one second sorry. yeah that's it yeah, yeah it's gonna be more than that though for a minute Way more than that. Second, okay. What? For what? What'd you say? What? Where'd prudently go? Isn't she driving? Spent thousands of dollars and God knew how you were. Yeah, I'm gonna fucking uh, call and report them for fucking having sexual deviance. I mean, I'm sorry. TH, I'm sorry. I don't know if you all uh, went on your little fucking Discord and then you decided to tell the fucking uh, registered nerd over there to do what she's doing, but I don't know what to tell you. I just don't know what to tell you. As she didn't go too far. As she hadn't done anything yet, Trey. It sounds good. I feel way really bad. Mm -hmm. uh, what's my problem? Uh, what's your problem with my problem? You have a problem with my problem? You know that you can leave, right? You got a problem with my problem? <laughs> oh, all right. I didn't know. I saw, I saw fucking uh, Sharon go Prue, and I didn't know. <laughs> Sorry.
Now, you nasty, STD-infested, registered nerd. What made you think you were going to be okay using my kid's name? What made you think that? Do you know what you're doing right now? Do you know? Do you know? Do you fucking know? No, a true friend would not... A true normal person wouldn't harass somebody's kid. Why the fuck does this fucking nasty old hoe have that name on here? You know why? She wants Tiffany H. and her friends to be called out as predators. And that's what's happening. You're a predator fucking sexually harassing online all together group and you're all fucking getting called. But I'm going to start with your buddy over there because you thought this was a good idea. Does she know her friends did this to her? Does she know? Does she know her friends did this? Her friends did this. Take a screenshot of this so Tiffany can know her friends did this to her. Because you're sexually harassing my kid. And I'm done. That's it. You think you get to fucking sit there all uh, fucking cozy with your fucking kids not seeing shit like that? Well, I've had enough of your brown teeth and your fucking tight shoes and your fucking nastiness. You are sexually, mentally ill. All of you. You're sexually, mentally ill. You do this so Mr. Bobbles can say, <clears throat> I wonder who sucks dick better, SG or her daughter. And that's in the shower with her son. Or they can focus on Sharon's vagina because you're sexual predators online. And that's how you're being reported. Starting here. Starting right here, bitch. Right here. So you must have really enjoyed anything you went through with the authorities. You must have really enjoyed it. Because if you didn't, your fucking friends just opened a can of fucking worms for you, you nasty, sexually deviant bitch. The next time you fucking host a fucking live stream where my kid's saying she's fingering herself, <clears throat> you remember. You remember what happens. Yeah. You nasty sexual predators. So, <clears throat> here's what's going on. Now that I know that Tiffany H., in my opinion, <sighs> you know, shut the fuck up, Barbarese, you fucking low-life cunt. Uh, I'm not Barbarese from the Bronx. Why the fuck are you here? Why the fuck are you here? Huh? Baba Weiss? Baba Weiss from the Bronx? Fuck up, douche. Give a fuck about these bitches. Is that even really her? Can one of my mods check if that's really her? I really want to know, because that'll fucking <clears throat> pretty much put the, uh, that, you know, say that is her, because if it is her, then, yeah, definitely interesting there. But, uh, I, man, I can't believe if 
Tiffany H. I think those are her friends right now. Because I'm starting with her for hosting that platform yesterday and calling us C words to her kids, inciting violence from one of her kids towards us. No, 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 no. Do I have a mod here? It's not. It doesn't go to any channel with anything on it. Not at all. No. All right. Okay. All right. So, man, I feel so fucking bad for you, but your friends didn't care. Tiffany, they didn't care. They did not care. They don't care. They do not care. Um, so, unfortunately, I don't know what to tell you, bitch, but you are part of a sexual predator, cyber stalking, sexually assaulting, sexually violating, sexually slandering people. And it's done. So, uh, um, have a good fucking Christmas is all I can say. Really? Get your kids those shoes or were you just online all day? No, no shoes. I'm going to talk about my parenting some more over there. Maybe on the other fucking pervert over there. Oh, my God. Can we just fucking flip over? Oh, shit. Me off. I got some fucking report in the cave. But I don't mean to, like, YouTube. I mean, like, I am so fun. Man, it sucks for you. You're so fucked that your friends want to get your fucking life fucked up. It's so sad for you. So sad for you. So fucking sad for you that your friends don't give a fuck about you. I fucking can't stand that. I, I, I can't. I hate that your friends have to not give a fuck about you. You don't know how to pick your fucking friends better? Really? You didn't know how to pick your friends better? You had to get involved with a bunch of fucking sexual deviants? People don't like their kids being sexually harassed and violated. Or their kids, their sons, or their sons' fucking disgusting names being modded, or their vaginas being focused on, I mean, every fucking day of the week. People don't like that. So I got a couple of phone calls I got to make. Uh, yeah. I specifically told you, and your friends didn't care, if you could have just made things peaceful for everybody by, not everybody, but at least on that side. But your friends wouldn't have that. Your friends wouldn't allow that. Your friends fucking want you to have a very bad Christmas. And I'm fucking done with this shit, man. I'm fucking done. I really don't know who the fuck these low rest people are anymore. Oh my god, I just feel so bad for her right now because her friends don't give a fuck about her. I don't know if she knows that they did this to her, but. Yeah, that's too bad. Oh, well. So, well, yeah, they sexually harass and stuff, and that's it, man. Really bad. That is fucking hot. Oh, I feel so bad. Okay, that's it. Okay, I got a couple of calls to make. No, well, to me, I tried to tell you. Your, your friends don't care about you, though. So, you can blame your friends for this. All right, you guys. Peace, love, and tacos. Hey, um, you know, we stand divided, we fall, and I'm sorry if anybody disagrees with this, but this got to be fucking done.
These are sexual predators, sexual harassers, stalkers of people's children. And I don't feel safe anymore. These people need to be arrested and stuff, you know, have repercussions. It has to be done. It's got to be done. So peace, love, and tacos. Bye-bye.